Yo, 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 what's up? I don't know. Oh my god. I, the second I logged in, I woke up stressed. How'd I? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Sir? What the fuck? How can I hear them? If this is fucking law. I don't think so. They would be squaring up. Is that better? Can you hear me now? My throat's fucked. Oh, that's quite all right. You, uh, out for a swim, or...? No, no, just taking a boat. Everyone needs to do a little fishing, you know? Of course. You seemed in a hurry. Just I am in a stop hurry. And say hello. Well, hello. No, don't let me keep you. Thank you. I I think I don't. What's your name? What's yours? Zip. Zip. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ash. Nice to meet you, Ash. Maybe a day away from a conversation, I suppose, but not today. That's quite all right. Have a good good ride wherever you're going. You as well. Thank God. No, no, no. For all we know, Zoe's dead. I'm sure she's gonna bend Zoe for a little bit. I would assume. But I don't know. I'm not rushing to have a conversation. We have other shit to deal with. Wicked! Tenfold, what up? <laughs> yeah. We just have a sheriff being kept somewhere tied to a tree. You know what? Let's talk to Zoe and smother sex. No, I, I know what you mean. Dude, I wanted to have a conversation, but I had to get off. I couldn't risk it. I'm gonna turn down the music for you guys. So I'm not screaming and my roommates are like, what the fuck? For those that haven't seen, last night was a uh, fucking nightmare. Luckily, today we get to tell everyone the good news. How's everyone doing today? I'm hoping, I'm fucking, I'm fucking praying Verts can get on and deal with this shit because it's way too much stress. Or Scout, or Dakota. Literally anybody. Anybody. I might even pawn it off to fucking wait at this point. I, I know where she is. 
I just don't remember exactly how to get there. I will say this now that we're on and I know a few people that are going to be getting on shortly or if not already on. Um, we went a lot further than she is, if that makes sense. If it's just zipping Dakota, at least Dakota's the one getting fucking shot by Wallaby if something goes wrong. Sorry, Tara. I... Zip is... I know out of character I did legitimately everything I possibly could. But in character, Zip is still like, fuck, did I do something wrong? Did I, should I not pay her? So Zip is, Zip is still stressing out about if he made the right call by having Harry get the five grand. But out of character, I literally don't, like, we could have, yeah, told him to fuck off, but that's not giving to the people that risked taking a sheriff. Some of them could be looking at OOC days and they went and took the sheriff for that five grand. So it's like, I'm not gonna... I'll, I'll deal with Zip's consequences to help give story elsewhere. So out of character, I stand by the decision. In character, Zip is panicking. Please be home. Anybody. Hey. I heard I was. Oh my god, there's a fucking bullet. One sec, I got this. Ah! I've seen this before, don't worry. Um, uh, um, I got it, don't worry. Let's get it out. Um, hurry the fuck up. We Everything's bad. Faster. Everything's bad. Who All else right. is around? Uh, no, it's hey. okay. We can do the, 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 like, loads of people. They're coming back. No, I like... I got the bullet out. Like, out of the rug store committee, who's around? Me. Uh, Wait. Me, him. And Wallaby. Wallaby. Wallaby's and Archie. Here. Archie's around. And Riley. Wallaby's here. And this Wallaby's is gonna here. hurt. Okay, let me just stuff this in here. Real good. What? What's happening? Uh, hey. Is he in stream starting? Because okay. I don't know if I should go up and talk to him. Do you need a minute? Oh, I need some water. Oh, yeah, peach blood water, nice. I'm gonna assume you need a minute. Oh my god. It is take everything away from everything in me to not fuck with him while you start streaming. Yeah, that was definitely them. That was good, definitely not me. Oh yeah, I know you wouldn't do something like that. Definitely wouldn't shoot it in the ass three times. If, if if Archie, Dakota, if any of them yeah. are around, we need to get them. Yeah. What? What 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 are you doing? Explain. Uh, don't, 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 don't. 
Dakota, we need to talk now. Don't shoot him. I know you want to. No, no, no. It, it's fucking... I, I'm not going to say it a million fucking times. Wallaby is drinking a coffee up there. We need Scout. We need Archie. Whoever's good around. Down, Dakota, good down. Oh, yeah. Yep. Good job. Yep. Okay, well, Archie's going to be coming back soon. He's a customizing a gun in Ansberg, so he's going to be a minute. Oh, my. Did you just throw your back out? I'm going to go get Archie. No, but your father did last night. My dad's dead. Is this my horse? Guys, this is serious. I'm fucking stressing out. Stop fucking dancing in the fucking street. You love zip and charge, you fucking idiots. We gotta talk now. Something definitely fucking happened last night. Hello. He's here. Hello, Wade. How you doing, man? Zip. What? Are you okay? No, I'm not. You guys left me in charge of Van Horn last night, and I had to make really big decisions. Like, what, what? did you do? Oh my god, did it involve the principal? Wesley. It better not have. It better not have involved the principals, or I better not have made big decisions. The, the first one. Principal. I kind of used some core principles, yeah. Okay. Okay, did you mention the principal? I have the sheriff. <coughs> you have the sheriff. I have Chev tied to a tree. <laughs> oh what? my god. What? what? That's not funny. I shouldn't laugh. Where? This is serious. Which tree? I mean, where Away is from Why here. Is she here? Uh, last time yeah. I did something like that, I nearly got killed. So. You know, we, we ordered this. We wanted it. Yeah, it, it was like a bad oh, Okay, good, here. good. Well, maybe we should go get her before someone else finds her. She's been there for like fucking 15 hours, Pete. Oh Did you feel her? You checked on her and she's still there? Uh, no. Wait, what's... Or you checked on her 15 hours ago and you've left it since then. The we let the bullets do. The 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 well, she's handcuffed and tied wait, to the really? tree. So she can't eat right. it. She can drink it like a dog. Fuck you, Wesley. Oh my. God. What do you mean? So the sheriff me? is I, dead I or alive? For a living. A lot. You don't die after 15 hours being tied to a tree. I lasted 76 hours, I think. She could have been 76 hours without food. What if a wolf? It's been 15 hours, hours okay? She's fine. And I left a bowl of food. Cougar. There is cougars in the area, yes. Okay. Oh, so you left out a bowl of food to attract the cougars to someone who's tied up and helpless. I wasn't going to dump wolf piss on her. The smelly man's coming over. I really pretend like it's I not did, happening. Uh, hi, Terry. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's a really nice day. Oh, hi, Terry. Long dog. Hello. Long dog. Long Why would you dog. call him that? That's his name. Long dog Terry. <laughs> That's long almost dog, Terry. freaky. What? Long dog or long dong? Uh, uh, dog. Dog. Yeah, well, dog. Okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna say nothing. 
No, I am. I... <laughs> oh my god. Long anyway, swiftly Teddy. moving on. I mean, if you want to swiftly move on. I would like to swiftly move on. Okay. Also, Law came in and ordered martial law last night. Ten of them. What? They, marched, they ordered martial this, law this before, on this Harry. before or after? They ordered martial this law. This was before. The difference, but I want to know. This was before, okay? Yeah. This is when I assume... Uh, are we are we going to talk in front of this fucking guy? No! I don't know why we're doing that. No. Well, no, I don't know. Just, he came up and I just thought he was part Terry. of the thing. Long well, dog, I I just, just yeah, yeah. Should, should we move this to the rug store? Not right Long now. Dog, you give me a shield, what man. we're going to do is we're going to wait for that man up there to finish his fucking cigarette. Yeah, I don't want to repeat fucking 30 times. Exactly. And then we'll go through the story all together in the rug store. And for now, we just we won't talk about it. Problem solved. Let's talk about our feelings and shit. I, I'm going to shoot I'm gonna Riley in the fucking face twice. You did what to somebody's face twice? I'm going to shoot you in the face twice. Okay, maybe you need to talk about your feelings. You sound very angry. You left me in fucking charge of this Peter, fucking town. Peter, Don't be oh my Peter, god, Peter. is that a fish? Stop it. Wait. Whiskey? Perfect. Good idea, Archie. Good idea. You know what? That is a good idea, Archie. Oh, do you want your handcuffs back? Didn't you make it in a necklace? Hey, Harry. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Where's that bartender? Oh, what's his name? I forgot his Mackenzie. name already. Mackenzie. Is he still locked up downstairs? He locked him up oh, downstairs. I'm gonna get him out of there. I don't know, he's chained somewhere. Yeah. I know Millie has some oh. um, uh, Saint Sinners for you, Archie. Oh, perfect. Should I put him in the bucket? Good news. On the well, box? throw him in front of you, because he was just sat in front of you. You didn't care, so. I blame you for all of this. Why? You left me in charge of this town. That's true. After the chess tournament, I did say that I was oh going to wake God, back Riley, up. I'm so glad you didn't get shot. Nobody woke I, back up. It I was me. In my hotel room when I ate pasta. I had to demand things from Harry. Like what? Walk with me. Like five fucking grand. Oh, so who brought them? The it's McKinleys. Her. Oh, Jesus. It wasn't they... just I went out and stole the sheriff. It's they fucking came to pay. And I thought one of two things, either they, I, I don't know if they telegrammed me, but I didn't check telegrams. Oh my God. They just God. showed up and they said, well, one person did. They had her, I told them to bring, I think they had her at the stables because he came in and he's like, get on my horse. And I was like, am I being kidnapped? And he's like, no. And I was like, okay. And I hopped on his horse and they brought me to the stables. I saw Chev and then I said, okay, go to the, the Brandywine cabin. I'll meet you there. I came back in town. I told fucking Harry to give me the five grand. I had Millie go with her to protect her so she didn't get fucked with on the way. I also told Millie to sacrifice her life to save Harry if it came mm -hmm. down to it. Good. She gets the five grand. She brings it. I go meet them at the Brandywine. I tell them to go. They took another deputy and I said, make sure that she can't talk right away. Hold her until I can at least get her out of the area before she sends a tip in or kill her and then i went and took her to um a place that i can't really describe but mm -hmm. she's tied to the tree there and handcuffed and i left some food and then i came back here and i was about to play chess with harry but harry kept seeing fucking people like snooping around town so we hit under the dock here uh -huh, so stop for a minute and come here and then keep talking and then um and then eventually, Harry saw Law, I think, at the stables. I see. Now, you're going to have to repeat that again to everybody. I know, but you need to know what I know. So I'm not the only one that knows right now. Okay. Did gotcha. I fuck up? No. No, I don't think so. D you I don't mean, think so? No, because the sheriff is, is... The sheriff's... In the middle of nowhere, and you're not arrested, so that's as good as it can get. Okay, but me... That's the perfect scenario. Me telling Harry to get the five grand, I'm not in trouble for that, instead of just saying, I no, can't do this? No, because we would have had to do that anyways. Right. Okay. So you're not going to kill me. Is he going to kill me? No, because this is what he wanted. 
Should I start with the bad news? What's the bad news? I don't know. I feel like there's been a lot of stuff that has happened that I should tell Wallaby about. Oh, the Alice. This, I'm sorry. This fucking completely. Oh, yeah. The Alice. Everything. Kicking Alice out of Van Horn. That oh, was a Jesus. thing. You did what? I did. Yeah. I told Scout. Oh, my fucking God. Scout said it's okay. What up, what up? So I say I got the sheriff. I kicked Alice out of Van Horn. Oh my God! Is I got away from Law. I was either it was either that or I was gonna kill her. Let's go get the sheriff. We're not getting the sheriff right now. Also, Alice went out west and shot a deputy. I need to know the, the pecking order of which I should say this information. We'll start with Chevalier first, because that's most important. That's current. That's currently current. But isn't bad news better than... Like, wouldn't he see it as I'm hiding it? No. Pete, bad news first or good news first? P hold on, please. Wait, what? Please, this... What would you rather I'm receive begging. information? <sighs> Calm down. What? Start again. If bad you were to receive news. news, would you rather the bad news first or the good news? Bad news. Okay, I feel like Wallaby is opposite thinking of Pete, so maybe he wants the bad news first or good news no, first. I don't think that the bad news is good to I don't want that man to start overthinking. So we'll we'll tell him about the sheriff first because that's the most pressing issue. The Alice thing already happened. Nothing more. Nothing I worse could... can happen from that situation. Okay, it's it's not moving right now. We have a lot of pieces that are moving. So we focus on the moving pieces so that we can move with them, and then once that issue is resolved, you can tell him that there's a little bit more to talk about. So start with the sheriff, and then Alice can come later. I'm going back to bed. All right, me too. Ooh, bad. You need to clean that gun, Zip. Yeah, Jesus Christ, that gun's fucked. Everything's fucked. Is that why you handed me the gun oil? Yes. Oh. Yeah, the pistol's worse. Why are your guns so dirty? I had to fucking sleep under a dock for fucking choose. Fuck you, Riley. What? I just asked. I don't know what you've been doing with your spare Beat her up. Dog. Beat her up. Turn around. Beat her up. Don't beat me up. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my Don't god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm stressed. Oh you knocked her hat off her head. Hi, Harry. Wait, what the fuck did I Hi. I said Harry. Oh, I... Sorry. What's Jesus your name? Christ. You forgot me already? No. I just... Am, I'm really bad at names altogether. Right. Well, my name's fucking Terry. Terry fucking LaCroix. Terry. Long fucking dog Terry. Terry. First name. Fucking First name long fucking dog. Yes. dog Terry, huh? Yes. Long dog. Fucking long dog. Yeah, that's Terry. his nickname. Long dog. Can I see it? Long dog. No, no can't long have dog. That. Not dog. Dog. Oh. Dog. All right. Dog. Debatable. Dog. Hi, Terry. <laughs> you haven't seen him, yeah, motherfucker. Is it? You haven't seen him. Yes. I didn't get to tell you that the law came back last night after you were gone. I don't have a tiny one like when I was by up. myself. Did they do anything? Okay, what happened after that? Actually, Harry, come here. I'm I'm right here. No, no, no. Like, let's go to the dock real quick. What? All right. In detail, what happened after you left? And okay, came back to me I being left. gone. Oh. I stood on the sheriff's up. I can tell Wallaby all this as well. Okay. Uh, I, I stood on the sheriff's office for a long time with Millie. Um, waiting to see if anybody would come back. And then Millie got tired and she left. And then they did come back. I heard them. I heard a lot of horses, and then they were up on the hill behind uh, the rug store. And I was waving to them, and so I got down, and I was going to go say hello. But when I got down, I looked over there, and it was Sheriff Bolton. And I said hello, and they said, 
is my sheriff here? Have, have you seen her? And I said, no, which is the truth. I right. didn't see Chef, and I, she's not here. Right. Um, and I said, it's only me here, and I can't really stop you, so if you wanted to check the rug store again, I, you know, there's nothing I could do if you think I'm lying. And they said, why don't you go down in the rug store? And I said, no, I'm not going down in the rug store. I'd rather you get in trouble for going down there than me go down there. It's haunted. And then they asked if it was a risk if they went down there to their sheriff. And I said, yeah, it probably would be. And I said, also, declaring martial law in Van Horn was also a risk. And then she had a sidebar. And then she left. Okay. But then they also think that you were with Alice yesterday. And I tried to convince them with, I didn't give Millie's name. Um, but I tried to convince them that it wasn't Alice. I said, there's a lady here that I don't really know. She's, you know, she talks to Zip sometimes. She kind of looks like Alice from a distance. I could see that, but I haven't seen Alice all day. And they said, have you seen Zip? And I didn't lie. I said, yes, I saw Zip today. Where is he? And I said, he left. But you actually like, didn't know where I went because I didn't say anything to you or Millie. Okay. No. How many no. How many deputies were here? Was it 10 deputies when they ordered martial law? No, I think... Now that I think about it, I think it was only eight. Okay. All right. Um, but they think Alice was here, and I tried to tell them, no, I haven't seen Alice all day. And they said, we saw you talking to Alice. And I said, no, I think you're mistaken. That's his name. That's his nickname. Okay. KG, though. So Alice where, might where be in trouble. You can't blame this on me, Lung Dog. Uh, All what right. Are you well, doing? You're the one that gave me the Thank name. you, Harry. <laughs> It'd be kind of disrespectful if I just said no. I don't want to no, be called. No, no, do dog. yours. Do yours. Uh, he's gonna get his own voice. I thought he said. Oh. No, no, he said he's gonna go get a. Uh. Gonna... I really like this boy. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Are we going to talk or what? I don't know. What? Uh it um it really uh, we need to talk. Um Nah, you and you tell the fuck off. We might tell the fuck off. I was right. left in charge of Van right. Horn last night. Stop fucking follow me for two fucking seconds. Okay. okay. Back up. It's true. Back up. It's true. I'm, I'm going to bed. Oh, wait, I'm on us right now. now. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Zip, you can follow me now. Come on. I want to go to bed. Come on. Is everyone following us? I'm going to bed. Too much work to be done. Are we going in or is it just you guys? I don't fucking know. I just woke up. Good morning, Good morning. morning. Not a good morning, you fucks. Now, why would he go and say something hurtful like that? <laughs> Wait, what? I can't imagine Did I why. Right? Karaz. You sounded so proud of yourself announcing that. Wait, who, me? Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, everyone always tells me to, so I tried it. All right. Take it away, Zip. Is an Archie supposed to be here? Where is he? He's a Zip. Are we waiting for Archie? Well, you did earlier, so yeah. Okay. I'll go get him. What is going on? Everyone left me in charge of Van Horn last night, and I had to make really big decisions. Who did you kill? Nobody. Who the fuck did you kill? Nobody. Put no. You're gonna probably need that later, but not right now. 
All right, then. Would you like some banana bread? Sure. Could be like a de-stressor. Is it Grandpappy's? Yeah. Oh, it has a penis. All right, I'm here. Hi, Archie. Okay. Last night, I was the only one awake. It was me, Harry, and Millie. And the McKinley brother came in and said that they claimed the bounty. They brought me to the stables and showed me that it was Chev. I came back into Van Horn and I had Harry go to the bank and I had Millie escort her to get the five grand. I went and paid the McKinley brothers and I took Chev and I tied her to a tree and handcuffed her. Where as long as she didn't be found, that's she's that's still there. During that time, the law ordered martial law on Van Horn and tried to kick Harry out of Van Horn. She thinks it was eight deputies. You ever tie into a tree? Yeah, I didn't know. Wild. Yes, I didn't know what to do. I suppose you did well. Apparently, Law came to Van Horn three times last night. One while I was out and about with Chev. They came back. I was under the docks, and I took off. And then they came back after that as well. All right. You do know where she is, yes? I do. You can take me to her. I can. Good. Then you did well. You paid them in full. All five grand. They had taken another deputy, so I made the transaction quick. I told them to hold on to that deputy for a little bit longer and make sure she can't fucking talk to send in the tip. I don't know how long they had her or if they still have her or if she's dead, but... I told them not to immediately release the second deputy. Everyone here is going to stay in Van Horn. Zip. You were going to take me to the sheriff. Okay. Did my team speak crash? Or are they just quiet? Are you okay? The yeah. uh, yes. Um, stay here with everybody. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Um, to pick up what we found last night. Okay. If anyone needs you in town, help them. Okay. Of course. But she needs to stay in town. We're having a party. Yeah. Do you want her to make safe sinners? 
Yeah, at a proper party. Enough ass to make saints and sinners. Uh, yes, I have a bunch. I'll go get it for you. Okay, There's perfect. Special yeah, come guest on. coming to Van um, Horn. Millie. Fine. Save me Fine. too. I need you guys to stick around. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. we won't drink until you get back, anyways. All right, and. uh... No fucking way. I'm going up in the woods. Oh, oh, shit. Sorry, Pete. Sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> um, don't give up faith. Go back to his chat if you were in his chat. Don't give up faith. I, uh, it might not be the internet. Don't give up on verts. It might not be his internet. Hold. Everyone hold. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was aware of that, yeah. At least there's enough people in Van Horn to handle it. That's what I wanted. It's not the internet. Bad things are happening, Zip. No. <laughs> um, I'm eating a cheat dinosaur. You want some? It eases Her team spread. speak isn't fucked. There's today. faith. I like pastry. I gave a while, uh, while the Yeah, pastry yeah. Red and they could have famous. three people on this server. It won't matter. But if her team speak isn't bad, then the upload eats the team speak. Are you coming in? Um, later tonight We're probably, him... but I don't have any schedule for it usually. Just I meant with us. Uh, you no, fucking I'm freak. Thank you though. And no. quite frankly, you both are, are not you... my type. Are you both as a me and Wallaby or me and Harry? You and Wallaby. Either way. You, are you riding out with us to pick up the sheriff? Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ, you um, I don't think it's going to matter, but maybe I should... Maybe I should just sleep. 
Can I probably make room okay. in my pockets? Sure. I don't. Th I don't think it'll oh! matter at oh! all. But what? Thank you. She gave me tobacco. You're welcome. Yeah, I told her to get it for you. Okay, I'm just gonna relay one more time what Sheriff Bolton said to me. Mm -hmm. She asked. I told her. You know, I can't stop her if she wants to look in the rug store one more time, but I promise her nobody's here. And she said, do you think that'll be a risk to my sheriff? And I said, yes, I think it might be. But also declaring martial law in Van Horn was also a risk. And what did she say to that? She had a sidebar and then she left. Oh. Okay. Okay, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright, good night. I know, that's why I told you guys to wait a second. It might not be the internet. Harry's not my type either. I just didn't want to say it in front of her. That's kind of mean to not tell her to her face, if I'm being honest. Why? I don't know, it's just rude. Tell her she's not good enough. She is good enough, just not for me. Uh, also, um, Hi. I put... I put the, uh, the bartender, uh, Mackenzie, I put him in the cage last night. Um, did anyone check to see if he maybe might still, uh, be there? No, I thought that he was sleeping behind the bar, but I also didn't check. Uh, should I maybe go check on that? Yeah, you could let him out. Okay. I still, I still have the key. How come she has a key and I don't? Uh, because you had already left. I want to torture that little freak. There's only one fucking key. Can't we go to a blacksmith? Probably. But then we would have to go to the city, and then we would have to sit there. How long does it take to make a key? Like, three hours? I don't fucking know. Do I look like a keysmith? Kind of, I guess. What? What does a keysmith look like? I don't know. Somebody who wears a beaten up hat, a black jacket, and black pants, and a black shirt, and black shoes. Can't get the metal dust on them or else their clothes would get dirty if they were wearing something nice. Is it metal dust silver? <laughs> Ow! Did you kick me because I'm right or because you just felt like kicking me? I think both. I think I'm stressed out. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. In non friendship, fuck you, fuck you. What, like lovers? N you fuck. Stop. No, fuck <laughs> you like I'm angry at your fucking word choice there. <laughs> okay. I'm fucking stressed. You left me in charge, you asshole. I didn't leave nobody in charge. I, I should have western principalized the fucking entire town just to make it your fault. I should have started putting. include fanning down six deputies as one man? I should have fucking put bullheads everywhere. Bullhead on every fucking building. Fucking uh, ponchos every. Uh, make every Van Horny and have a fucking poncho. I don't even own a single poncho. At well, all. you would if I was in charge again, so. Absolutely not. I will fucking stitch it to every no, single one of your clothes. 1 0. I know your room. I'll wait until you leave to go menacingly stare out from the lighthouse and. I'll sew all of your clothes with ponchos on them. Happy. Uh, how do it? How far away is this place? Yep. Years away, I think. It's out west. It's the home of the brave. West? Yeah, it's out west. Are you kidding? Um, actually, if you really want to know where it is, I can tell you. It is by the Heartland Overflow on top of that little mountain uh, that is right of the A in Hanover. She's perched atop there. I crucified her. Wait, the heart. Can you Emerald say that Ranch, again? And then Heartland yeah, yeah, yeah. Overflow and see mm -hmm. that little mountainous area just right above the water? Small little cliff hillside. She's perched up atop there. Oh, in right. between the where A and the A. That, where all the trees are that you can cut down. Yep. Goddamn. Certainly hope no one knows about that lumber camp. 
Oh, that's a lumber camp? Yep. Oh, how you did put it in a lumber camp. No, I, I think if it if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's very close. I think it might be a little bit further away. It's no, it it looks like it on the map. It's so the tracks. I could be wrong. Let's hope I'm wrong. Or is it Moonstone Pond? It could have been Moonstone Pond. I mean, Moonstone Pond is more mountainous than that. That that isn't exactly a mountain. It's more like a fucking little hill, tiny hill. I want to say they get it right. Who is it by the N in Amberino? She's just up with Enola. So you just bullshitting me? She's at no, my sister's no, grave. No, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it, oh, it could be. Where's yeah, your sister you, you just bullshitting me. <laughs> I was just saying, yeah. Hi. Oh, hello. Or was it that small cabin by Window Rock? Where are you coming up with this? I'm just looking at my map. But you keep it. Ooh, you know what? It could have been behind Calumet, Calumet Ravine by the by Wapiti. Or Wait, perhaps by the Femtist Rim. She's just playing with the map. Oh, playing with the map. You're just saying yeah, random I'm, places I'm to call her. Is where, that what you're uh, doing? Where Chevalier is hidden, which is. Hold on. Give me a minute. I'll I'll figure it out. I believe. It's done you know what? Right? I fucking ran off twice because. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I believe that we have her in a geyser by the springs near Wapiti. She's inside the geyser. We have her trapped in a geyser. If it's a PC issue and tank ah. logged off. I'm, I'm moving. I'm I'm walking away. Okay. Oh my God, Wesley, no! I wonder if he could use her PC. He you scared him. No, you scared him. He ran off. Where did he run off to? I don't know. He was so quick. Because I so think close. all you would have to do is sign into your Discord. I'm curious how it actually links to get into Wild. It's usually upload, but right now their upload is fine. The issue is is his PC. Where else do you think that she could be? I mean, where else do you think? Where else do you know that she is? I know, know the actual location, so. Yeah, so do I, and it is. Uh, it is. Uh, on the top of Don Manhattan. Julio. Uh, Don Julio is what I meant. Easy to mix them Maybe up. Maybe she has been separated. Her spirit has been shattered to the four winds, and you must collect each piece to reassemble her. No, that sounds the, the thing is, is I, I don't know Only will the true I don't know how well I heard I think all he would have to do is sign to into Owen his Gila. Steam and Discord. I think that's all he would have but to do. But all the way on the on the other side, all the way to Is the he left. starting stream? You know what, Susan? Thank the fucking god. Me, she's in San Denis. And then you gotta follow the creek up. Okay, yeah, he's loading in. Perfect. Thank fucking god. Why? Why? Ah, why? Ah. Stop it! What? Dakota, I'm talking to yeah. Dakota. What? Stop! Stop! Okay. It. Do you really want to know where she is? No. God no, is no, good. No. God is with okay. us here today. Go get it. That's, that's... No. Jokes on you. She's in Dakota's room. She's in Dakota's apartment. She's been there the been whole there time, sipping tea. Time. Yeah. I mean, that would make. You want to know the kicker? What? The actual location? No. No. 
She's behind the Hansenberg oh, yeah. Sheriff Station. <laughs> that, 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 she's that, in the Annisburg Mines. I figured the last place the law would check is their front door. Or, I guess, back door. Back door. Do they even have a back door in that office? No. They don't I think the only back door is Blackwater and Valentine, right? Yeah. Uh, no, Rhodes has a back door. Oh, yeah. Well, they have a side door. Yeah, a side back door. Um, And San Denis has back doors. San Denis has too many doors, if you ask me. I'd say yeah, we blow like that one up. Doors. Yeah, they got side doors, back doors, front doors, double front doors. If you could pick one sheriff station to blow up, what would it be? Valentine. Uh, Denis. Saint -Denis. Yeah, I think San Denis, too. It's too big. They should, Not we right. should destroy San Denis Share Station and have them rebuild a, like, copy of Tumbleweed. All right, we'll see you guys in the bed. Be All safe. Right, be safe. Pete, Pete, move. Pete, I'm going this way. Pete. I better see this town alive when I get back. Strawberry doesn't have a back door. It does if you have dynamite. I think we were supposed to make a left back there. Um. Okay. Like if I look at my map, I could tell you exactly where she is, yes. good Morning, Chev. night time well she might have just woken up her eyes look crusty throw water in her face i'm not gonna wash her hi this motherfucker oh Hello. thank god 
How you feeling? Oh, you know. Like you slept outside next to a tree. You want me to cut her Pretty loose? Much. Yeah, cut her loose. Get you some when we're back in town. Sheriff. Wallaby. Just the two of us for now. This is a nice place that you put her. I thought it was gonna be actually in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah. Yeah. I want her close, but not expected. Mm hmm I mean, this is civilized as well. Fire to keep her warm. She said somewhere dry. Thank you for the bless you. We did it. We did it. We handed her off to Wallaby, guys. You know what? I need a minute. Okay. We don't talk about that right now, okay? Let us take this little win. Okay. We're not doing the full song.
You could put a lot of soup in this pot. That's what they're made for, I think. Like a lot of soup. 12 bowls? 15. 12. 40, oh, 42. What? I was thinking like 30. Maybe. Depends on the serving size, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Careful. I think Your there's human in the there. Fire. Actually, I'm fireproof on one foot. Oh, yeah, you're right. Should I just walk up to him and be like, also, I kicked Alice out of Van Horn, but focus on this and then walk away? No, I would, would wait until we get this sorted. Never. Okay. I agree. No, you're you, gonna, you, we're going to talk about it It's your call. You're, you're the number two. Yeah, I think that you should also bring up the fact that uh, Scout indoctored you into the gang yeah, before this. this I don't whole actually happened. think that happened. It's just, you know, he said something nice and I took it that way. Oh, okay. Thank God. But if I wasn't in already, I think last night uh, solidified. Yeah, I, I would. I would. You know, I feel like this casts a heavy vote for you. I'm gonna call myself the dead deadliest and gang e. Okay, Zip. Don't you tell him do I said that. All right. Actually, we're gonna forget. The last four I can't. and a half seconds. I can't. You can. You forget a lot. I really don't. I remember everything and don't. then I just don't well, talk about it ever don't. again. Just Sometimes like when it benefits we others. We just need to not talk about this. The, de the deadly and gangy. Deadliest and gangy. No, no, no. I think Wallaby's killed like 30 fucking people. Out of like Van Horn one-on-one -on -one kills, I think he's up there. I don't know where everyone else is at. Like, if we're not talking, like, someone dying during the shootout or, like, Sam or any of that. Like, if we're talking, like, Zip, pretty much. The only one I'll count is the Booker thing, even though Sam helped with that. So that was like a personal kill, you know what I mean? Rather than like a gang shootout or the gang was after someone and someone died. Yeah, I never understood why people never liked it when I paced until you showed up. Then you don't like me pacing even though yeah, you pace? Yeah, I understand it now. I was the only pacer. I, I can't. I can't not pace, especially in high-stress situations. Especially because that... since Pete quit, I had to quit. Quit what? Wade. I didn't even know that you started. I think we're at 13. I think. I just think it helps me. It helps me think about things. That's counting Booker. But like four of them four or five of them were one life characters and they just happened to run across zip and then uh i think it's two deputies um i guess the biggest names would be samuel you get some color in your outfit You look drab. Oh. Somebody's pantaloons were on my head. What? Somebody's pantaloons were on my fucking forehead. Oh, that's probably the piss pantaloons. Ugh. Sam and uh, Samuel Pine and Book are probably side. the two biggest.
I don't want to be here. What'd you just say? I don't want to be here. I think we should go back to Van Horn. That'll be fine. I'm also worried about the people inside of Van Horn right now, because if they came back fucking three times last night, Lord knows it'll come a fourth. Or have deputies sleeping in fucking Van Horn. On the outskirts of their little bed rolls. Right. Their outfit laid out beside them so they can dress and start the day immediately. Right. They probably slept in their outfit. That's true, with their shoes on. Shoes on, everything. I don't even think they lay down. They're probably just standing there. Sleeping upright like a horse? Yeah. <laughs> what? Horses sleep know. on the ground? Rarely. They can st sleep standing up. Fucking horses freak me out. Why? Who's sleep standing up that's fucking creepy? I notice I'm saying creepy a lot lately. I feel like Wallaby probably sleeps standing up. I feel like he's sleeps standing up in a coffin. Yeah, me too. And then when he wakes up in the morning, he, his eyes just open and he steps out, looks around for a moment, and then just walks out of his hotel room. Do you think he dreams and whistles? No, I don't think so. I, I would imagine that his dreams are very nice. <laughs> like open meadow... Kind of, yeah. Just him as a, as a young boy, probably, surrounded by loved ones and his family. I feel like his recurring dream would be him just how he is now, running naked through a meadow. I don't think so. Skipping and hollering and whistling, but like happier tunes. He doesn't seem the naked type. He's a person. I hear a person. They doubled up. I don't know if they would have saw something or not. It didn't seem like they even cared. I broke my promise. I, I think I promised I'd bring her water. Do you have water? Uh, yeah, I have water, but it's mine. Throw your canteen as hard as you can at her. What? Right now? Probably. No. I can't break my word. We can get her water. I don't know if we're going to bring her back to town or not, but if we're not, I'll give her water here, and then if we bring her back to town, I'll fucking make Mackenzie fucking... Can I brand her? Finger tricks. What? Can I brand her? Why would we brand her? I want to put, like, zip on her forehead. Oh, put Van Horn, VH, on each cheek. We're not going to... Jesus Christ. The fact that we haven't brought her back to Van Horn already by dragging her by her feet with a fucking string. A string? Why not a I rope? think we're... Okay. You make me want to get into this pot sometimes. But why a string? The string can break. I just think it's funny calling a lasso a fucking string. A little stringy wingy. A stringle dingle, okay? Is that what okay, you want I didn't know you meant funny. lasso or I stringle dingles. Funny. I didn't know that that was the term you use, okay? I thought it was like a string. Like Sorry, fabric I'm string. I'm not using the fucking technical terms. Okay, go ahead. Stringle wingle her way. Where, where were you going with it? I mean, he's having a civilized conversation with a woman on the edge of a cliff. How do we know I it's civilized? I don't think it's lead to a branding. How do we know it's civilized? What if because he's... when Wallaby's doing like his scary thing, he turned to me. He goes like this. 
He'll look at you. He'll fucking stand in front of you. Like this. And he'll, he'll look into your eyes and it's creepy. Have you ever stabbed someone in the side neck? No, I've never stabbed somebody before. I've only shot one, two, three, three people on purpose. I don't know why they keep me around. And sometimes I cry myself to sleep at night. And then Hooper told me about his dead brother who used to kick a, he kicked a dog to death because his father Tim. said that he couldn't have it. He told you about Tim? Yeah. I thought I was special. No, he said that he sees a lot of his brother in me and not you. He specified that he didn't see shit in you. That little fucking creep, he told me the same thing. What, that he saw the brother in you? More than he saw it in anyone out east. That motherfucker. That motherfucker. I took that to heart. This little fucking freak. Why are deputies all the same? Assholes. Can we kill Can we brand her no, now? They're not all the same. I didn't mean that. I think we agreed to brand her at that Some moment. Some of them are individualistic. And it was at this moment Dakota and Zip came together to brand VH on Sheb's face. I can't believe he tried to play me like that. That's what he does. Player's gonna play. I trusted him. Who he gave it? me something nice. I know. Tell me about it. I hate that guy. Oh, look, 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 look at them. Look, see, see, they're not, they're not standing side by side having a conversation anymore. I fucking told you. Yeah, I'm just saying that that's what I'm talking about. If he's, if he's upset at something, he's, he's going to turn and stare at them instead of standing side by side. He's going to kill her. I don't think so. I want to brand her before he does. You'd have to ask. Her or him? I hear people. We should go. There's, There's multiple three. people. Hold on, don't move, don't move, don't move. Okay, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving out in the open. You're the worst criminal I've ever met. I don't do this sneaky shit. I fucking, I fucking ride up to them and say, leave, or I'm going to fucking slit your fucking throat, you piece of fucking shit. And, and then I make the I... girlfriend wear the boyfriend. Oh, my Jesus Christ. I do that sometimes, but just in a different way.
just people running around like ants down there. Where'd he go? Did Where we lose him? Did he, ha, he was just behind us. He went. He went to the graveyard. Oh, okay. I got it. Well, everybody is uh, everybody is standing to attention. No. When you came to Fernhorn. insisted on riding down the road, yes? To get to Annersburg. I asked why it was necessary for us not to. Well. But yes. Everyone was asleep. The street was dead. I'd understand why you wouldn't understand, but you will understand now. You were gonna walk through Van Horn like you insisted. All the way up to Annersburg, to your people. your time. Enjoy the many attractions. I wish you luck. Get into the other side. I just start walking. Just start walking. Go on. I see. Walked through Van Horn. Sheriff. I had to. Come in the saloon and get a drink. No need to rush. I'm sure I would be honored to. How yeah. gracious. Blue drink. Oh, we got so many prepared. Yeah, we do. I got like a horse. No boss. Oh, well, apparently, apparently animals, we're supposed to be making animal noises, them. so, and quacking. Oh. Yeah, good job, Jip! We get the lovely show. And my doubts when I heard you had a tie to a tree. Go dog hunting. Why? Not me. I'm good. Why? 
I'm not sure why Animal Noises was requested. Did you hear that? Animal Noises was requested, so Animal Noises... No, that was just... Yeah, they told me that I should make their laugh. There's so much. There's some rumblings. It was Harry's horse. It was my horse running away. I really know noise. A lot of loud noise. On the house. How sweet are you? Anyone else? I'm alright for now. I'm good. Bring a drink up, Sheriff. What is your order? Yeah, my theme speak went out too. Good for you. Really goes well with the drink, right? Sure. <laughs> Certainly. Well, there's a lot of people here, sure. You had to look around. A lot of people waiting for your arrival. <laughs> I've taken a glance at quite a few faces. Mm hmm These are townsfolk. These are people that live here. Good, honest people. sure each one of them has their own story to tell. That they do. <laughs> Get outside. Could do with some fresh air. Come on. Ah, isn't it beautiful? I'm glad you're okay. I'm shocked I'm okay. Did you get the telegram last night? It, it is. Yeah. It is okay. beautiful. In the mud. I, s I slept in this, the like chicken coops of Emerald. <laughs> Why did you Roll sleep there? <laughs> well, because I, I, went, I went to go check my telegrams. <laughs> and uh, there was a bunch of law. And I, sure. you know, you know. It does. Okay. You know, it's a beautiful place, Sheriff. It's a beautiful place to live, to breathe. And I like it, and I like fucking living here. Who else likes living here? Who else likes living here? Oh, yeah. Hey. We all like living here. I do. I do. Hell yeah. Stand back up. Let me see. 
Look at them. Look at all I, these people that live here, sir. I see them. Such good, hard-working people. I see them. Ah! Ah! Fuck it! <laughs> oh my god! It's just a little chunk. Go to sleep. Keep walking to the end of time. Not too long. Said <laughs> <laughs> keep fucking walking. I'm sure. I'm. Sure, it's wonderful. Come on, Sheriff. Admit it, it's a lovely time. It's lovely. You okay? I'll take that as a yes. Anyone else? Oh, one more. Go on. Zip, you want to yeah. say bye? What? Enjoy your trip. You want to say bye to the sheriff? No, I don't want to mind. I only know one way to say goodbye, but... Mm. No. No. Bye. Yeah. All right, then. <gasps> Hope you enjoyed your visit, sheriff. Can I beat her with my wife? No, please. Do not come God, again. I for that. <laughs> bye. Glad you enjoyed bye. your tour. Bye. Big law headed north out of Vansburg about 30 minutes ago. What? Joan Morse to go? I'll be back, Millie. Okay. Because everyone's getting way too excited. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Archie. What? Oh, she's gonna stay behind because everyone oh, he could... on the horses at the speed limit. Archie, you could go. I'll stay are, back. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. All right. Appreciate it. By three fucking deputies going, watch into wagon. I was like, it's fucking ice. All right, you want to get to work? Yeah. Okay. And there was three deputies with a fucking wagon parked in the middle of the road, stopping people doing? riding past, just riding down mm -hmm. the track, going. Oh. 
Are we leaving? Yeah. I need to check telegrams. Okay. When we get up here, can you tell your horse to fuck off real quick? Yes. Solo, thank you for the raid, brother. Hope you had a good stream. All right, we're gonna try to go into Santa Night. Okay. So what happened after I left? Did you immediately leave or what? Uh, no. Uh, Harry and I both sat on the roof of the sheriff's office and just kind of watched out for a while. And then um, I wanted I wanted to go see if there was any law. And uh, uh, so I just decided to go in and act like I was taking a coal job <laughs> and uh, there was a couple law there and then I we're not finding anybody as well. they have six and, people um, so we backed off I saw that you were all right and I'm not gonna sit in Van Horn and, then, and just uh, wait around we're gonna to check telegrams and probably go get some a, money you know and then uh, a bunch of law came through and here, I come was... over here come over here keep telling the story but follow me Uh, Is that it? I know, well, dude, there was just a bunch of law that passed by the mines. And so uh, I decided to just, you know, wait it out a little bit, about 10 more minutes. And then I went back and uh, I scouted before I went back into Van Horn. There was like a shit ton of law on the on the hill behind the rug store, and uh, so I just kind of went to Emerald and laid my head at the chicken coop. Okay. Okay. Um, do me a favor. Ride into San Ana. Check telegrams. Like not actually look at your letters, but check the telegram office and check the sheriff office and tell me what you see. I'll be right here. Okay. Okay.
might have to go talk to my roommates in a second. Actually, I'm going to do this now real quick. I'll be right back. Uh, both are empty. rep points for zip <laughs> I mean I wish we could be there for what's happening right now but we're the newest addition so it makes sense why and Archie definitely deserves to be there more than zip I feel bad that he's the one that got left behind so we'll just get shit done Oh shit, he's out of Sisica. Rider. What? Said there's a rider. Okay, let's go back to Van Horn. We'll pick up some of the people there. Okay, one sec. Yeah. Fuck, I want to telegram Andy back, but I don't think she's on Andy anymore. Yeah, ride right on my horse. We gotta be quick. need to uh, get some of the Van Horn people. All right. We're going to go make some money. Okay. My wife might be awake. 
so I might go meet with her too. Oh, all right. She could still be in California, though. I don't know where the telegram was sent from. Okay. Uh, I got a telegram from Nix. Who? NYX. Uh, he said he spoke to you in the saloon at Van Horn. Asked about getting some guns for him. I just want to confirm it was indeed the following. A Navy revolver. Um. I don't remember who this was, so just say yes. What up, pilot? Sorry, I didn't get a telegram. You're out of fucking Siska? Who is that? I'm having a very severe headache right now. Oh my god. You might have to meet me in Van Horn. Yeah. Come straight to Van Horn. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. It's, I think it's better. Okay, um, uh, do you know who NYX is? I'm not sure. He, he, do you know what I was talking about? I'm sorry, I kind of, I had the headache. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, was, we I, can talk last, about it later. The, yeah, the last thing I heard from you was a Navy. Oh, he said that he spoke to you in the saloon about the Navy revolver, a Litchfield, a repeating shotgun, and a bolt action. I was told to reach out to you instead of him. Yeah, I don't remember this, so just telegram back saying, okay, we'll meet with you later. If Chev went to Ansberg, then there's a chance Law is going to be swarming the place. Right. But I think they'll have that figured out, so I want to get shit done while that's underway. Gotcha. Did you let the bartender out of his cage? Oh, I unlocked it. Okay. I figured he's... I, I figured he'd stay, right? Uh, hopefully. I literally rolled into town, I walked into the saloon, and all of a sudden there's fucking shots everywhere. Yeah, so that's I'm like, been a you know what? You. I'm just going to fucking stay right here. Why I oughta, why I oughta, I oughta wring your neck, you know that? I oughta wring your neck. Ma? Do it, fella. Yep, it, that was exciting for a little bit. I'm smoking a cigarette. Why are you going to wring my I, neck? I Can we go talk on the dock? Are you yes, aware yes, of the situation? Can. I have heard a very, very short summary of what happened with you and Alice kidnapping Sheriff Chevalier. It wasn't Alice. It was okay. Millie. So why was Riley kidnapped. telling me it was Alice? Um, I, <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's very weird. Like very, very, very weird. Okay, you're gonna have to give me thirty seconds of silence. Oh, I'm talking about. Wait, is this the guy from the bus? Oh, spot on. Oh, oh fuck. It was really good. Oh, yeah, it was one of the best. Riley, get in the saloon. Yeah. Who the fuck told you I was with oh, Alice? Sorry. You owe me a lot of money. Huh? Isn't this you that say that? Yeah, you said that yeah, over there on the dock. The... I never oh, yeah. said Alice. Yeah, yeah you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. You said me and Alice went and got money with Harry and paid okay. the McKinleys. I'm ready. Did I? All right. Never mind, Riley. Huh? 
You did say that. I'm I not don't think that so. Up. I think it was Millie. Oh, Millie. I'm sorry. I must have mistaken it. I apologize. Yo, you're right. It was Millie, not Alice. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Because you and another person. I didn't. I didn't mean to say Alice. I'm sorry. I meant Millie. You're fine. Fuck off. Because that's right. You were. Yeah. You. No, yeah, you fuck off. Fuck off. Why, why can't you be nice to me? Kindly fuck off. Oh, there you go. Okay. How's that? With respect. Thank you. So other than her feeding you a bunch of misinformation, I didn't go out kidnapping. The McKinleys showed up, and um, they said they had her. So I had Harry go get the money with Millie. Uh, I paid off the bounty. I went and picked up Chev, and I tied her to the tree, handcuffed her, and... Yeah, law came in and ordered martial law and told Harry to f fucking leave town because it's martial law in Van Horn with eight deputies. <laughs> and then they left and I came back and then left and then came back. So I laid my head down at Thieves. Okay, interesting. Perhaps they didn't understand that the reason she was kidnapped in the first fucking place was that exact fucking reason. Right. Sometimes they're a little slow to uh, understand I things. I think they're slow all the time. It's just I think a clock is right twice a day. Yeah, that might be the situation. That 100% is the situation. They are 10 times dumber than they think how dumb I am. I'm going to put that on the floor and stand by it. I will stand on that business till the day I die. Yeah, fair enough. So is that everything? Uh, that you don't know, yeah. Okay. That I know. I don't know what they did with her, because, um, Wallaby had too many already, so... Me and Millie are leaving. To go get shit done. What do you mean, leaving? We're gonna go work. What kind of work? I don't know yet, but I'm not gonna just fucking stand around Van Horn and wait to be picked. I mean, get shit done. Okay, well, the other group that, quote-unquote, doesn't get picked will be a good group to take That's with you. That's I'm taking. Perfect. Whether that's me or whoever else, I don't mind. Well, probably talk to Wallaby. Well, we could talk to Wallaby, but we need to tell him about Alice at some point, too. Yes, we do. That's it. Chomp is away from me. You understand? You know I need a cigar. Martial law, get out of town. Here, I got you some. It, it didn't work the first two times. It's not going to work a third. Hey, uh, Wallaby, we just got some money. Can I have a talk? Yes, Penny. Um, when should I do the this one. with she's not wa bad. Wallaby? Um, once she's done talking yeah. to the ugly woman. Okay, because I want it done before Law storm this fucking place. <laughs> yeah. What? She's ugly. <laughs> Penny. <laughs> oh. You know, I like Penny. I guarantee you I could throw a knife in her artery right now. Dude, Penny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're probably good. Do you have a knife? I believe it. No. Wait, you talking about from here? Yeah. No, please don't do that. That's a really bad idea. Why? Because, I, I don't know, the wind takes it and you hit Wallaby right in the fucking heart. It's okay if it's an accident, right? I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to speak to Pete and Scott about that one. All right, I'll wait till she's alone. Absolutely. All right. Hello. How you doing, bro? Doing all right. Doing all right. Also, I'd like to point out that the law think that Millie is Alice, and they're very convinced that it is. So does I Riley. See. Yeah, I had the same problem a minute ago too. I confused the two of them. Oh, and, and Wade is it. Hey, Zip. Good work. Oh. Well, Wade doesn't look very 
Speaking of speaking of Alice, what what exactly happened? Uh, well, since we had and then the whole thing happened. I was pissed, obviously. All right. Come in, man. A horrible time. Um, here, actually, can I bring Scout because, um, yeah. okay. Scout. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to bed. Scout. Get out, Wesley. Scout, I Scout. Never Scout. That's who I'm writing, huh? Millie, get over here. Stop being weird. Good night, Wes. Yes. What do you know, Pete? Nothing. Night. Okay. Were you here when, uh... Found out the news of Isaac? Yes. He knows okay. about that, yes. Well, do you know about just, the telegram I, I received? Yeah. Okay. I had a confrontation with Alice, and every fiber of my being told me to stab her in the fucking neck and never look at her again. So I told her to get the fuck away from me and leave Van Horn. Which I'm glad you did, right, by the okay. way. Okay. Thank you for not stabbing her. And I've been waiting for Wallaby to be around to tell him. Right, okay. Yeah, because I didn't ask you the other day, obviously, because Isaac was a pressing matter. Right. I didn't think he was appropriate. But yeah, okay. Yeah, I understand now. I'm I didn't know page. who to tell, and Scout and I were talking on the gallows and tumbleweed, so I just filled him in so that someone is aware and it doesn't look like I'm trying to hide it from people. All right. It's just after we left the funeral, you weren't there, and everyone kind of went on their own way. So the only ones that are aware of it are Scout and Dakota, because they were there. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, sorry about that. Afraid, uh, didn't know Isaac too well. Yeah. Sad, but... He, uh... I knew it was coming. The way he moved about. He wanted to duel Everett. And I know Everett is a... Uh, well, he's a great fucking shot. Not necessarily saying I believed Everett would win, but... I don't know. I don't know how to express how I feel about that. Yeah. I get it. I'm just glad we could be there for you during that. I'm glad you were there as well. And I appreciate it. I think Dakota has a telegram, so I need to find Dakota. But... I asked Dakota when the best time to tell him is, and, well, oh, he's swimming. Maybe now? Maybe now. Okay. You guys want to be there? Probably. Yeah. Why not? Hello, again. Hello. Zip. Yeah, we should talk about other shit. My condolences. Did Dakota give you the letter? I received one from Everett. Was it detailed? Partially. Let's talk. Between you and me, I really like Millie. Same.
She didn't even contest when I told her if anything okay, happens to give her life for Harry. Oh, what do you want to tell him? Can we keep this audience short, Wallaby? Like, maybe Scout Dakota yeah. Pete? Sure. Tell him. I'll let him know. Okay. It ain't the, it ain't the, it ain't the rug floor, right? All right. Should be aware before this starts. There's apparently six law in the next town over. Not sure which town. They've declared martial law. According to Penny. They've declared martial law in Ennisburg. I don't know if it's Annisburg. It's Annisburg. That's where I sent her. So, yeah, I guess so. Well, that is different. Then I guess we'll make this quick. I don't know if the same telegram you got, but I believe if Dakota still has it, the one I received from Everett was explaining... By the way, it's how I found out my cousin was dead was from Everett. And it explained that Alice and four others, I believe, or two others or three others, whatever it is, went out and got blood from Zoe. Now I know the majority of you, actually probably all of you in this room hate the way we do things out west. But I find it extremely fucking disrespectful to take blood away from me when it was my fucking cousin that died. Not necessarily me going out for blood, but I at least wanted to have a conversation. I try my best when I handle situations to get both sides before I act. Very little does that actually work out. And my anger gets the best of me. But I have history with Zoe. She took that away from me. When I confronted Alice, I am not going to fucking sit here and be around the bush. I wanted to fucking kill her. I wanted to make her hurt so much more than I was hurting in that moment. I couldn't even focus on Isaac. I couldn't focus on anything other than the fact that she took something away from me that she had no right to fucking do. Before I pulled out a revolver or a fucking knife and killed her, I told her to get the fuck away from me and leave Van Horn, and I know I have zero right to probably even think that. But if I'm being honest, it was either I fucking kill her or I tell her to get out of my face. I chose the latter. I can tell you have something to say, Scum. Go ahead. I don't have anything to say. Fuck off, you don't. Everything associated with Valor, you have something to say. Now all of a sudden you do not. What do you want me to say? What's on your mind? Or do you want to explain the rest of that? To him first. Zip. Or was that everything? Hmm. 
No, I don't. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure you had everything out before we move over to meet. All right then. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I told you so. Or anything of the sort. What matters is it happened again. I'm muted because I was eating a fucking cracker. And I've said before, it's going to continue happening. Talk. And that has happened again. I would just like it to stop. From continuing to happen. Can I see that telegram? Hey. It's wrapped up somewhere in between yes. the hotel and horses. Thoughts. Okay. Thoughts on this, honestly. Alex has called this place home for some time. I think what, what you mean by that, Scout, is her, like, going out and acting. Without uh, consulting us. Is that, is that what you mean? I mean, she's gone out and ridden with different groups, stunting with different groups to bring issues here to Van Horn multiple times. And when Wallaby has stepped in to put a stop to it, it does not stop. It continues. He's, he's not wrong, really. Look at him. Um, I wouldn't... <sighs> I think that the last situation in regards to her going to the... going to the graves was a very, uh, clear event where I'm sure that you knew the next time that something would happen of the sort um, it would have to be dealt with and I think given the situation at hand right now it's a very uh, it's more black and white than the last um, the last one was uh, mixed up in a whole load of things but I think this one gives a more clear picture of where her intentions lie and where her loyalties lie. And I think that a clear decision needs to be made based off of that. It isn't within your right. Is anyone here? Someone get rid of this fucking cunt. Hello? What do you want? I borrow you for one second. We're busy here. Just, it's, it's real quick. As I was saying, I run Van Horn. I say who comes, who goes. But you know that already. I do. I told Scout immediately, saying I fucked up, but I didn't know what else to do, and it's the truth. You, you don't need to get the coder involved. She's it's fine. Give me a minute. I don't think she minds. Keep him right there. No, call me. Where, where is he? Hey, he's, where he's, is he? He's paying us. He's paying his debt. Oh. 
I'm gonna stay out here. I, you in I mean, I kind of want to watch the. I think he's just pain. I don't think he's getting hit, hurt. No man, no man. That's Dakota's debt to be paid or whatever. I don't fucking know what she did oh, with right, that. Where was I? Yes. I understand what you were doing. As for hatred for what you do out west, I do not hate how you do things out west. I do not agree with them. The fact you didn't draw blood tells me a lot. I will want to hear from her before I decide and make judgment. All right, that's it. It's, it's paid up. I got, I got till Friday. Come here, you little fucking cunt. Where are you? God damn. Are we, are we done, or is there more? That, that's Where a good fucking he? question. I guess he's just gonna speak to Alice. Fuck up. Come here, come here. I mean, I'd rather he gets hammered than me. What the? F I, I get a vote. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's down here. He's running away. <laughs> He's a quick motherfucker. Throne room. Throne room. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Throne room. Throne room. Fuck him. Put your chair, Zip. Come here. Well, there's a throne. Stand up. I'm gonna bonk him on the fucking head. Keep him still. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack him this fucking head. We need to talk about it. I earned the money. No, you fucking didn't. Ah. That's cheating. Is you still there? Is he? Is he dead? I... I don't know. I don't think he meant to hit killed. I think oh he meant God. to um, slash kill. Did you just... Oh my God, <laughs> God. I thought he he's, was he's dead. He's fine, he's fine. I thought he was dead. He's fine. Um... He charged Penny $300 for a fucking stew. Get him out of the... Get out of the way, I'm gonna fucking smack him again. Okay, everybody move. I'm gonna aim for his fucking toe. Everyone, get back. His left or right foot is already broken, by the way. Yeah, that's we stopped. Well, now his fucking yesterday. big toe is broken. Okay. This motherfucker. Can we break his leg? Oh, I'm like sorry, no. Okay, let's not get fucking hysterical, right? Wait. Can I take his pinky? No. Someone go get um someone from up top that knows how to treat a unconscious man. Um, is our thing done? For now, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, the his toe is completely mangled. That'll teach him. He ain't gonna feel it now, but when he wakes up. Oh, he's gonna feel it. Oh, Pete, splash some water on his face. Okay. One moment. I still think that we should break both of his legs. Yes. If I vote. If I get a vote. That is not fucking necessary. You know how many fucking how is he? would be the good time to do this? Listen, listen. He runs away every I'll, single fucking day. Every how day. the fuck can he make money if he can't walk? Well, we just get him a little stool and put it behind the bar. We're not getting him a stool. We can get him he wheels. He needs his legs to make money. We get him little wheels behind the bar and he can just wheel around from the bar. We could tie two ropes to the ceiling Pete, in the are saloon. Are you splashing water on his face or what? Oh my god, that's perfect. I'm really trying. Can you back up a bit? All right. He can move himself via rope. Just splash the water, Pete. All right, let me fucking do it. You can't do it. I'll fucking do it. No, I'm doing it. God damn. I 
didn't know that it was so hard to lift a glass of water and pour it on a man's face. That's why there's a bartending job. What a hideous Wake little up. creature. Wake up! Wake up. Slap him, slap him, slap him a little bit. Today. A little I was cleaning it. I was cleaning it, I promise. What the fuck is he talking what? about? Hold on. Hold on. I'll, I'll fix this. Flicky's toe. No, I'm grabbing ah! that thing. Ah, fuck. Wake up. Oh. Ah, oh. Now, what did you learn? Where am I? Van Horn. Oh, fuck. I thought it was a nightmare. No, it's real. I think I pissed myself. I don't know how to reply to that. I'm done with this man. Uh, I could check. If he's looking for the answer. What did I earned the money. Come on. No, you didn't. You have eight I grand? It. There was thievery. I, it wasn't hey, thievery. Did you steal from someone? I, I asked for the money and they gave it to me. It was not. He oh. charged Penny $300 for a bowl of soup. You extorted someone. If you I'm being honest, I don't like that woman. lady. I think that she's ugly. Anyways, that's besides the point. I made a request. Can we politically it. marry this guy to Penny? No. It was a tip. <sighs> Come on. Are we, is that so a hard close. no? I've done you it twice so now. Close. Maybe, Mackenzie, have you ever thought that if you just earned an honest living and made $300 out of the goodness of your heart to repay the debt that you owe us, you'd be out of here by now? I did. Then the moose thing. Well, maybe if you were more of a man, you could have broke a deal with those people or scared them off a little bit. Show them what's what. But you're not. You're Mackenzie. And your toe's broken. And you're in a fucking basement. And you still love $300. Oh. The most pathetic excuse for a fucking man I've ever seen in my entire life. Is it because I pissed myself? It's a lot. It's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things. Ah! Fuck! Don't do it! <laughs> uh, All right. could eat him. Listen up. Have you been talking to law? Me? Yeah, you. I'm not allowed to speak to anyone. I can't leave my horse. Listen here, shit stain. The law are looking for you. How? How? Am Good I talking question. to the law? We can get to the bottom of this. You better not have been talking. How have I... I don't know, even know any law anymore. What? I, I don't even know any law anymore. What do you mean anymore? My best friend was the sheriff. Which one? Sheriff Joe Jackson. Does anyone know a Joe Jackson? I've never heard of them in my life. It's really yeah, old. No. Is he dead? Uh, he's not replied to my t I Everyone I, I seem to be friends with is dead. I found out one of my best friends is dead you know, yesterday. And a criminal, apparently. I see. You better be keeping your mouth shut. How? If anybody How else you're here because you want it's, to be it, here, do you That understand? must mean you got someone else talking here. Because I, I haven't been allowed to leave. Are you trying to spread paranoia? No, I, I, I'm just trying to show it's not me. I did find him on the beach yesterday. He could have been going to like a... I was foraging for the, the stew. He did, yeah, he did have some crazy... How far out of Van Horn was he? About, he was about 20 meters walking towards me, but he could have gone further when I spotted him. How far is 20 meters? Can team speak? It's gonna be one of those fucking days. A year or two. Uh, nothing. 
I didn't take the money because because then he would be free. I'm sorry. Like a fucking animal? Like a little pet? He owes us money and then he got robbed the other day of the $300. Yeah, so I had a collar and a lead for me yesterday. Okay, yeah, I did. Kept me in a cage. Why collar do you have a collar and a leash for? She well, put it, me in the see, cage was... and made me eat peanuts out of her hand. No, he I kept it. running. I did not take it out of my room. It you is did. not mine. You did feed him peanuts. I did lock him in a cage and I fed him peanuts out of the palm of my hand and then I it tried to get him to do monkey sounds. Noise. Is he a little Listen, fucking Wallaby, circus man? Explain. Yeah, this is what she gets up to when you're not around, by the way. This is too fucked up for me. Can I take his pinky? No. I want to wear it like a necklace. I have to go smooth things older. Over, oh, hold on. Well, what the fuck oh, are we left to do with this guy? Yeah, it's I so hate so this Pete. fella. Hey, come on now. Yeah. Why, why do you hate me? Cause you brought this whole whisk whiskey thing. Whisked whiskey? No, that was fucking Wallaby that did that shit. I know, but if we never met this guy, I would have never heard that you sentence. Oh, uh, you probably would have heard it somewhere else. Just saying. Who whisk whiskey other than a whisk whiskey or wallaby? And whatever that fuck that whisk whiskey is, I don't fucking know. I'm sticking to Saint Sinners. And I only drink them not even because the drink's that good, it's just the name of the drink makes me feel How'd the like... smoothing over go? Yeah, really did good, you actually? I think I have no never mind. It Feelings for him? Wrong. No, it went horribly wrong. You know, she was going around saying she likes to have people on leashes. I'm not surprised by that at all. I'm glad she fucking cheated on me. Did she ever do it with you? <laughs> like, did fucking she ever have you not. in a leash? No. What the fuck oh. is wrong with you? Uh, um. I didn't know you were standing there, to be honest. You little freak, you know that, with these fucking questions? I mean, she's the little freak telling people she's going around leashing people. She is, isn't she? Yeah. She said specifically she got that out of her bedroom. Right. Wait, the leash? No. She yes. made me make it. So she has a separate leash in her bedroom. Probably. Oh. Because the one we made was, we made the collar out of handcuffs. God, I wanna that is fucked up. Stay up so I can mm -hmm. see what the fuck happens, but also I should be there. Um, if they're doing that shit in uh, Ansburg, we're gonna need six people to fight. Do you want me to be there? Yeah, we are. Uh, it just depends. I don't know who we have. Where's Archie? Where's all these people? You know. I know There's we got me, you, Wallaby, Dakota. Oh, there they are. Uh, Archie, Pete. Hey, Millie. Follow Hello. Me. Yeah, we should have plenty. Um, If shit gets brought to Van Horn from the Ansberg martial law thing, who do you want here? Uh, us five right here. And other Pete or Dakota. There's four of us here. Raleigh was just here. Oh. So us four, Riley, and either Dakota or Pete. Run. Okay. Apparently there, there's martial law in Ansburg. Yeah. With six deputies there, which, why the fuck would they call martial law there, you know? Maybe because every time we've seen them up there, we attack. Maybe. But that still wouldn't stop us from attacking. No, it's not. But I yeah. guess they don't want innocents going in there. When has criminals ever actually listened to martial law? We don't exactly. listen to the, any other law. Why the fuck would we do that? They try to I don't call even martial know. law in this town. That's the funniest thing I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> I don't even know who this martial guy is. 
They also exactly. told it. Spare medical bag and some ammo and gun oil. They also told the martial Spare law. Spare medical bag as in two. Yes. To the one, one person yes. that if law said get the fuck out, she probably would have listened. Mm -hmm. I am in need. We also have a crate of buddy. rifle ammunition. Uh, go ask a dick or ankles. They might have some need, stuff for you. I, I want to shoot both of them the for the Oh, yeah, names. they're talking. Dick, uh, ankles is a uh, Oshin. Uh, Scout, we. Millie yes. has a crate of rifle ammo in her hotel waiting for this. Ooh. I don't know, isn't she fucking like the best? She's the best. Well paid for a good fucking reason. Well, yeah, she's been paid like over like twenty five hundred dollars at this point. God damn, you are a good employer, Zip. I know. You sure are. Jeez, I it hasn't even been a week. I, 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 I don't think that's a horrible idea if we're gonna be in a shootout with Law at some point. Fuck, put the box. It down. It's we around that time where us, usually keep the box. This might box is be uploaded. Picked up pretty quickly around here. Where's your assistant? You said to have her follow you, and then she didn't follow you. She's slacking on the job. Um, she vanished. There she is. Oh, she probably thought I meant follow me into the rug store. Wait, that's Dakota. <laughs> I won't Dakota tell her you. Assistant. Uh, punch they you for look that. similar. What? They look similar. I'm going to tell her that. Yeah, fuck you. There's a horse there. You just over Fuck you. Hey, hey, zip, zip, zip. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. <sighs> Don't hit him. No, I'm pushing him back to the horse. I'm having no, the horse do no, the dirty no, work. Please, just you the dirty store. little freak Why? fuck. Why are your little your little mud wigglers Run. out? Why Run. Why are your grass grippers out? Why are your uh, dirt diggers out? Wrong way. This way. Wrong way. Wait, Dakota. Way. Did you see He's Millie in the uh, rug right. store? Right. It doesn't oh, look there so she good. is. Looking great, buddy. Right, um, me, okay? go to your hotel room and get the rifle ammo. I don't free? remember your name. That's all right. Where should we put the crate? She's grabbing the rifle ammo. Mm, I'm wondering if we should even put a crate down, or she should just we. Everyone takes the ammo they need, and she puts what's left back. Okay. I mean, I, I think, think that might be the best bet. I'm gonna fill my fucking boxes or my pockets with it. Your boxes, eh? Well, boxes of ammo, pockets of space good idea fill uh, up your pockets i do want to point out that they gave martial uh law on the one person in this town that would probably listen to a lawful order yes yes they did again do you think they just sit in the sheriff's station and, like, the sheriff just explains how much bigger their dick is than the undersheriff? Uh... And so on and so forth? Depends on which sheriff. Greaves is the one that Harry said, I, I think. I don't know Which who is that is. Prick. Hold on. Never heard of him. Howdy. Hey, how you doing? Wonderful. And yourselves? Good, good. Harry. Uh, let me, uh, let you boys know about what was coming. What? We appreciate it. Wait, what? Ha what's coming? What is coming? Uh, oh, yeah, that one. Uh, anywhere between twelve and twenty of them. What? Twelve and twenty. Wagon. Yeah. Uh -huh. Armored wagon. Armored wagon and a normal patrol wagon. Uh, they they are not fucking around. I also oh. saw a bu a bunch of horses up there. Ay, 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 Millie, you put that w fucking ammo case on the ground. I need to stock up. Yeah, yeah. We're, Holy we're shit. Thank you, fellas. Thank Matter of fact, uh, here you go, Scout. If you guys oh, have bandages you. or anything that we can That's have. You are. Yep, here you go. I'll give you all uh, I got. Yeah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said, you, you fellas are really going to need it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not exaggerating. Yeah, I appreciate I counted, the help. Uh, I counted 12 with badges, and there was like eight, at least eight more at the telegrams. Jesus Christ. Is there a Maxim gun? Is there a Maxim in here? Armored wagon. I'll drop. Do we have, do, do can we have gun more? oil? We need gun oil, I think. I think we need um, gun oil. I've got one, because I just had to clean my gun. I got five gun oil. I got five gun oil, ten bandages. You need a medical bag? Ammo, shotgun ammo. Um, I think, I think we're good. 
Um. We're yeah, good. I think we're good. Thank I you, appreciate Millie. it. Thank, Thank you, you uh, If you telegram me, I'll uh, I'll pay you guys some money for all this. I just don't have cash. Yeah, no worries. Right. No, it's, it's, it's up here. All right, I appreciate it. Yeah, you don't know. Just, uh, just you get get in some kind of position. Like I said, I, I was not we'll exaggerating. Try. There's there's a, at a minimum of twelve. All right. If you have something in your hands, I can't see it. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Take care. Be blessed with a good shot. Um, where do you want me to be for this? Um, probably not in town, but you could stay until they come. Or fall, go with Harry, wherever Harry goes. Uh, Harry. Well then, come here. Do you have more room? Yeah, I need you to hold on some things for me. Yeah. Riders plus wagons coming this way, so if you're uh, from Ansburg, so if you're not going to be fine, it might be best to get out now before uh, uh, take or hide away somewhere. One of medical bags. You pass on the word. Harry. Harry. Uh, can you take Millie with you wherever you go? There's yeah, yeah, there's yeah, about yeah. 20 law with an armored wagon coming this way. Uh. She can go wherever. I'm saying. Yeah, I'll, like I, I'll be. I'll yeah, be all but right. where, where are you going? Under the docks, like okay. I always do. Okay. Can she go with you? Is what I'm saying. I guess. Hey, Harry. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, indeed. Oh no. What? Oh no, what? Terrible timing. TT, terrible timing. Exactly. Trouble in TT. Huh? Trouble in terrible timing. That would be three T's, not TT. That's three T's. Go back to school. TTT. I'm sorry. Grow up, Riley. Oh. I hear something. Are we sure? I feel like. Is that not them over there? I I I, I do hear that. Who do we have right now? I gotta get soup. Hold on. <laughs> she's gonna get. She's gonna yeah, pass. Yeah, us they four are. here. This Pete is them. And... Oh shit! Watch out! Daddy, is that sand or something like that, or whatever his name is? Yeah, fuck that horse. Oh, it certainly goes. It certainly goes. There's something we can help you boys with. And lady. Always polite, remembers. They go again, these fucking Vatnoan the assassins. They can't help themselves. The That's one are... deputy dead. Two. Three. Each shot hey, that goes off is a deputy Come dead. On. Scout, you don't. You, you spent all your money. I'm gonna make sure that everything's taken care of. Yeah, you do that. Who have you got here? Recognize Zip's ugly face? Fuck Scout. you, Mitch. Paid. Fuck you. Fuck That's you. That's a good question. At the moment, you've got us in an interesting position. Is that so, right? That is so. Um. Well, what I'd recommend you do is I'll give you two moments to clear on anybody that shouldn't be here. And Don't worry, they're somebody. working on him. Instead of clearing him out, we'll kill him. I mean, that's ill-advised, really and truly. Now, they started it. Yep, too late. Once it starts, it doesn't stop. And not the truth. Sounds like an uncomfortable place to live. What kind I of love it. Are we talking about scum? One where one is struggling to wake up. 
I see. I see. Well, shit. Maybe gunshot will help. Maybe he's just been killed. I doubt like, that very much. As much as I have more faith in the Van Hornians to do that job than the Depides, I don't think so. Hmm. So if you'll just give us a minute. Oh yeah, I'll give you a bit of time. Don't you worry, I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, we'll see about that, Sheriff. Hold them here, I'll be right back. What do you mean, hold them here? Uh, wait. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> that was Stay! Very, effective. very entertaining. It's working. Yeah? You're not leaving, so... Who's, yeah, who's right winning here. this? I mean, we can't about no zip so. you ain't going nowhere. That's the thing, right? Honestly, the idea is, is that I'm willing to keep you here today. So I'm willing to keep you here today too, but unfortunately, I'll be standing, and you won't be. You know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what's gonna happen today. Have you ever heard history repeats itself? Almost oh, certainly. What's most it been? Certainly. Almost two years since Shady Bell. Almost two years, and I'm still alive, Zip. <laughs> I'm right here with you. Yeah, I know. Maybe two years ago. It all right. Maybe we sell it all here and now and today. Who's this one? Is this one of you? He can't make his mind up. This is... This is... That's uh, one of our local drunks. It's a highly populated town. Um, you know, unruly and all that. Um, Seems as such. I'll do you the favor now. Is there anybody in town who shouldn't be here? Uh, civilians, folk who you don't want to get caught in the crossfire? I'll give you a few moments to clear them the fuck out. You know why I'm here. Last time I came here, I was told to come with iron in my hand. And best believe I'm coming today. You suffocated, you're surrounded. You ain't leaving this town today. I see. I don't think I'd leave either way. Yeah, maybe. Well, maybe you slip off into the hillsides. Maybe. Sheriff. Sure. Here he comes. Still got one of yours struggling around, right? There's more on the hill. They have more than six. Maybe, maybe not. He just said we're sandwiched. Who do you want? Now, what can I do for you today, son? Well, I've got a sheriff clinging for the life. A oh. real clinging wallaby. What happened? Don't give me the bullshit. Found him dumped. Outside of Van Horn, pretty much. Well, that is terrible. Know. Yeah. Don't even know if they're gonna make the night, to be honest. Don't even know. And I'm thinking, what the fuck can I do now? Wait, what? Everybody else comes here, right? Violence is spilled, blood is spilled. I know why I come here. Come here to bring y'all in. To let you know that your shit don't go unanswered. Like I've said to Zip, I come here with iron hard. in my hand today. I've got you surrounded, Wallaby Kid. This I'm street is out. your fortress, and that's all you've got. As always. <laughs> Locked in my fortress. <sighs> you've barricaded the north and the south. That's funny. You have trapped yourselves in Van Horn. You ain't gonna be getting out. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe the day this becomes my tomb. For what it's worth, I hope I don't die in these streets. I hope I don't die by your hand or none of your hands. I wouldn't give you the satisfaction. Many have said the same. Many of them are us. Many of your friends. Your colleagues. So, who have you gone with you? Well, 
I'm sure the folk here can introduce themselves if they want. I got deputies on the hillsides. We're gonna hold party with me today. Better put some pressure on you. Let you know that you don't get to go unanswered every damn time. Here to do my damn yeah. job. And who knows, maybe I'll have you all in cuffs by the end of it. Maybe. Maybe I don't, who the fuck knows. But I'm a man who's willing to try. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to let you know that you don't do the shit you all do and it goes unchecked. Well, don't all just stand there and look. You got something else to say? We've asked you once, me and my fucking brother. You always let him speak for you like your little dogs and you call your us... Your brother? I mean, it's the same as what you did the other day. Have you got anything else? Oh, because we will speak for ourselves you know this whole you want to knock on the door fucking knock all right let's fucking go you want to dance let's dance you dance with the fucking devil yeah you know what all you are sand is you're a fucking thorn in my side you're a thorn in everybody's side here you're a biggest pain in the ass i've ever fucking met and who's this brother of yours Howdy, I'm Hugh Hammer. Good to meet you once a fucking again. Hugh Hammer. I don't remember this man. No, but he's starting to show up. Just like sand every single fucking day. As Archie said, a thorn in our fucking side. That's what I do. Perhaps this time we pull the thorn out and fucking squish it beneath our boots. Because that's clearly what you came here today for. You know, Sheriff Sand, I've got to ask you a question. All these deputies you've got surrounding Van Horn right now, are they on the same page as you? Yes, they are, Archie. They are you sure about that? I'd like to think so. They're making a choice to come on here. Maybe they're following me. I don't fucking know. They're convicted in what they do. Because, you know, the last time we had a conversation, one of yours was talking about how empty our threats were. Oh, did Virch fucking crash? Has she oh, learned? No, Is she here? Oh, my God. Fuck. Is she? No, that deputy is not here, Archie. Fuck! I was too busy waving at who? That's, That's a real shame. Cause you know it's. I'm not really too worried. Look, guys, I. Listen. I think that all these deputies that are surrounding Van Horn right now, Sheriff Sand, are not really interested in what you think or feel anymore. She wasn't. She didn't give a shit what you said. I was hoping she'd be here today so she could see how unempty and how real those fucking threats are. I thought Archie just stepped in to talk and Wallaby was letting him talk. Maybe some of them will turn around and run off. Maybe some of them are too scared to fight. Maybe some of them don't really believe Maybe what you're CJ? filling them with. I don't think they'd die for this town. After everything they've been through, everything you trained them for, they're gonna die in the town they hate so fucking much. Are they ready for that, Sand? How's Chevalier you know that what? fucked I've up? I've my heart and say, yeah, they do. And maybe they're not here willing to die. Believe you me, I don't think I'm willing to die. Not here, but maybe. Most definitely they're willing to rid some folk like yourselves. You know your empty threats? I hear them and I see them. I fucking lived them, Archie. I hear my deputy say shit. I can't control their mouths. I can't control what they say. 
You've made it very clear today your threats ain't empty. And I've known that for far too long. I've got countless scars on my body from all of you. And maybe my deputies too, and maybe they're thinking today's the day they get another one. I think I know that when I march them to your gates. When I come here, I have to look at the faces knowing that maybe they're not going home today. You think I want to be here, Archie? I'll tell you now, I, I don't, don't know. want to be here. I don't know, son. I think you're gonna tell oh, well, me about she did justice get dragged and glory shit. and the innocence. And you know, you sound just like that. my fucking brother. Because he used yeah, to yeah, harp yeah. on about the same bullshit over and over and over again. And he wore that star on his chest and he was almighty fucking proud of himself. What's your last name? My last name? Yes. Monroe. You do a disservice to that name, sir. I disagree. Yeah, he brings that name to life. What? And Archie is Monroe's buried. brother? What? Under this world, gone forever. With the same semantics that come out of his fucking mouth. Does not mean that he did not try. Try and serve this state with the kindness that is required in this job. The heart that is required in it. He did right by me and everyone else here in the crossing. I say again, you do a massive disservice to that name, sir. I had no idea I see no, oh see I had you. no idea Archie was Maybe fucking the Monroe's this time think the same fucking about brother. Us. That's fucking crazy. Just because yours don't doesn't mean ours do. You live for what? Cleaning up the shit off the streets. Making people feel happy and at peace. You'll never get your happiness. You'll never get your peace. You, you know what? what? Shitting on those streets, weaving in and out of fucking chaos and creating non peaceful situations. You know what? what? Whatever pisses you off, you. Whatever really gets you going the most. If I've got to come to your doorstep and take a great big shit, you know, if you really want to, you can go and have a, ru a rummage around in the mud behind us and find your chunk of your sheriff's ear. Because every time she has an itch, or she tries to brush her hair over her tiny little ear, she's gonna feel that little chunk missing and it's gonna remind her of Van Horn every day. It's gonna remind your deputies and you, Sheriff, of the scars that you have and the day this is gonna be. You won't feel peaceful after this. You'll only feel pain. I give you the opportunity to leave. Is everything okay? You want to know something? Oh, I wasn't waving you to you. You want to know something? Okay. Oh, I have to look at the faces of my deputies. I, I don't know where Wallaby is. And I have is. to look at bleeding sheriffs. And I have to look at pieces of my department littered under your fucking grounds. And I don't come here looking for peace. Not for me. I'm willing to dance with the devil tonight, Archie. Best fucking believe it. I want to make you suffocate. Make you realize that life can be drawn from your fucking breath as well. And I take no pride in it. No pride in being here. The job ain't for me anymore. In fact, I might have even lost my fucking way. But I'm willing to get in between you every damn time. Just so I can give some kind of glimmer of hope. The people out there that you wouldn't even dream and think about knowing their name. Will get to live without your damn tyranny. And maybe I'm spewing the same shit as your brother. That man I looked up to him like no other. And all I see is a man who don't even come close. Maybe a younger brother who was cast aside, not treated the same. Maybe I don't know you for shit. I'm not here to hurl venom at you and make it personal for me. I'm here to rid the crossing. All of you, one by one, whether you're coming in cuffs, whether you're coming in cold, 
Whether you're coming in hot, so I'll give you the choice, Archie. Which one do you want? Seems make we're out of time. Quickly, or I'll make it for y'all. What do you guys say? Are we coming in? <laughs> sure as hell, ain't gonna take this sitting down, are we? God damn. You know what, sir, I'm Sheriff? I'm ready. You want to dance? Today you dance with the fucking devil. Get the cover. Cover. Eh. Just stay on the streets. Watch the hills. And there's others on the other side as well. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. Oh, just get it. Stay down. Yeah, they're on the fucking hills. They're on the hills too. They're on the hills. Go into the middle of the town. Well. Use the saloon. We gotta find, we gotta find something to use as cover. We gotta find a good spot. We're everywhere. I'm sorry. Stay together, stay close, use the streets. Alright, murder, fuck oh, off. Van Hornian behind you. Yeah, just take, get rid of him. Where's oh my Zip? god, this is I'm right here. I'm at the boxes. All right. Where's Scout? Come, get, come down to the beach. Come away from the buildings. Come down to the beach. Is that Van Hornians are attacking them. Good job, Van Hornians. Right, going down to the beach. Yep. Don't this in here. I'm here. Where's Scout? Where's Scout? They're still in the hills over to the left, too. I'm gonna stab with you. They're peeking this hill over here. They're behind that uh, rock where Gavin is buried on that hillside. I'm going with RG. There's three on this side. There's three on this hill right here. Okay. You hear that zip? Yeah. Okay. Not a fuck another one. Where are they, Zip? They're still on that rock. I'll come help you, I'll come help you. No, no, it's on there. It's on there. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna be yeah, there's three on the seal where Zip and I are looking. My hat! Kill them all!
Rhythm's moved down. Wagons. On our side, left side. They're hiding behind this wagon. There's one close here. Fuck you. Running out of ammo for my long arm. Can start that. That's important. Okay, I'll switch to my side. You okay? Me? Yeah. Jesus, they're focusing me. Uh, like, uh, we're getting shot at by a hundred fucking people. Right side. You mean left side, right side, what are you talking about? Dead. When is she being Moogie? Why did we give up our fucking medical pack? Was was this a setup? Did Vert set this up and then fuck off? I know his internet's fucked. I'm just giving him shit. What they say? What? What? They said if law people are moving over uh, with Archie. Where's Archie? Archie? He's all the way to the right. In between the two docks. Okay. Law is using CIA hacking right now. Crippled Wallaby at his weakest. We're across by the bathhouse. I just got nicked. Yes, they've been there this whole time. Well, they've been shooting me. I don't cover here. Who's running by the dog? 
I'm right here. Like, keep that focus. Right. Like, should I start dancing? No, not like that. Oh, okay. I don't think they're on this hill anymore. I don't see any movement or shooting. I think they're moving. Oh, there's one. Oh my god. <laughs> it was probably Hooper. Yeah, we need to figure out what to do because we're gonna run out of ammo. Dakota! There's still one behind that wagon. Oh! oh! Don't come near me, I spook. Where's Zip? Zip, there's still one behind that wagon. You're just getting fucking hit by Dakota. Listen, Dakota gets scared easy. Come on out, well, grow up. Come on out, little guy. You can't say, come on out, little guy, and then run away not the you, second he you. comes I'm out. I know who you're talking to. Oh, man, I'm hungry. Oh, my God. They're pushing up by the uh, rug store. They're at the rug store. Yeah, they're pushing up by the rug store. They're, they're, Dakota, they're pushing the rug store. They're pushing the rug store side. Pushing the rug store side, yeah. Yep, go. All right, we're moving to them. Let's go. Okay. Where's Riley? I don't know. I told her. She's okay. still there. She's over here with us now. Scout with you. Sorry, I had to get bandaged. It was hurting. Where are we bandage. shooting? All right. They're on we're the rug on store the side, by the way. Yeah, they're, they're in the streets. We push them back and we get them away and then we come back into time slightly. I want okay. at least three of you holding the bath store while three of us push them away. Okay. okay. Does everybody hear that? Yep. Yep. Alright. Yeah, I'm with Yarchi. It gives me the code art. Let me reload. Scout, I'm with you. Where's Pete? He's under the docks over there. Do not let these guys behind us push. Who else is gonna be staying at the bed house? I need um, people to say what they want to do. Let's uh, go quick. I, I, I can go with Archie. Us. 
I'm going okay. to the back of the bathhouse. We'll house. do Archie, Scout, and Zip up pushing, and then it's going to be me, Pete, and Raleigh, and we'll stay at the bathhouse. Yeah, do not right. let okay. them push this time. Let's go. Three, two, one, okay, go. We're go. swinging to the right. We're only pushing them back to get cover. I'm behind you. Jesus. Watch out for fire. We're pushing them back. They're not getting the message. Archie behind you. Behind me. Yeah, don't focus on that. Pull back. Archie, where are you? He's right I'm here. here. I'm, I'm at the red wagon. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. They're not moving back. That's the, that's the biggest problem. Pinched you. Yeah, we are pinched, but we can, we can push into the barn if we need to. They're, they're not backing off, motherfucker. Crossing, crossing, crossing. Uh, we're gonna move Fuck back to where we came from because they're not getting the fucking. Getting peppered here. Let's go. Behind you. We could try the same thing just on this side, maybe. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could Where's do that. Pete? Pete was over here. He was under the docks. Well, we need him. That's where he's been the whole time. Why? He needs to get with us. Pete? Pete? Come on, we're moving back. We're gonna try the same again on the other side. You wanna move? Okay. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna, because these guys are just, <laughs> they really like that spot. <laughs> they do. All right, on me. On you? All right, on Hey, uh, not the boat, not the boat. Moving this way now. What are we doing? Go. Just stick with him. There's one behind the wagon. Spread out up here. Try not to push too far forwards. Push them off that rock. Down that rock up ahead. Spread out. I'm moving up to the wagon. Watch out. There's some moving across the hill to the left. That's five at least. Watch out behind you, zip. There's a guy aiming at you on the hillside. Yeah, just keep an eye on the rock. Oh, you're up behind you. Mm -hmm. They're too far away. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's Pete. Yeah, Pete's fine. They're like ants up there. And they might have pushed back. They're, They're at least not at the rug store anymore. I see some more coming this way. What'd you say, Raleigh? I said I saw more coming this way on the hillside. They're all Which running this side? way. Uh, from where we were at, that side is running across this what way. What side? This side? This side? The bass. The bass. I'm pointing at it. The bass. The bass. The bass. No direction. No, they're moving across the hillside. Okay. Did you get that? Thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. Stable, low ground. And move back. Let's go back. Let's go back in the middle. Okay, Where's Zip? Right here, right here on you. Okay, back, All right, move we're back. moving back. What's he doing? He's just sitting there. He's coming. Don't worry. No, no. One of them's just sitting there. Who's that? Is that Scout? It's 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 coming. Well, I'm right here. It's Scout that's trapped there. Where is he? Top. Where is he? He's just sitting to the left. He's coming now, okay? Just keep them on the top. Make sure they don't shoot him. I'm good. We've Ow. just got to keep moving left and right. I think that's the point here. Oh, so we're out of fucking anything. ammo and we have to fucking move. 
They're up on the hill, still looking down at us, by the way. They're and everywhere, it's... still looking down at us, Riley. Well, I'm just letting you know where I'm spotting them. Yeah. Come on. All right, we're moving again. Come on. Just, um, just go back to the sheriff's office and hold that again. Okay. Don't okay. Sit here. Okay. okay. All right, I'll take care of it, Riley. Y'all focus on the hillside, and then I'll keep an eye on the middle of the right time, okay? Oh my god, this spot is sick, but it's also fucking scary. No, we're just kind of fuck. Yeah, they, they don't like me, Dakota. They're like, fuck me. This ain't, this ain't a, this ain't a we get out of this situation. It has to be Hooper. Oh, this is stressful. I need coffee. Pause. We're pausing. Time out. Pause. Uh. Careful, Zip. Who fucking knows, Dakota? I have no idea. Peak, but I'm running out of ammo slowly here. The gun is scalding hot. So is its fucking copy. A hundred rounds of each. I can't really be throwing ammo their way. I'm gonna clean that up real quick. Maybe they might be doing a push. So just keep just scream if you hear something. I don't want to lose Crumb Daddy. Dakota. Yep. Do you have West Stick? No, I don't. I you have what? I have Crumb Daddy. No, no. Okay. Who's up in the bathhouse? Right. Is, Is that PT? That We're eating this before the guards and Sisica fucking destroy it. Not yet. Water break. 
I mean, may have. I'm not seeing any bite of peeking and uh, shooting at me, and I'm stepping right out here, and they usually pop me pretty quick. Zip. Yeah. Uh, um, I think you might need to come over this way. We need one of you to watch the rug store side and let us know if they come creeping into town and then the rest of us are gonna go towards the bathhouse, okay? Yep. Okay. Zip, do you wanna watch the rug store side? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll attempt to hold it down. Okay. If this is the last time I see you, tell <laughs> Millie she was amazing. Oh, I'm, I thought you were gonna say last words to me. Okay, if anything, if you see them creeping, don't try to hold them off. Well, Just come I'm not done. Us, okay? Tell my wife okay, I'm, I'm going to be with us. Oh, that's not scary. Zip. Yeah. Come back this way. Come back this way. Okay, that's fair. Don't tell them all things. All right. Uh, well, uh, well, fuck. I grabbed him. Okay. I grabbed him. Zip, we're, uh, we're holding the positions that we were again, okay? Okay. I have the ammo for so this. Back up on that hill. They're back up on the grave. There's two at least. Yeah, I don't know. They probably have wagons and stuff full. What? Yeah, I, honestly, I'm satisfied. If we go down right now, I'd, I'd be satisfied with this fight. I just don't want to lose crumb day. I need some really bad if you have ammo. We gotta do something. How much ammo do you have? Uh, I still have quite a bit. How much is quite a bit? I'm not too sure. I haven't counted. I can lay it all out on the ground and count it right now if you'd like me to. We just gotta be careful. That's all. I'm gonna see if the crate's still in the middle of the road. They're back on the, uh, back on the Dakota. Dakota, we have a crate. There might actually be ammo still in it. Okay, it's too dangerous to go get the crate from the middle of the street because they're all up on the hillside now. And the graves. Uh, I need you to lay down cover fire. They're running Zip. towards the... Uh, it, we're going to run out of ammo and then they're just going to shoot us down. No, right now is not the time to make that fucking move, okay? They're all it's night. Together. They'll shoot you. They'll just focus fire. Zip. Get out of here, fella. It sounded just like fucking sun. I don't know what to tell you. Um, there's a crate that might have ammo in it. Riley's running out. I'm running low. Just, uh, yeah. If Where's the crate? Do we know? It's up by the hotels and, uh... It's not in the middle. I could get it. It's in the middle of the street. Kinda. You're gonna get shot down, Zip. It's not gonna happen. Careful, 
I'm behind. Oh my god. Him. Told you to be careful. Alright, come over here. Show me the box. Please don't get shot. It's right there. Oh my god, that's the worst fucking spot ever. Listen. Listen, yes. the north side's clear. Meaning this spot's probably horrible to go grab. But if we have cover fire right now- Oh, someone just fell off the rock! Good. If we lay cover fire on that rock, I could grab the box and at least run it this way. I just it's need risky. focus fire on that rock. Pete, is Pete not that side? Now might be the time. Okay, let's all lay down fire. He's going for it. Get it! Get the box, run! I'm right here, I can't fucking run! All right, there's only a box and a half and a bandage. Okay, where did Jesus you put Christ. the box? I just grabbed the shit from the box. Okay, go to Archie and see if he needs any. All right, there's only a box of ammo in there and some loose rounds. Okay. Do you need ammo? I'm good. I'm okay. Okay. I'm gonna go check everyone really, else. Really How much? Save your ammo. 60. Dark side still clear. Thank you. Uh, can you kill the rest of them and then say it was worth it? Yeah, yeah, you know, I'll work on that. Saying it was worth it. Two or three on the hill. Why we're still right fighting here. is a little weird. Yeah, I don't know. If this was a setup thing, then uh, I would lose on purpose. Archie. The you good okay? thing is we have everyone still standing, so it's like not a fight. It, it's a f hopefully all the law yeah, are yeah, having it. Whoever fell, I hope maybe it was just a glitch. Like sometimes you see people fall off cliffs, but they they didn't actually fall off the cliff. Yeah, no, I know that now, but I was saying, like, uh, if it was set up, then I would, I would definitely take the L. Yeah, 
Right. I'm I'm totally satisfied with yeah, I'm going here. to Siska after everything we did. Once people start going down, I'll 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 uh I'll play it more risky. What do you mean resupply? The last box of ammo everyone has, we're using that to make our way to Ansberg to get a resupply. Oh shit. What? I love that idea. Yeah. Let me go uh, tell Dakota and them. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Last box yep. of ammo you have, we are conserving that to go get a resupply. Any okay. shooting that I'm, may I'm happen really along the way. Okay. Let me go see about Pete. I We're got pretty two much boxes. The two of them are at that already. We're gonna have to find our way out. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this now. Is this gonna be an on foot thing? He's just gone back to the north, so. Unless we can push them back out this side again. We're gonna we have need to, to get them off the north side. Absolutely fucking not. They push back to the north side. As soon as they clear that side, we should go get a resupply. Yeah, yeah. if they're all moving out of the south, we need to see what they do as well. I don't want to get caught in a trap. What are we uh, thinking right now? We have to get them off the north side in order to get them moving. To, uh, so we can escape town and go to Ansberg. Okay. But right now, they're they're on the north side, so we have to somehow get either wait for them to go back to the other side or push them off. Yeah, I mean, I try. I, we try. We tried that. They didn't fucking move. Yeah, just conserve your ammo until they move off the north side. Then we'll yeah, go. Those, those guys without any boxes of ammo just need to stop firing. Mm-hmm. We'll do what we did the other day. We'll wait and see if they move or they get itchy. Oh my god. Shit. Is that a Gatlin? No, they're fucking lined the fuck up on that hill. Pete? Oh my god, look where Pete is. Where's Pete? Next He's to right the saloon. right now. Dude, that was they fucking sent a sick. Fucking volley over there. That was sick. Bro, I thought that was a hundred percent a Gatling gun. Yeah. They're moving around a lot. A fucking firing line. Imagine if that's when we left. That's their plan. They keep leaving it open. Hold. Imagine if they were like, okay, let's do this, right when we were like, okay, let's go. And they just fucking mowed us. I would be 100% satisfied with going down to that, by the way. It is, like, way no, too Scott, quiet. We need to get horses and go. I think they're get in... Horses, I, we need uh, to go. They all took off towards Ansberg. Yeah, we need to go to Saint Denis right fucking now. Let's go. To, we're going to Saint Denis. Let's Denis. go! Yes! We gotta go around that. We may have to plow through them on the hill to the right to get around that. One, two, three, who we missing? Yeah, we're good. I don't think this is a fight another day. I think we're resupplying and going back into back into fight. 
I don't think that we're we're fleeing this one. I don't have any fucking money. That's fine. I have three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, I only have sixty dollars. Twenty bucks on me. We're restocking going back to Van Horn, right? That's right. I feel like they definitely left to go resupply. I don't think this is a surrender or uh, they're leaving. I think this is just both of us. They're in Ansberg resupply and we're going to. Uh, and need to resupply. It would be cool if they found us in the city and we moved the fight to the city. Alright, now do we put... Crumb Daddy in the bank. Or do we keep it? Because I don't want to lose Crumb Daddy, man. We could use the pump too. I don't mind losing the pump. Where are you laughing at? It just, just you know, everything. Has anyone got some money they can lend me? Just, uh, I did not know. I, I was not holding shift, by the way. I don't know. It feels like a pain in the corner. Thank you so much. You should probably get some gun oil while you're here. Don't tell me what to do. I'll kill you. Okay, okay. Well, kill me after we've finished fighting. Uh, can I have money? Yes, Can I have my allowance? No, hold on. Do we have enough for all of us? Like, I don't How much money do. do you need, Zip? 40. Pete, how much do you need? I'm gonna use Cameron's pump. Uh, should, uh, like 50 at okay. least? No one tell Millie, but Crumb Daddy is more important to me than the pump Watch, action. Look. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna run really quickly to get a couple of bandages. Yeah, I'll go with you. Oh my God, it's filthy. I might need a little bit more. All right, well, I'm cleaning my gun, so you have to wait. Priorities. Sure. There's uh, three doctors in the medical office, by the way. In case you decide to go there, don't be scared. Let's go, guys. Come on. I need gun oil. I need gun oil. I need $30 I some, for I gun oil. Some, okay, relax, okay. Relax. Okay, okay. Come here. Zip, come here. 
Well, you could give it to Jesus me. I don't. Christ. I don't need it like right this second. Just but. pick it up off of the fucking floor. It takes five seconds. It's not over yet. I, they, I, I don't know if they still plan on sieging. Right, let's go. There's a chance we're going to ride right into them as we go back. Yeah, there's a good chance this fight is not over. If they fall back, that would be sick to know that we we fuck held is it down. So fast. Look, you might not agree with this, but Hugh was there, and his brother did rock paper scissors to leave a shootout. I could challenge Hugh to end this all. No, because then what? You go to jail? I'm just saying, it's an idea. Hi, Moxley. Hi, Moxley. That's not awkward. Are we all 100% no on the idea of rock, paper, scissors? Yes. Zip, I don't think they've let you do that around here. I think that's a you thing. And also, is what is the alternative to winning? They leave. And if you lose? Um, I turn myself in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Fuck okay. you. But to be fair, Fuck I think I'm the panic. least wanted out of everyone here. And I don't think I have a murder charge. You're ready for a potential ambush. Not fucking ready. Which way are we gonna go in? We go in the way Same we way. came out. With okay. our weapons out. We probably need this section. Horses are still on the hill to the lake. Watch yeah. the surroundings. They could be in the saloon. They might have taken a foothold. Yep. Slow it down. Watch that fucking uh, sheriff's up. <laughs> There's people looking at us from inside of town. That's Swade in them. Oh. These are some horses. Hello? Uh, we cleared Lowe's and Anisburg, uh, looking their wounds. They might be coming back, so everyone should still clear it. town. Oh, okay. I guess I'm here now. Nope. Do you see these horses? Are they in town licking their wounds, or are they in town resupplying? That's a good fucking question. I could fucking uh, drive this thing into the fucking river. Hold my sight, sinner. Oh! Uh! 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 What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Why is it? What the fuck? I can take you through an entire gunfight. What the fuck was that? Oh my god! I was just trying to move the fucking thing. What the 
What did you do? The law what planted something. There is little baby dynamites. Oh my, oh my god. Well, the horses aren't there We're anymore, so the good job. I did. <laughs> I need a drink. Uh, that was uh, a. What the fuck? What? <laughs> did you see? Yeah, that? I did. Yeah, I need a. I need two drinks. I need a drink too. Couple of your mind moving those. Where's Millie? Get two I'm drinks. shooting. Kill the horses. Oh my god! I need a, I need a yeah. minute. Give me Take two drinks. fucking drinks, you son of a bitch! Now! Okay. He needs them. He needs them. Okay. Hey, do you guys need ammo or bandages? I, I bought a bunch of hands first. I figured you don't need it. No, we, we went yeah, to Santa yeah, Anita well, to resupply. There's one. No, just give Riley the other one. There's two. No, I can't carry that. And I don't eat fish. I'll fucking shoot you in the goddamn face. I'm, I'm so... Take that fish away from me. Okay, there you go. There's some fish, Riley. Thank, thank you. Thank you, I'm gonna eat it. <sighs> we need a Dell. I'm here for you, buddy. You ain't crazy, okay? I saw it too. <laughs> uh -huh. I just aged 32 years. Yeah, I think I did too. Well, they try naval assault now. Technically, that wasn't our first one. We did do a gunfight with Mills, and then we got fanned down. But it was really fun. I, I'm glad that they escalate like that. I don't know if that was more than 10, but that was fucking fun. Millie. Hi. Thank God you're alive. Thank God y'all are alive. Oh, oh, okay. I need to tell Thank you me. something. What's that? I'm more willing to you lose this pump action than... Crumb Daddy. Oh, wait. I mean, I can always make you another one. Well, either way, give me a minute. I need to set fire to the rain. Okay. Hi, Kai. I'll be right back. I need to take a piss.
Zip. Lay with us, Millie. Oh, okay, Millie. You're going to drown if you do that. Nailed it, Millie. <laughs> I don't think they're coming back. I feel like they would have been... If we were able to make it to Sandini and resupply and come back, they would have been back. They might have just gave us that for the clean fight. I don't... I don't think... I don't think any of them went down. I didn't see anyone go down, and I didn't hear anyone say that any of them went down. So, honestly, I, I will always vouch for a shootout with Law and Krim... To have both parties walk away and be like, we need a withdrawal type thing. I I always take that as a bigger RP win than anyone going down. All right, let's hit a bank. Hell yeah. No, I'm too tired. Please, <laughs> I can't do that right now. Yeah, you know what? You're probably, you're probably right. I need to find better ways to cope. Well, I... That wagon was a pretty good way to cope. That wagon stressed me out more than the shootout. It stressed me out. You don't want to know what I was seeing. You was jumping on and off the wagon. You was spinning in circles. You were on fire. You were on fire that was for a so second fucking there, sick. And you weren't. I don't, you Does ran down the street. I don't know. Have a saying. clip from their point of view when they did that. Actually, no. Just in case they say this is it or there's meta. But that's definitely... And the horse, the horse If is you guys know who was street. streaming that fucking firing line, I want to watch from their POV later. You know what? It's fucking time. It's fu Where the fuck is Pete? <sighs> there he is right in front of you. Pete! Pete, I will never ask anything of you ever again. Why I, I need your stash. Yeah. Why? You're very you wanted, son. I need a. I need a. I need to smoke. Oh. Well, need to smoke? I don't. I, I just want to. I don't have any. Grow. I need a seed. I need to plant my seed. <laughs> it's not, not going to grow for mom. I need your fucking seed right now. I need to at least know that it's being planted. What's your name? I right, get on your knees. Uh, I give you my seat. Good to meet you. Arthur. No, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. God damn. What? Uh, hey, my God, do that. Listen. I don't have any fucking weed. The only person I know you have seeds. Some of my weed. You said you had seeds. I have seeds. But they're mine, not yours. And this point person giving them to you right now because you don't need them. But seed. Seeds grow plants, which makes more seeds. I'll give you all the seeds that come from the plant. That's the end of it, RG. Maybe for today. No, what but... happens if you fuck it up? What happens oh, yeah, if you don't no, take good care of it like I do? I used to be an herbalist. Bullshit. That's uh, Jack Kettleman found me when I was a herbalist. God damn. I was Herbie. making opium for the Kettleman gang. I will give you a single seed. A single seed, that's all I need. But we've got to get a map. We gotta put a map on the table. It's gonna be the biggest We're seed you'll ever see. Four. Four Four Here you go. Millie, it's time to learn how to grow weed. Oh, that, that should be easy. Yes. Right now seen how we can hold I think you need to fix your hair. Thank you. What they can do pushing Hurry, I go. need to grab the seed from Pete. I can't hold that. Here, take that. It's all right, but there you go. Take it. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. We need to know where we're going because don't grieve it too I, hard. That took me some Fuck time you. to figure out where the best place was to fucking sit. What if we sit at the back of the saloon, along that hill area, 
if they want to peek down there, they have to peek and they go sliding down. It's like a trap. <laughs> right into I mean, the mouse it, trap. The problem is if they don't fall for the trap, then they fucking dome you in your head. Indeed. Horrible idea. Which is why I suggested it so we could just get that clear. Right, of course. Oh, God. Laying on the beach with you morning was not very good for my gun. I don't know if you guys know, but you, uh... You got somebody fucked up from the law. Cause when I went to Annisburg, there was uh, one of them in the doctor's office bleeding out. Yeah, yeah what he looked like. Dead? I'm uh, pretty sure. Didn't one fall off? It yeah, was a I lady. think one fell off the rock. Oh, okay. I know there was a guy standing up on a box on the hill, and I put a bunch of rounds as he went, but I'm not sure if he went down. That was fucking stressful. Just standing out in the open. Uh, I need to. A... What's what started? There's a lot. Just show up. Yeah, yeah show up. Oh, you weren't here for the sheriff. Let me set the scene for you. Yeah, go on, Scott. Tell the story. There was. It was a foggy oh. Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> the townsfolk were going about their day. Dakota in the bath. Zip Don't losing talk at about me chess. Don't like that, you little creep. Dakota making unhinged comments towards everyone. That was As we walk the streets, all of a sudden, boom! Out of nowhere, Sheriff you, Sand fish. rides an armored wagon into town, blocking off the south exit. What the fuck? Everyone says. What the hell is he doing? Boom! Right behind us, more wagons blocking the north end of the street. We're boxed in. We make our way to the north. Sheriff Sand, what the fuck are you doing here? He responds, You ain't leaving this town. We respond with, Then you chose the town you're gonna die in. And then Archie... Huh? No, and please then carry Archie, on. Don't make me do it. And then Archie says, Fuck you! And fuck everything you stand for, Sand. And he pulls out his gun, and he fans the fuck out of one of them. He didn't actually <laughs> okay. do that, but no, he I probably didn't. felt I did. like he don't did. Don't say I did that, please, no, for God's sake. In his mind, he <laughs> fans somebody to death, but in reality, he shot the side of the wagon because he fucking missed. He's a horrible shot, that one. Then they took positions around the town and tried to kill us all. The end. Uh, well, we survived the end. We we survived, yeah. We stood on fucking business and they retreated like pussies. However, I don't think we should celebrate just yet. No. I think they went. Because they ran out of ammo and they wanted to show us what's fucking what. And next they time, yeah. they're gonna just bring a fucking Gatling gun. Or fucking cannon. Maybe they're gonna... I saw Big Al on a boat once with a fucking machine gun on it. What if they storm our beaches with that shit? This sand and this hammer and all these fucking lawmen will not stop at anything to get us. Piranha. We have to set up some traps. The exit. Beach. <coughs> we dig holes and we shit on spears. We put oh, said hey. shit spears in holes. In yep. the ground? Yeah, yeah. And cover those holes with leaves. Uh, leaves. And Wait, uh, we're burying poop spears? Yes. Yeah, because they step on the spear that's covered in shit. They're very likely to catch an infection. That's right. Oh. Okay, tactical. And we 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 build a mort, a mort, a mort, a, m a, 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 a moat. moat, a moat. We build a, a moat, and we sell alligators from Sand and Knee. <gasps> we rob Blueberry from Sissica. Big L doesn't need him anymore. And we have we train Blueberry to scour our shit. Speared 
trench moat. Yeah, man, we'll do that. Wade, your shit spear moat d director. Hell yeah, man. Oh, oh, You've hell been promoted. Yeah. You have been promoted. Get the team and go been... start shitting on spears, Wade. He's He's been promoted. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, darn. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this shit. Literally. All right. Yeah. I got to do it now? Y he gone, command? We don't got Why time, Wade. Behind me? Wait, why? Where is he going? He's Let's building the shit, shit mode. Look at him go. Super wanted though. Um, and we can build spears here. I don't know why he's leaving to go shit too. There, he. You know what? Wade's fire. Fen. You're Does hired. a Wade shit in the woods? Yes. Can I have his stuff too? Yes. Okay. I'm glad everybody's okay. Not everybody. Today? You hung over? Did anyone grab who? Ben. He's wasted oh, last night. Are you kidding? No, we drink again. No, yes. Yeah, the Agreed. Oh, get one now. Uh, like... Can I have Chef's ear or did she grab it before she left? I, it's somewhere I, in the mud. It's, I mean, I got, a, I got a chunk of it. I. It's not a whole ear. Just, you know. Did you eat it or spit it? I don't remember. I spat it out. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be in the mud somewhere. You spitter. Like right here, somewhere was, right there. It was a statement, you know, spitting. I, I didn't want to eat it. And I wasn't really hungry at the time. Oh, if you were hungry, you would have eaten it? <clears throat> no. No. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Why'd you clear your throat before that? I've, I'm stressed. I, I, so last night I was very stressed, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Why? everyone. It, what do you mean, fucking? What, it, people left me in charge of Van Horn, Scout. It seems to me like you did pretty well. Okay, doesn't mean it was not stressful. Are and then everyone. Again? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck Sorry, you. continues it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Anyways. And then I wake up and everyone's around and I'm like, okay, I can pass the stress to somebody else. And then, you know, we blew the whistle. She had a shame or walk of shame to Van Horn. Archie bit that guy's ear off. Or lady. Who? Wait, you bit Chev's ear off? Yes. I, I bit her ear, yeah. But he spit. Not He's a, off, not it, all of I it. Just a bit, a bit. You're I a little fucking a chunk. freak. That's, Holy shit. That's kind of like just cannibalism, but if you, you know, quit. Halfway through. I mean, it would have. It it's like been half cannibalism. Yeah. You should have spit it into your. You should have spit it in your hand and then kept it for later. I think that'd fuck her up more than spitting on the ground. Yeah, but I was, you know, I was in the, I was in the thrill of it at the time, and it was, you know, it's no part of Van Horn. Uh, you know, you never know. A little bit of flour might sprout out of that ear. No, because that would just grow another chev. <laughs> Maybe true. Yeah, it might be right. I don't know where I was going with this, but that stressed me out, too, I think. And then the little dynamite in the wagon. I'm going to go to Asbury check telegrams, and I'll see if Law's still up there. Hey, all right. right. <sighs> also, Blueberry's head. may I just... You're fucking Monroe's brother? Yeah. I yeah, had yeah. no idea. That's because you never asked. He was kind of an asshole. I'm sorry if you loved him. No, he was an asshole too. Okay, good. I spent a lot of my life running from that asshole. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Tip, this is Archie. Archie Monroe and, you know... Surprise. Mm -hmm. Surprise. Um, does Surprise. he know who killed him? 
Yeah, that's why you think I'm here. <laughs> okay, yeah, because uh, it was a race. It was a race? Were you involved in the race? Yes. Uh, I think it was a race without anybody knowing it was a race. I was going to climax with him. Wait, what? Yeah, Damn, I, had, I had 38 names, law deputy names, on a list, and I got like 31 of them, and he was the last one. You, you did what with him? Well, uh. some of them I tortured. Some of them I made a hot box in the West. Some of them I shot down. <laughs> I think I kind of fed one to a cougar. But that was on accident. I just shot their horse and then a cougar attacked them. I mean, you didn't have to tell us it was an accident, you know? We could have just fill, you know, finished on the, the cougar. You let a cougar eat them. I wish I would have finished on Monroe. What the fuck is wrong with you, Zip? Okay, okay. What? I don't even know how to respond to that. I... Neither do I. You got to fucking climax with him and then finish on him? You're fucked up. I, fucked I in the head, you know that? I don't know what any of that means, and it concerns me. He was, I was saving the best for last. What? I... Um... Dakota, fix this. Dakota's not here. That's not Dakota, Dakota that's Finn. Dakota's not here. I wasn't talking to her, I was just <laughs> saying Millie, in general. Maybe. maybe you should pay attention, huh? Fuck you, she's Riley. Coming out, she's, she's coming in out medical now. Room. She's, she's going down the stairs. She'll be coming down the stairs when she comes. Yes, you're just saying the obvious. She'll be coming down the stairs when she comes. <sighs> that was stressful. I'm gonna say it again. It really was, yes. We all did a good job, though. Very good indeed. Yeah, absolutely. I think every every single one of you was on fucking fire. We did it, team. <sighs> like I said, let's not celebrate. What do you mean, Mackenzie's in trouble? In case we jinx it. If the law come back, can I just pump action Mackenzie's face in front of them, please? Why do we care about Mackenzie? Drinks. I don't know, but I mean, can we, that be my yeah. reward for the chef handling the chef situation? I'll take the silence as a firm yes. What was the question? Can I shoot Art or Mackenzie in the face if the law show back up? Mm, that's, that's Dakota's project, not mine. Uh, I think Dakota said yes. If I say it really fast, she'll panic and just say yes and run away. Alright, I need a moment. So are you saying yes to Dakota saying yes? You know what? We'll just chalk it up to way no. on the heavy yes no, side. Dakota. Yeah? Um, at the law comeback, Scout suggested I just shoot Mackenzie in the face. I need your okay. Um. Please. I, I feel oh like it God, should be a reward. I don't reward. think I want you to. Are you in love with him? No, not at all. I just, I think that we're friends. You're married. I know I'm married. If I was in love with him, I'd be... What if they came back? Protected him. Yes. And now let me shoot him. Yes, and not going with... Never mind. Never mind. I'm, tre I'm treading on dangerous territory. You had him in a cage. You have Stockholm Syndrome. You I have, have it. Stockholm Syndrome. You do. You fell in love with the captor. No. Scout. Because we're... He's moving, y'all. Scout. What? Stop sitting delicately and come with me. I, I'm just going to say it. Uh, Dakota has Stockholm Syndrome and she fell in love with Mackenzie. What? Okay. She has a husband. Uh, she's going to have two. Clearly. And also, if I may, I don't think relationship stopped her from the barn. Uh. I wouldn't i'm not there was a one time 
I can't explain myself right now and I'm being put in a very stressful situation Go on. and nobody fucking knows. Go on. It's pretty good soup. What are you looking at me for? It's so good. You were part of it, I think. Uh, the barn incident? No, I was not. <laughs> Any news from Ansberg? Oh, yeah. They, they already cleared out. They're not there anymore. Oh, thank Maybe God. We did win then. God damn! Can we breathe? Yeah, I'd say you're all right to breathe I think now. So. Is Fen and Millie on security duty? Yeah, he went to go take a bath. Oh, uh, is that why you wanted to follow him? <laughs> no, that's why I'm right here. You were walking away and you stopped yourself as soon as I started talking to you about you being in love with him. Yeah. If I wanted to stop you, Dakota, you'd be watching him in the bath, wouldn't you be? Mm-mm. Yeah, you... Uh, <laughs> I say go I for really it. You make me sick. I'm gonna go sit in front of the fire. I genuinely. I say go for it. I, I don't know if she should go for it. I don't want to fucking watch him in the fucking bath. If I wanted to, I would. Okay. If I wanted to. But I stopped there, you. I would fucking watch you. Him. She was. She <laughs> was walking <laughs> over there. And maybe even once or twice in a few months, I'm gonna fucking crawl in the bath with him. Is that what you want to hear? Fuck you all. <laughs> Called God, it. Okay. Was it something? Wait, I we said? have to keep him for months. Wait, who's in the bath? Mackenzie. Mackenzie. He has guards as well. <laughs> yeah, he had like two ladies watching him. One was in, was in there with him. They were outside the door. Wow. And one was inside. Hey, uh, <laughs> my Lord. Up, McKenzie, you might want to keep an eye on uh, this Arthur fellow that's been coming into town. He's been asking Mackenzie about his uh, situation here and being here against his Who? will and shit like that. Arthur? Who the fuck Who is the Arthur? Who the fuck is Arthur? Uh, apparently, yeah, apparently he sells guns to Pete. I don't know. Pete? Pete? Who's Arthur? That guy, he just came and gave us some information about, uh, what's it called? Ansberg. Yeah, he sells me I guns. I didn't see a guy. Did he sell you that gun on your back? Uh, can't that's remember. actually kind of nice. It's actually like the first bolt action I've seen that I like go, wow, that's kind of fucking nice. Yeah, it's it's a deputy gun. It's uh, I believe Hugh Hammers. Oh, what? What? You should have showed that shit to him. Then like, I didn't have it on me. <laughs> you at the fucker. Time. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who who's it belongs to. It's Beast Bane. Beast Bane. Uh, that's what it's that's called. That's my thoughts. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it might might not be that. Actually, it might not be his. I'm not sure whose it is. Mine now. Spidey ways. I overheard him uh, conversating with Mackenzie in the saloon. Interesting. Keep an eye on that one, Pete. I mean, okay. He just sells guns. But why is he interested in... Conversating. He was talking to him. A lot Pete. of people talk to him. Yeah. If I find somebody in a cage, I don't say, how's the cage doing? Do you want to be in there against your will or with your will? Oh, I mean, if he yeah, asks you know that, what I mean. If he asks those questions, then that's another story. Well, it's suspicious. Why are you in the situation you're in, huh? Are you a captive here or something, huh? Huh? Are you really not sure? Yeah, what are you a prisoner? Uh, Dakota. Hmm, Dakota comes outside when Mackenzie comes outside. Intriguing. I'm sorry, thought I would ask. Next time he asks something stupid like that, Millie, cut off his finger. Oh, um, that. He needs those to serve drinks. Come on, back inside. Yeah. When the fuck are we cutting off his finger? This is fucking bullshit. Why would we do that? Because fuck him. His toe's hanging off. Yeah, why was his toes is sideways? We should just cut that off. Yeah, we're gonna have to amputate. If it starts rotting and gets septic, then it, sure. No, no, no. I, I think you need to It's before. septic. It's septic. It's septic. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. He's walking around barefoot in the mud, That's Dakota. Not, let him. There's an ear somewhere. 
He probably has Chef's ear in his toe. I want to cut it off. Fucking team speak. What? I got so angry I ignored the world. Your hobbies. Right. Your... Uh, no. I don't think so. There was a one point. So, apparently, Rebecca Lang of the Bastards is that. Is she of the Bastards? Is that right? Was Ron away, but I'm pretty sure she's that... dead. I'm she pretty really sure she died like six months ago. Listen, I, I don't know. She's not been responding to my telegrams. That would make sense. Yeah, she's dead. Uh, she died. So you just found out, like, now. Like, and yesterday, yeah. Tomorrow, yesterday. But, like, we used to okay. make map. Well, she used to make the maps, and I'd just go around with her. She, she wasn't a criminal. I mean, her dad was. Uh, right. She rode with the bastards. She was a criminal. Are you sure? Yes, because I rode with her with the bastards for a little bit. Like, super, I think it's like fancy sounding voice. Rebecca Lang, yes, I know who yeah, Rebecca wait, Lang on. is. Do you want us to break it? No, she would have had one of these, just like this. A brown I don't know, I don't He's stare at her arm. It. See, Brandon's a thing. We should have branded Chev. We had matching okay. ones. So y'all were like... No, we didn't. No, 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 no. Yeah. You put a leash on her? You walk her around the bedroom on all fours? Stop, you're making Dakota jealous. Making her bark? No, 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 no we would just we'd talk about things and understood kind of. I told her dad once to buy her a Christmas present and I thought he was going to rip out my dick through my throat. But I think he did get her a present. That was the bravest thing I've ever done. And I know that doesn't mean a lot to you because you just had a gunfight in town for like an hour. It's the longest hour of everyone. my entire life. Yeah, that was pretty brave of us. <laughs> what? What? I mean, I, I, I hear a gun and I hide behind a bar. Coward. That, uh, yeah, but you have a choice. The, the, the fella, um, Zip, you know the one, Arthur... He gave me that 50 bucks back. He wanted me to make sure you knew he was giving me it back. Who? I don't know. Who's Arthur? Arthur stole $50 from him, apparently. Maybe give him oh, 50 bucks to oh. gamble. But he oh. gave me it back. He wanted to make sure that you knew. Oh. I honestly completely forgot about it. But yeah, okay. Thank you. I think. Can I? Am I allowed to thank? I don't want to thank you. You can thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now kiss. Um. Wait, can I? Yeah. Oh my god. If Come he here. Fuck her him. up. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. No, there's a plan. Because anyone whoa, whoa. I kiss, my wife will slit their throat and wear their face. Okay, you can't uh, kiss him anymore. Wait, you want your wife to wear my face and kiss you? That's weird. Oh, are you like one of those things that Scout was a long while back? Sure. I don't know. Fuck it. Oh, okay. What is that, huh? Nothing. What's that? Nothing. I'll try one of everything. Oh, go I on. Go, behind the bar go on, say it. <laughs> no, I, I, what is it that I used to do, Dakota? Go sit on, tell in the me. Corner and watch me have sexual relations with assorted men. What? what? Yes. Oh, you're a cuckold. Dad, yes, that's see, that's that is word. that is what she tried to spread. Wasn't it just fucking awful? Go on, tell him the plan with it. Go on. Actually, I don't think that I was spreading it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure that Wallaby was the spreader of that news, which is that's very funny. Why is that funny, Dakota? It's just very funny that he would make up a joke like can that. I, can I ask you a question? When you were doing it, like, did you have to have, like, silent snacks so you didn't put people off? He would sit neatly with his hands folded in his lap and his legs crossed. Okay. Hold on a second. Kill her! Don't. I'm eating. I'm eating. I'll choke. I'll choke. Yeah, I'll choke. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. Ow, Watch your fucking man? place. I will fucking put you in the ground the second you fucking walk out of place. Give me his toe! Mackenzie. Where the fuck is Dakota? Can I cut his toe off, Scout, since you're in the mood? He didn't say no. Yeah. no. No, 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 
he, he did. I, I think yeah. he said it on the way out. Ask him. No, that's not really Have you ever heard that's of... Um, what's it called when uh, shit gets in your toe, your wound, and it starts turning green? Gangrene? You, yeah, have you ever seen gangrene? No. I, I, I'm okay. Green's my color. Please, please We're don't cut. We're going to have to amputate the toe, I think. Why are Scout? We the bar? Why Coder, are, he's going to cut me. Why isn't everyone else? That's, what, that's the real question. Because then it gets busy. Um, mm. Zip, you cannot cut his toe off because. Wait, I think not. Scout's helping. I, I think we could all squeeze I'm just in holding here. Him still, just in case whatever decision's made, he'll be pinned down here. All right, can Please I get don't. a vote? No. Just a little toe action, Dakota. It's, it's look at it. Toe action. Can, look at come it. Come here, sidebar. Sidebar. Uh, sidebar. You love sidebar. With me? Okay. Can everyone? Yes. Is it a no, side? Just, you, Zip. just. I want Archie. Archie would be on board with this okay. cutting the toe off because he I'm, likes I'm ears. Just, You're fucking it's like I'm a just, it's like a foot ear. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm just watching whatever's still. going on. Yeah, he, he just needs some help. All right, get this. Fucking watch you, you If you cut his toe off, nobody in this town knows how to stop the bleeding from that, so he will bleed and die, and then we're not gonna get our not true. dollars. Not true at all. Not true at all. It's easy. You see that fire over there? That's. I need verbal confirmation if you see the fire. Yes. Sir. You cunterize the wound. I what? You cunterize it. You are pretty tragic. You put hot to wound. Oh. I've seen every time I've had to cut off a toe, you just grab like a metal thing. And you cunterize it. Not sure. When I was talking to a doctor during a what surgery once, she told me that that's not <laughs> true. Well, like you can, but it, it will breed infection. No, no, no. Listen, I, I feel like out of everyone here is the expert on amputations. Okay. What if I said that we still haven't fully gone over the Alice business? And I think that you should make sure that that is smoothed over before you go cutting people up in town and not letting us get us our money. So we have well, Pete cut the toe off. Nobody cuts his toes off. This is bullshit because honestly, the Alice, the Alice situation, he did say is done for now. He'll talk to Alice. He'll be just as pissed at Alice that I was, and he'll be like, "Zip made the best decision he could have." I stand by Zip on this gavel. Maybe, maybe a cleaver. Maybe the hammer. Bang the hammer. Uh -huh. I caught. I I say I cauterized. I, I counterized the toe hole after cutting it off because. He kept doing weird shit, and that you're um, in love with him. What? That is not true. You you have Stockholm. You Stockholm him. I didn't Stockholm. Well, uh, he might have Stockholm syndrome. Actually, you have Stockholm. You were gonna walk into the bath. I was not gonna walk into the bath. There's no proof of that because you were walking that walk way. You were walking with him to the uh -huh. bath, and I stopped, and then I said, "You have Stockholm," and you were like, "Oh, it'd be weird if I walked in on him taking a bath." No, I said if I. I don't even want to fucking repeat myself because I don't think that anybody paid attention to what I said and I feel like I got up scot-free. All I know is, y you know, what I saw and heard. Which was? Something that, you know, is fucked up, to be honest. What's fucked up? I want his toe. You can't have his toe. Not right now. Maybe if we get the $300, then you can have his Didn't he already toe, okay? pay? No, what happened was we robbed him $300 what? and then he charged yeah, Penny $300 stew and I said that's cheating and then I took the $300 back and now he's working again for another $300. So after he gives me that $300, then perhaps you can take a toe, maybe. Do I not get anything for what I handled last night in Van Horn? Do I not get... You get a, what a did little, you say, that one thing that Wallaby would say to me one time when I did something good? You get an attaboy? Fuck I that. What, yeah, I want a toe. Yeah, well, uh, Archie got an ear. Archie got an ear and no one said anything about it. That's because... It Archie, I want the toe. And, not an innocent and that was my 11th sidebar, not that I'm counting. Why, why do you want the toe? Why are you asking me? Is this like mom and dad things right now? Is that what you're doing? You took the ear. I deserve a toe. I, I bet the ear of a sheriff. This is different. This this is a man behind a bar who is earning money for us. That's what I said. Where's number two? I need the toe. Yes, just I'm missing a Sorry, whole goddamn okay. half leg. You don't need the fucking toe. I don't know how to reply to that. I don't.
don't know what to tell him. Grief, man. Now my yeah, swamp tour yeah, business man. is in ruins. Really, who wants to be in the swamp anyway, though? You know. I don't know. This I little freak. God damn it. Thank you, sir. Whisk and whiskey, you piece of shit. Uh, people ask me for whisk whiskey. I'm not a minute go against what people want. Yeah, no, that's not a good idea around here. Oh, you just kicked my shit bucket over. Dump it on him. It's all over. Lay in it. Just, no, he just bathed. So what did I ever do to you? Sorry. You whisked whiskey. And you stuck home Dakota. Oh, he thinks that you're in love with me. I mean, he thinks I'm in love with you. I think it actually, I think that he thinks we love each other. Is it because of the poetry? What? Okay, explain. Oh Dear Lord, poetry? okay. Sorry, what? I don't want to hear the poetry. No! Wait, he does poetry. Yeah, he writes poetry. Oh, please, come on. I, I don't have the book. So, nobody gets poetry tonight, sorry. Oh, please, please, please. It's literally not an option. I don't know why you're begging me for this. Okay, all better? Is everybody okay? No, I maybe, want a fucking toe! Maybe we can make one up on the spot, you Go know? find, like, a fucking dog and take its foot or something. It's the equivalent. I, I, okay, I, Dibs on killing his cat. I want permission no, to go no, to Emerald no, and kill his fucking no, cat. No, toe or cat? No, that's not- you can't ask me that- <laughs> I'm gonna toe eat the fucking cat. entire hey, cat, hey. fur and all, in front of you. Alive. You're, you're married, you can't do that, that's cheating. My wife wouldn't mind me eating emerald pussy. What the hell? Too far. <laughs> Make the I decision. Don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to reply <laughs> to that, Sip. What about if I. If, if this is. There's a rat running around Van Horn. I really like. I, I we really stuck up a friendship. You'd really stick it to me by by eating that. You think we're friends? No. What about you us? Do you to... think we're friends? No. No. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Are we you friends, know Dakota McKenzie? did say she thinks you're friends. We got the whole turtle thing, white. Yeah, we what? got the turtle thing going on. We're alive. We see a turtle. We're gonna beat it up. Then, we're going to then, strangle. Then you, then we're going you follow to follow Dakota to the bath, and it's that is not true. You it's little freak. my judgment off of you completely. You little freak, accusing me. You're a fucking sick. It's a lie, man. Okay, it's am a I fucking lie? Am I eating the cat in front of you, or am I taking your fucking toe? Decide. Do you know what the? Uh huh. Say that again. Then what? Yeah. What else? Yeah. What happens after that? Wake the fuck up, you bar hiding coward. Yeah, and then you what liar. Happens? You besmircher. <gasps> really? He's giving us the silent treatment. What? I guess we're talking to the hang. His face ain't listening. <gasps> He's concussed. That's He'll it. Fall asleep like it. that makes sense. Set him on fire. Wake him up. He, the infection finally got to him. I'm cutting you're, the fucking you're, toe off. You're pretty good at that, Peyton. Is he, you're not yep. taking his toe. I don't know where you're getting this from. If he, if he tells me to eat the toe, if he gives the toe, then you can, we can, we can get have one. It. Over the cat, but I could give him the threat of eating the cat over the toe. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, because I will eat that fucking the, cat. You, that's fine. You can eat the cat. If Wade, you're standing way too close to me. Like you're standing uncomfortably close to me. Get back! Get him! <laughs> that's right. Get back! Is the server dying? Uh oh. Why did you beat me up, Zip Quill? What? Dakota started it. I just Quill. climaxed with it. Why did you climax Zip Quill? I don't know. I saw someone getting punched. I had to get in there. My face, man. Look at, look at me. Scarred in the form there because of you. Because of both of you sick individuals. Actually, wait, hold on. I just now realized that we still don't have somebody that could take care of a bleeding toe. And I know that you say roast it over the fire, but I don't know if that's even... I wish you don't roast a... yeah. it, you counterize it with, like, I heat like the knife up. Like a spoon or something? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, we could heat up. Maybe we should ask him. Maybe he knows. Mackenzie, yeah, I have Mackenzie. a question for you. Okay, why? Um, if we were to cut off your toe and you started bleeding, do you think that we could heat up a spoon over the fire and then counterize your toe? Sorry, what was that last part? Uh, can we counterize your toe? That's what I thought you said. Um, no, 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 that would be bad. Would you die? Maybe. See, that's anyway, what I'm thinking. I, I, I don't necessarily I, I, I think that I don't, we should wait. Have any of you ever bartended before? Mm-mm. Well, I don't think yeah. I, have. I don't think you realize how important toes are to bartend. I'm not sure about that. I mean, fella, I'm missing five toes, I and I just got in a shootout. I didn't need my toes. Yeah, but I bet you make a shitty bartender. Oh, what the fuck? No, I was a great bartender. I have you know. Uh, no, yeah, no, he no, was no, fucking you. great. You piece of shit. Pete's on my uh, side. I, I didn't. Uh, I think Pete's a plus one for the toe cutting. I think I am. I think oh, I am. No. Go, go, go. Yes. I like the quarterizing bit as well. The counterizing, sorry. Yes. We're all on board with the counterizing taking toe. What if it's just one like part of the the big toe knuckle? So he still has like kind of a stump and it's well, just they, the, the toe's bend? really important for Ooh, balance. I like I'll be off balance and I'll fall and spill your drinks. You get bad measures. Okay, what about a Oh off balance toe? your fucking face, motherfucker? Alright, so calm down or else I'm gonna revoke your toe privileges. Oh. Wait, so that means I have them. Only if he picks the cat over the toe. Or the toe over the cat. The tat, the toke, the toke. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna keep the cat him. alive as long as possible while I eat it. You even it. know what the cat looks like. It sits on the fucking porch. It ain't gonna be hard to find. There's a lot of cats there. I'll take them all and eat them all. I haven't had stew in a long time because the fucking shitty bartender hasn't cooked any. Because I got a bad toe. What is the cat's leave. name? Shaky. What, Finn? Oh, there we go. Um, so there you go. You just call Shaky. He just told us the cat's name. You're welcome. Oh, it's perfect. Cats. cats are stupid. They don't know their own names or they don't choose to listen to it. Alright, then I'll eat the fucking dogs too, because I kind of like cats. Well, I like dogs too, actually. But not yours. Fuck yours. Like, I'm not being... People care about those cats more than me. As I'm finding out. So, yeah, that is pretty fucked up. I'll probably upset people. I'll leave a than... note saying, "I, Mackenzie, just killed and ate all these cats. Get fucked." And then the Laurel come looking for me because they want to arrest I'll me. I'll say I'm going out west. I don't like out west. They don't know. Uh, you kind of give me a shitty choice. Can I not? I don't can think I... that we should do either, but I'm I'm really trying to what push can back I do? here, and Zip's really not having it. What can I do to get... If number two says to stop, I'll stop. But he's having a number two. Who's number two? It's number two. Scott, he's taking a shit in the corner over there. Oh, See, shit. I told you, he That's... sits in the chair in the corner, and he just watches from afar. He I hates me. On. Carry on. Number Carry three on. says yes. Number four is undecided. Because technically she did say I have toe privileges. Because she said she could take them away. 
but hasn't done Archie's either. Number four. Okay, Archie. Uh, what was that? You took an ear. I want just the same as you got. I'll even bite it off. I think. I'm what not gonna the actually. Fuck? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I will. You're gonna kill me. None of you are doctors. None of you know a fucking thing about medicine. Motherfucker, I eat rubies for goddamn breakfast. Yeah, that's it. And then you shit them out. This is different. This, well, tomorrow will be a toe, everywhere. I suppose. And then we're gonna contourize his fucking toe, and then he's gonna get an infection. He's gonna go septic, and then he's gonna fucking fall over, and he's gonna die. He's, he's gonna, gonna go septic now. Look at the fucking thing. He's been walking around well, ear juices and room. shit mud. There that's used to be a doctor that came here and treat people. There's still doctors that come here. Yeah, we have one, but she's gotten lazy lately. Can, can you at least send a telegram to do we? Like, fuck you. No. Why are you hiding behind the bar? Because he's torn about cutting my toe off. This bar is not going to stop me from fucking eating your toe, motherfucker. I'm going to eat his toe now? Is this new? Is this new development? You're number four, yeah, and I think we all agreed yeah, based good. on the ear thing. You've all got numbers. You know exactly. That's, that's I mean, I don't necessarily know where I am. There's where a pecker I, list. Yeah, I don't know where I am on the pecker. Usually on top, but... We're not talking about Mackenzie. Okay. It's like a whole different list. What is the list on? Why is it called the Pecker list? Is it something to do with chickens? I don't know. I'm new to the Pecker thing. And you're hoping by taking my toe, it's going to up your rank? Not even a little bit. I'll probably lose rank. There you go. There's a good reason not to. I don't care about the fucking rank. I want to eat your fucking toe. What, what about I give you a toe now? That's a good offer. Yeah, yeah uh, that I will... is, that's a good offer. Okay. Yeah. But not just... I want a toe size of toenails. So I want five of your toenails. What? Then he's just going to... He's going to have a little, a little skin foot. Skin toe. Exactly. <laughs> and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put those five toes on my fake leg. I'll even color them. What color? Orange for his hair. Hell it must yeah. be something. I, I, I could whittle you something. I could, I could, I'm, I'm, I'm a good little whittler. Can you whittle a toe? Whittle me this. Yes. I'm taking your fucking toes. No, please, please, no. Nails, toe. I think. Are we all agreeing that I'm taking five toenails? I think I think it's a terrible idea. Do I have to bite them off? Cause that somehow seems weirder. I mean, are you, you taking gonna... <laughs> like the whole the whole nail, or are you just gonna the whole thing? Like... Yeah, like maybe okay. stuff. The whole yeah, nail. Ass. That's gonna fuck. What you yeah. think? I was just gonna trim your fucking toenails. A little bit. You could use them as toothpicks. Ooh. I just had a bath, so they're all soft. Oh, it makes sense. Better then. If we uh, put his little feeties in the water, then the fish will eat the rotten toe. How about you put me in the cage and I'll eat peanuts out of your hand? That's only your and Dakota that, thing. That would be pretty entertaining. That's, that's what I thought. It's creepy, is what it is, and no wonder you fell in love with him. <laughs> you wouldn't get it, Zip. You have to do it to experience it. You know, my dog, you keep him alive. my dog oh, growing no. up, I thought he was so cute when he would eat out of my hand. And it made me realize I love this dog. How Did innocent eat it is eating. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna actually comment on that. Okay. Could we, could could he eat peanuts out of our hands? We could keep a bowl at the bar. Oh no! I hate peanuts. Don't do that to me. Oh, that would be all. That would be the way worst thing to do. That. Definitely him lying, right? Am I the only one picking that up? No, I think oh, no, 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 I'm, no. I'm sold. Yeah, oh, that sounds for uh, real. Hard I think tell. he really hates them. Not those shell bastards. Yeah, I'm right. like a meaner man. You're gonna eat a thousand peanuts at once. What? <laughs> I want his mouth more full of nuts than a bull. He does have kind of a wide set head, so I think that he could fit more peanuts in his mouth than the average man. <laughs> he looks like a chipmunk. 
that's what it takes to save my toe, I'll do a little chipmunk man. Have you got, have you got a thousand peanuts? Mm, we could get a thousand peanuts. Yeah, we can make that happen. Where are we gonna get the peanuts, Zip? I want circus grater better, though. Your mouth is gonna be more full of nuts than a fucking peanut gallery. What the fuck does that mean? Why did you have to get what so close to me to say that? Fuck. You. Fuck. Okay. Everyone give me your nuts. I don't have any. Where do we keep the no nuts here? Do. Oh. All out of nuts. I'm taking the toenails. No, 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 got, no, 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 no. We no, got no, fish. We agreed the nuts. Look, it's, that's some nuts. You have your nuts in a little sack in your pocket? They're for if I get stranded there too. Anyway, give me, give me. How many oh, is this? I'm gonna look at something behind the bar real quick for a second. Set him on the bar, Wade. Okay. How many you generous for them on nuts? I'm going generous store for nuts. Yeah, get a thousand of them. Kilogram. Dakota, where do you keep your nuts? Um, sometimes, uh, I don't have any, I'm sorry. I was gonna tell a really, really funny joke, but then I realized that it would probably do me more harm than good, and I, I, I'm keeping that one inside. You're weird. Like the nuts? Okay, perfect. Scout, you're back. I need a number two. Okay, do I take a sh there's an outhouse in the back. No, 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 the... Rank the pecker. I need a number two pecker. What? God damn. What, Pete? If you want a two inch pecker, you gotta go to Pete, not me. Uh, wait. It's just because he's really hungry. You okay. Two pecker. He wants a two inch pecker. I don't know what that means. Um, what? We no, have no, three choices. I said if he wants a two inch pecker, he's gotta go to you. That's very generous. Thank you. I don't know what pecker means, but. I, we have three choices to make, and you have to make the choice between the three. Okay, what is it? We either make Mackenzie eat a thousand nuts at the same time. I cut off his big toe. Actually, there's four. Okay. I take all five of his toenails and attach it to my fake leg. Or I eat all the pussy in Emerald Ranch. You you guys approved of this list? Pete's on board with the <laughs> toe tutton, the toe, yeah. the, the toe job. As far as the rest of it, well, fucking make him eat peanuts. Could be worse. Honestly, I don't want to cut the man's toe off. That's absurd. I feel like eating the only toes we cut off are Wesley's. Zipquil, we yes. just got like a massive bucket of nuts. Perfect. All right, Fen, Perfect. I need you to, as hard as you can, yank his mouth open. Uh huh. Break his jaw, too, so he can't crunch them. No, I don't think. break his jaw. Don't break his jaw. He needs uh, to talk to serve drinks. Yeah. You actually right. don't need to talk. You can just do. No breaking of bones. All right, okay, start shoving nuts, of, nuts in his it. mouth. I'm doing it. I got the mouth full of nuts. Hurry. Eat it all. Eat the entire fucking bucket. What did I do? Oh my god, this is a lot of work. That's right. Eat them all! Uh, I didn't even get to pry his jaw open. Maybe next time. Maybe. Swallow, or I gotta hold the nuts in the mouth. No one wants you to spit it out. I'm, I'm still pissed that Archie was a spitter. Can I swallow him? Yes! Okay, I, got, I don't just have to hold them in the mouth. Hurry, chew and, and swallow and eat more! Okay, but if you can breathe or talk, you're not doing it right. Huh? I got a pain up my nose. More. Does that count? This seems more fucked up than just cutting off the toe, if I'm being honest. You guys are fucking freaks. This was your idea. 
I, it wasn't. It was Dakota's idea to feed him nuts. Oh, oh. This is a lot of fucking nuts. A thousand nuts? Okay, no, that to be fair, I brought up the nuts this time, but it was just because it's entertaining. That's so good. That man's gagging on nuts. <laughs> How many does he have to eat? A thousand? Yeah. Dude, Megley, I fucking love that. I, I fucking love that bus. shit. I, I, oh. Finally, I cannot wait for you guys to fucking full send. I, I literally told chat like 20 minutes into the fight, I was like, okay, I'm ready to get shot down and arrested. What the fuck? Also, uh, this is a horrible time to tune in. Keep fucking swallowing the nuts. I've never been on the other side of that. I didn't realize. Have a good one, Megley. I mean, I, it's. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. How many more? How much? How many more nuts are left in that bucket, Wade? How many nuts did you buy? Eyes <laughs> <Ice> or water? <laughs> I think I'm crying peanut butter. Wait, wait, wait. What are we? Yeah. What are we looking at? So much this song has layers. Can we like uh, let him carry the bucket around so that he can just um, constantly be eating them? Can I take the shells off the next one? You oh my god. Oh, can we like, you know, like if we make him eat a thousand nuts and then if he eats another thousand, can he get shoes? What? If we make him eat two thousand nuts, can he get a pair of shoes? What? No. Oh. Peanuts are expensive. His feet gross me out. But then don't look at them. They're nasty. They smell bad as well. You're nasty. <laughs> you smell bad. Oh. Look how I call it. You can do it, man. You God can... damn. I'm leaving you. So come here often. This this is sad. Well, is it? Uh, yeah. I'm... If we like it anymore, it's kind of getting gross. This was your idea. No, it wasn't. I hold like a peeled I peanut in my nuts. hand. I have two of them, and then he just ate it out of it. In I the just cage. wanted a toe. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's disgusting. Zip. Yeah. I don't want to make me nuts no more. Oh. I think they feel rotten. Ew. You like this? Why, why is there a mouse tile in here? Just, just... I, uh, I need well. to walk away. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Can't we just make him stop? It's really gross. Bow, bow, some bitch. Even that guy knows what how fucked up this is. I will say this: a local just peeked through the window and made a weird face and walked away. Yeah, no shit. You look good enough to <laughs> eat. This boy nuts. I can fucking look. I I didn't want this. I just wanted his fucking toe. What Clean him up. This is fucked. I'm a contributor in this. I'm I'm a problem. I'm, you brought the fucking bucket, Wade. I mean, oh, can God. we let him do it over time at least? Tonight, he could eat them peacefully and then buy How many are left? There's no way there's that much left. It's a thousand peanuts, Zip. Do you know how many fucking peanuts that is? I, he, I don't know. I feel like he's he did at least 700, 800 for sure. What? No, he's probably only gone through like 20. No, Wade was force feeding them nuts. Not They're not peeled, them. Zip. They're not peeled peanuts. They're shelled peanuts. <laughs> um... 
That's a lot of fucking nuts. Um, what's he yeah, eating the shell to? Is he ready to go? I want to see the shell. Huh? How would I know if I've got a peanut allergy? You'll die. Yeah, I feel like you would have killed over by that fucking. Okay, cool. Am I allowed to drink of water? No. No, that would be uh, Honestly, honestly, it, it, coming from the guy that wanted to take his toe, I think he needs water. I, I, I think it, it'll just make it gross and juicy. Ew. I, I don't want to be a part of it. I think. I I think I went. This is what you wanted. I I think this went too I think far. This is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. I'm honestly. Wait, giving him water or not giving him water is the worst thing. Wait. No, force feeding this for boy nuts. Can we can we make him stop? I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, I don't like this anymore. I think I'm gonna go to you all and say you're sorry. Oh my god. Or not sorry. You, you, you oh. all say that uh, I, I've done enough. I don't okay. want someone to change their mind. I think he's done enough. You've done enough. This I'm gonna no. cut. I'm gonna cut Where's off your toe if you don't stop. Where am I, white? <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus shit. Christ, this is fucked. As if you're sick. Why would you make him do this? I, 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 I firmly remember someone else bringing up the nuts. Okay, to be fair, I brought up the nuts, but it was only because I heard that Dakota had fun feeding him the nuts, and I just thought it would be fun. Not like that. I, I think I'm it. more nut than man. You'll never be more nut than man. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna go sit down again. You see what you've done? I don't even know, know where to sit in my own home. Nowhere feels right. You know what? I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit next to the fire too. I'm in one of those moods. Van Horn just got a lot more dirty tonight. I hate that you said that. I actually despise that you just fucking said that. Zip, that was fucking gross. It, blame Fen. Wait, what am I getting blamed for? You know, the old me would have just burned him alive, and I feel like that's easier than what just occurred. I'm gonna have fucking nightmares. I don't, I don't know if I could... <laughs> I think my stomach hurts. Yeah, that was disgusting. This is easy. This is fucked up. We need to reconsider our life choices, I think. We? Yes, we. We all no one stopped it. Here. No one stopped it. May I remind everyone in this room that no one stopped it. I have the least power in I this tried. saloon. How are you the one encouraging all this and now trying to play victim? Because it was fucked up. It got out of hand. Even the locals were deranged. That is true. We did see a local pass by the saloon, and he didn't even want to come in for his he, regular I, drink. I saw another one look through the window, shake his head like he was fucking terrified and left. What, what, I, what did I do to you? I, I, I want to pay this man 300 and I never want to see any of this happen again. No, he needs one to earn it honestly please. for once. You want it whisked? Dakota. Just drink a lot of water this Normal. Dakota, he did earn it honestly. You know no, I want it We just robbed him of it. In a glass. That doesn't count. Okay, but you, you can't say what you just said. Like I do, Dakota, are you okay with a whisk one? Oh, so the, what the fuck? Dakota, you are what? fucking sick. Oh, what did he say? Hold on. What, wait, hold on. What did he say? You are fucking... You disgust me. You fucking disgust me. Archie, what have we become? Do not get me involved in this shit. You could have said no. You're number three. I wasn't here for the whole nut thing. I was taking a bath. And it was a really nice bath. I think this That's whole town needs said. a fucking bath no, after what just happened. Fucking what you told me. <laughs> I'll start. You're making memories. Zip. That's what you're doing. I don't want this memory. I just made a nightmare. I'm going to take My stomach hurts, Archie. My fucking tummy hurts. 
Oh, he said, do you want me to stare you in the eye while I whisk it like... It, like well, you're going to have to live with it now. I don't know what to tell you. It. Yeah. It must have I don't been know so what easy. Saying. It's such a nice free. life you have just biting off down. sheriff's just ears. And here I am, force feeding a man a thousand nuts and made my life a living hell. If I use a finger on a stick to whisk I mean, you could have just left him alone. You know, that was an option. He doesn't deserve to get away with his crimes, but his crimes did not succeed his punishment. Zip, he hasn't done anything. Yeah, whisk, 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 he whisk, has it not one buck done buck. anything. One Thank bus. you very much. Yeah, listen, I've made one. a lot of peanuts. Yeah. That's the same thing, isn't it? Oh my God, That's okay. I don't know. No, it might I don't be. think so. I think oh. I like peanuts, though. Yeah, there are people looking there. Open up. Uh... I'm gonna hit the hay. Not good bad. shit today, y'all. Yeah, good bad. job, good Pete. Night. I'll see you soon. I'm gonna hit the hay. You take Archie, are you easy. sleeping good with night, a woman Pete. in the blue shirt? Oh, Absolutely. Okay. Peanuts, Wait, you're fucking Finn? Join the door, uh huh. You're off peanut duty, it seems. How old are you? Okay. I mean, I ate half. Old time. enough? <laughs> what well, kind of a oh, question yeah, is that? I just, I, 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 you look like you're 33. in your 40s or 50s. Oh. I'm, a, I'm in my 30s. Oh, never mind then. I'm in my fucking prime. And now it's the funniest thing I ever Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm the train, son. You're a real part I don't know what that means. Wait, Dad? <laughs> no, please I'm don't start that shit. Yeah. I have enough of that bullshit now, with Wesley. What did I do? I don't think I I'm his that uncle. Guy. That makes us brothers. Big unk. Uh oh. Would y'all ever want a woman to call you Can uncle call in bed? No. No. Okay. Uncle, uncle, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we... example. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that. I'm sorry. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Is that what your wife sounds like? She's married. Uncle, uncle, uncle. Somehow I Well, she's British. That. No wonder you hate That's her. That's why I'm keeping my eye on you, Mackenzie. Every single time you do something, I don't life, hate my wife. The debt goes up twenty-five bucks. <gasps> Ooh, What's that's he up right. To now? What if I fucking make some stuff? That's what what is all I care about. Like, <laughs> no, we're just, we're just making down. memories here in Van Horn. That's $5. all we're doing. Hey, nobody lowers the debt. It stays at a stagnant three hundred. It can only go uh, up. Only from increase from my uh, raise. That doesn't make any sense. It but does. I'll, only I'll only increase from my raise. Only increased from my raise. Correct. If it increases from my raise of 25, it can then decrease. I can take off my own debt that has increased via myself. Okay. Here's How much is your, your debt right now? $300, I believe. $300. Okay. Okay. I'll keep that in mind going forward. Dakota, how much debt has he paid off so None. far? None. Okay, you're, you're, you're really bad at your job. You know that, Mackenzie? I'm not, I, I've made $600 so far, and it's all been taken off me. That sounds like a you problem. Sounds like you need to hire security to make sure that doesn't happen out of your pay. I mean, Dakota took 300 of it. Um, that sounds like an accusation, but also you seem to get robbed. Oh, she, I no, she I did in fact take $300 from it. Uh, what happened was he charged Penny $300 for a bowl of soup. Um, and I think oh that is God. extorting an innocent woman, and I would like his money to be earned honestly. That is awful. How could you ever extort somebody in such a. I'm gonna be honest, manner? chat. This is not the song I wanted, but I didn't want to fuck it up, but this is what I meant to play. That was really mean. I gave her $50, which means... I'll be right back. I need to go use the restroom. Just enjoy this scene.
He owed us money. Yeah, he's just getting money. shaken down. Nah, it's, I, 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 need to, I need to face the wall. He, he deserves this. Okay, don't. Um, go ahead. I think you ain't worth a hell of things. I think that he underestimated us when we were offering him our services. And now he's learning a lesson on not to underestimate people, I think. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I mean, we're feeding him. <laughs> I think we might be Army now overfeeding him. I, I, I don't know what happened there, but... Oh, it was a peanut strike. Also, if you're, if you're gonna lock him in the cage, you know, try not to forget about him, eh? Well, what happened was Millie said that she was gonna go down there to get him out, and I said, okay, and then I just didn't fucking see him, so then I went there to get him out, and then he was just down there. Jesus Christ. So, this is a Millie problem. <laughs> She said she was gonna go get him, and she just didn't let him out. Fuck's sake. I'm gonna use the sheriff's office instead so we can hear him shout. Who the fuck are you sleeping with, Archie? Fen. She's talking about taking advantage of the men in corners when they're in positions. Oh, man. Well, what the heck? You can do what she wants. No, my God, I'm mm -hmm. Damn. Well, I, it's complicated right now. I don't know. I haven't seen her a long time. She could be dead for all I know. Listen, if she would be, if she was here, she would join in. So. Good God. I mean, it keeps us happy. But she ain't here. I've been good. I've been real good. He was from what? Emerald Ranch was in. He might go to the Valentine Church. Simply whatever. All right. So bank job. That's a really good idea. Thank you. One of my best. <laughs> I just need to forget the nuts. Maybe that can be your thing now. Nuts? I'll just nut men? Yeah, you can just... <laughs> Bust some nuts during torture? You can just bust them with your nuts. Yeah, exactly. This is fucked up. My stomach is hurting more now. You know what? We can be like, Zip, bring the nuts. They'll have no idea. I never want to see anything like that again in my life. No. Oh, yeah. Can you do the backflip? Ever again. Mm -hmm. You should try. Also, can you sing? Oh no. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm not far yes. behind you. Good luck thinking. Yeah. I never saw you what you saw, so I'm safe. Uh, hey, Scout, what's your favorite song? Swing low, sweet chariot. Okay. Sweet chariot. All right, good night, Yulon. Good night, Archie. Chess? Please? Someone? Huh? Hold on, chess? Don't talk to me. A game of chess before you go to bed? Game of Scout? chest? Dakota, game of chest? Zip, game of no chest? Yes, I want to game your chest. Who wouldn't want to be you? Come no, on, Arch. one before bed. I can't. I'm sure Dakota will, or Wade no, will. No, you can. I can't. I have to go to bed in like three minutes. I don't have enough time. I'll kick your ass in seven moves. Fuck you. Scout, a game of chess only takes about ten minutes. Give them exactly. We'll do the ten minute If you give like, the men timer. everything they want, they're going to take advantage of you.
Some and you may like no, that, but I don't. How did you know I was going to say that? Because I've known you for fucking ever. Yeah, but... You seem to you, uh, forget that we are the ones who have been together since the dawn of fucking time. I forget sometimes that I've known you. <laughs> oh my, fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. Get away from me. I'm going to go sit in the corner so everybody stops talking to me. I'm stressed out. I'll have to go sit with fucking Mackenzie over there in the corner. You know what? That's a good idea. I will. Thanks. Careful your luck doesn't run out. She'll be happy to play chess with you shortly. Millie, you're learning chess. What? Well, uh... Look, I started something. Go on, Wade. You'll join him next. Go on, go take a seat. Hey. Wait, uh, real quick. So uh, think about what sit, done, stay. Master. How's it going so far? Good. Hell? I've let you and myself down. Good. Feel bad. You better. Fuck you. Is that too so, much, you think? No, it was excellent. I felt okay, okay. very scalded. Good. Fuck you. I'm sorry for everything I put you through. Tip. Yes. She's got to play chess with you. She's waiting. Oh, yeah. I need to talk to you real quick. Okay. Yes? Where's the HUD? Um, should I telegram Alice or do I just stay the fuck out of this and let Wallaby do his thing? Well, I was meaning to have a conversation about it with you as it is. I was curious what you think should happen if it was your decision. If you were Wallaby, what would you decide to do? What do you think is a fair punishment? Do you know why I told her to leave and I didn't leave? Because you wanted to be around here and you didn't want to fucking kill her if she was around here, correct? Yeah, I didn't want to abandon Van Horn. I'm the last Westerner that came to help. There's bad blood with. You I see, that's thought... a... Go, go on. ahead. No, you go on. I thought... If... At the first sign of trouble, I left because I didn't want to see someone's face. It would look bad. And honestly, I just didn't want to leave. You're right. But I don't think I can be here and fight alongside Alice. But I have a lot of emotion in this. I don't know if Wallaby does or not. So I can't make the decision if I was Wallaby because it'd be too clouded with emotion. Sure. See, it's a tough one. We have a way of doing things around here as you are learning. When you do things, we do them for our people to benefit them and to benefit Van Horn. Let's say this situation happens again. God forbid somebody close to you is hurt or killed. If you ride out and you take revenge on these people up front and outright, all you're doing is putting Van Horn in more harm's way because the first place they're going to come to get you is here in Van Horn because they know you live here. And what does that do? That automatically puts your people that you claim to love and care about in danger. That also puts the town at risk. This is not the first time Alice has done this. There was that situation with the bastards regarding the graves. There was a situation with her telegramming Wagey, letting him know that certain people would come through Van Horn when she was here, and she'd telegram him about them. That they were at odds with and at war with. That's two different things. Then there's this situation. That's the third. I keep warning time and time again. This is a repeating issue. As much as most people may like to believe, I don't hate Alice. But I do not think Alice is here for Van Horn. And I do not think Alice is here for my people that I care about. And that is why I do not trust her being around us.
because this is the last strike with me. Too many times she has done this for her own selfish desires, as we have spoken about before, in my opinion. And I don't want people to get hurt because of it, and people almost have got hurt because of it. My people that I care about. Do I think Alice needs to be killed? No. Do I think she needs to be kicked out? No. But she does not have Van Horn at the forefront of her mind. Or the people in it. So if not killed and not thrown out, what? Well, for starters, we would not be her protectors. The only reason the bastards have not tried something is they know she rides with us. And they don't want any issues with us because we are good friends. I think when she makes these hasty decisions to do things such as what she did in Thieves, being around Wagey when he went to shoot Jesse Gold. That puts us and the bastards in a very particular situation, a very awkward situation. Which again does not benefit us or Van Horn. I simply don't want her involved deeply with us because I fear she'll use information that we have for her own personal gain as she has shown that she will not just have Van Horn and us at the fo focus of her mind. She has herself and her personal desires at the forefront of her mind. A lot of things have been done for this woman. We have paid hefty prices in one way or another for her and because of her actions. And I'm getting tired of us having to pay for what she does. Now, I'm sure that's a lot for you to hear. I know you ride with her. I know you deep down, whether you hate her now or whatever it may be, you still care for her in some way or another. Again, I don't say this out of hate for her, but I do not believe that she has my ideals, my ideas, and my goals, as well as everyone else's and Van Horns, at the forefront of her mind. She's too quick to react, and I have to say, Zip, you have impressed me. You have impressed me with your ability to not act as though I thought you would. See, I predicted Alice would act how she has acted, and I have been right thus far. You, however, in the back of my mind, I had this thought that you would act the same way, but you haven't. You come here, you respect the way things work, you want to learn, you want to be around it, you want to be involved. Someone near and dear to you was harmed and hurt, I expected you to fly off the handle. When I heard that news, I expected you to leave this place and go looking for someone to fucking murder. But you didn't. You kept your cool. You were willing to wait, speak to Wallaby about it. You have surprised me. I'm going to be honest with you, Scott. I don't know if that's because Alice drew that blood or I knew the consequences of if I were to go get that blood. 
but the fact that you are not sure is telling. That means there's something there. I, there's only one thing I could tell you. And I know actions are going to prove it, but I'm not Mills. I love Mills, and... I would do a lot for Mills. But I won't leave Van Horn. You know, remember that one time in Valentine? After you had stabbed me, or Aurora stabbed me with you there, and... We threw you off a bridge. You came to me and you said, I'm sorry for what I did. I didn't forget that. I said I would hold you to that. And I believe you were sorry, as you have proved, because we've been nothing but good friends since. In my opinion. So when you say that, I believe you. I have a certain way of saying things and doing things around here. It tends to be rub people the wrong way. I bet if you were to ask most people in this town, Pete, Wallaby, maybe Dakota even, my thoughts on Alice, they think I fucking hate her. I hate her guts. I don't. I actually quite like Alice. It's the things that they do to put my people in harm's way, whoever that may be, or their actions against us that do not benefit us in any way that makes me feel this way. See, Wallaby was betrayed. All of us were betrayed by somebody very fucking close to him. Somebody that was very clearly... There was something wrong. And because of that, people died. Eddie died. And I vowed to myself, not to anybody else, that I would never let that fucking happen again. Which is exactly why I treat Alice the way I do. I don't want to see Wallaby hurt again. I don't want to see any of us hurt again. And I think you've been a great asset to Van Horn. Not only for what you've done, but for your company as well. Aww. So thank you for that, Zip. You're welcome. I don't want Alice dead either. But I'm done being betrayed. I don't know if others feel like what she did would be betrayal to them, but she knows how much of a betrayal it is to me. Yeah. I won't say I get it, but I can understand it. Or the other way around. I won't say I understand it, but I get it.
So I guess we just wait to see. We wait and see. I want you to know something, though. Alice lied to Wallaby. Regarding the whole visiting the graves thing. Wallaby knows this. So I just hope he makes the right decision. Ooh, do we tell Scout about Zip and Wallaby's talk about Alice? Oof, probably not today. Oh my god. At this point, there's a reason why I stopped deleting. Due to incapabilities. And there's a reason why I am taking orders. Something that I'm very new to. Because even with the Kettleman gang. If I made the choice to go get blood. It wouldn't matter who it would. Or who it was from. I'd be able to go and do that with no repercussions. So I'm very used to this whole taken instructions. But I can't sit here and I can't argue with whatever Wallaby decides. Because there is a reason why I'm here and there is a reason why I'm taking these. Is to learn. So whatever he decides, I'm going to accept it. Even if I don't like it. I'll drink a couple Saint Sinners and I'll fucking drink my poor feelings away. And get the fuck over it. I don't if know. I don't like it either. I'll join you. Good. Millie makes a hell of a Saint Center. Have you had one yet? I have. It was amazing. I know. I'm Where? glad you fucking hired her. Worth the hammer in and everything. It, right? Everyone's like, why'd you hammer her? I think it's it helped. I think it made the, you know, it worked. That it did. You're welcome. I'll tell her, that I guess, the same. I think. Yeah, she's good. Maybe that's what that bartender in there needs. Nice hammering. That's what I've been fucking saying. That is not that is not approval to hammer him. Oh. Let's be very clear on that. Oh. I definitely was not about to go grab a hammer. Okay. I'm glad you said that, though, out loud. And we both agree that I cannot, right, go in cannot. there. Cannot. Right. But if there were to be a time to test him, I would like to be considered one of the people to do so, I think. Because mm -hmm. look at what I did with Millie. Yeah. You, you turned her. Yep. She's great. You did that. She is great. And she's proven. Very good. Worth the money, that's for sure. Right, we're definitely going to have to kill her husband, I think. Mm, probably at some point, but that's like a month away. So, we'll get yeah. there when we get there. Okay. It'll be a welcome home from Siska if, if, you know, Law keep doing what they're doing. Exactly. But, I will be pissed if I die before I get to, you know, test someone again. Someone I don't like. Hmm. All right. All right. Good night. Fair enough. Oh. Oh. Okay. You said no. Three no. I was just. It's been like ten. It, it has been ten, right. but we were having a conversation, so we yeah, yeah it was worth staying want, up. Yeah. Do you want to? Was that all you had her? to say? 
Yeah, in regards yeah. to Alice, they are in just, just everything with Van Horn, and you know. Yes, I, honestly, I came out just to ask about the te like if I should telegram her, and I don't know the answer to that, but I think Wallaby is the. We're gonna climax at Wallaby. Yep, we're gonna climax there because Wallaby will get in contact with her. She'll come here, and they'll have a conversation. Now, I'm very interested to see how that conversation goes. But uh, well, you know. More than likely, they're going to have it in private, and certain information about it will spill out, and certain information will not, and you know, maybe perhaps we'll pay $5,000 more to make sure she stays alive. Uh, you know, just in case. Just in case. Five grand. Good night. Good night. I brewed that on my. Good night, you little Hello. shit. Good night, Dakota. Oh, I was talking to the, I was talking to the ginger boy. I want to take that as talking shit. Thank on you Alice. so much. Fuck you. I hope you sleep. Maybe terrible. Scout was, but Zip definitely wasn't. Zip is fucking that was, hurt. That was too much. I'm sorry. I don't hope you sleep terrible because you, you you know what? You oh. got a debt to pay off, and if you sleep terrible, you're not gonna pay off the debt. So. All right, uh, you ready? Um, I suppose I kind of suck Good at night. this. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, by the way, you're welcome for hammering you. What the fuck? Well, um, uh, I guess thank you. I, uh, yeah, we uh, all agreed that you're amazing. I'm not supposed to tell you that. But we do. And um, we all thank me for me hammering you. So you're welcome. Uh, thank you. For hammering you? Thank you for hammering me. I already said you're welcome. You don't get to, Millie. I'm going to grab said... a stew and we'll play. All right. It's more fucked up that she just thanked us. I write happy poems when I'm... Dakota? Mm -hmm. I'm broken. Okay. All right, you ready to get fucked up? I, yeah, I'm going to lose. Did I buy a stew? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's why you walked over there, right? I did. All right. There's a method to this whole, you know, hammer somebody. Okay. Get the music going. I'm gonna. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing right now. You sacrifice the pawns with a hammer. What are we filling? Am I supposed to go again? Nope. Oh my god, I have no idea why you just moved that. Neither do I.
I think we're gonna have the talk with Dakota. We need to wash away all the sins of the conver of the fucking whatever the fuck just happened with pandas. We need to have like a thousand serious conversations to pay retribution for that fucking incident. Ooh, let's bait. Uh-oh, I don't- was that bad? No. Not for me. <laughs> okay. Smart you right now. I changed it too much. Here, Robert, see so you're in check. Can I get right uh, now? either of you a drink or something? Yeah. Uh, uh yes. Okay. Whiskey or uh I'll what take a Saint Sinner. Right. We got any ice? Right. Oh, uh, here. Uh, I have some ice on me. Make a trade with me. I'll be goddamn. I don't think I can. I got slippery hands. Oh, that's all right. Uh, you have ice on you. Well, um. Yeah. Uh. Well, kind of. Dakota. Yeah. Okay. Come here real quick. Okay. Thank you. You want some some oh. cash with uh, Hi. Um you and I need to have that talk. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do that now. Well I'm in a chess match. Oh, oh. I'm about to kick her ass, so give okay. me five minutes. Sure. Oh, she also thanked me for hammering her. Oh, oh no! God, not there was not a chance I'm doing that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, good lord! What the hell? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Millie, did you by any chance him money? Yes. Oh, How give much? him money? No, I don't give him money. No, I didn't you, uh... give him money. But oh, yes, what I the? Have, no, I no, have, no, no, Yes, I have funds. Would you like some? No, thank you. I was just making sure. Did she give you money? Three hundred dollars. No, no. no. So. She gave me some ice to no, make the cocktail. No, I did not give him any monies. I'm gonna go make it. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you, Squeaky. I don't Zip hold. Tell her she looks um, beautiful. Okay, uh, you have to move your king because he's in check. There okay. You go. How about? All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thanks. Nothing. Uh oh. Uh, what meta? Well, don't answer that. I guess. Um, I'm gonna have to say no. Wait, did you fucking perma? I'm playing with Millie. Um, no, thank you. Her. Did you fucking perma? Okay. Uh, zip, you mind not your hand for me? 
Yeah, uh, yeah. There you go. I think I got it right. Thank you, Mackenzie. Thank you. No worries. Yeah. You want one as well? Oh, I'm all right. Thank you, though. All right. Just uh, yell if you need another. Okay. You motherfucker, squeaking. You're in check again. I don't think he's getting desperate, but you know how it okay. is. Just, I'm a busy person. I have lots of things to do with people and kidnap and things like that. Oh my god, I didn't even notice we could take out our fucking knight. I might need to sacrifice. I shouldn't sacrifice. Like, you know, when you make the peanut butter? Peanut butter. Oh, yeah, the more oh. you suckle with the nuts. Oh. I'm allergic to peanuts. She does have a higher rating than we do. We have a fucking dog shit rating. Mackenzie, you could breathe over there. <sighs> Fuck. The lady over there is allergic to peanuts. Yeah, I've kind of had a day. Really? Oh, shit. Had a day, yeah. Go cough on her. You know, no, I'm pretty much I oh human peanut God. right now. <laughs> Only one way to say. just like at this spiral that's like going down and down and down, and it's just one thing after another. No, I think your starting rating is 400. Yeah, um, I, I don't want to Or kill 500. Someone. It's not 800. There's no way it's 800. I'm just going to stand here until she's gone. Don't mind me awkwardly looking. We've only lost like playing? three games. Uh, I guess we're playing chess. Are well, those little things look like horses? That's right. I'm betting on the uh, the white one. Yeah, he was supposed to Thank you. That white, white horse is going to win. So I took him and the... That's not a horse. The white horse is dead. That's off the table. Why are you making fun of me? No, I, I... Oh no. did this on Easter and it was right before mass, but Well, Millie, move move my horse. You took my horse and now it's kind of on the board and now he's getting confused. These two got little hats. And these two Little hats. I made away the glass and even That's right. The glass this one looks like bullets. Chloe Slaughter bites until he can be killed by her. You got a lot of these little guys. <laughs> they got names. Are they the dwarves? And They're the Snow dwarves. White? Yeah. Snow White's the the weird four prings. The four little line dots. Is it? Do you want to learn? I can learn. You can? Yeah. 
Okay. For an undisclosed amount of time. Have fun. Pick out a good quarter. Yeah. You can play uh, Millie next. No, no. He, he can play you. I have to have a conversation with Dakota. Hold on. Oh. Hello. Oh. I, I, uh, don't, don't breathe hello. near me. Am I winning? Uh, I don't know. Oh You're not losing. How do you call yourself the ch the chess champion, uh, Van Horn, if you don't know if anyone's winning? Beginner's luck. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You also kind of don't know if you're winning that game until the end, anyway. That's right, whoever that was. Hi, it's Bailey. Oh, hey, Bailey. Hi. Oh, Millie, this is Bailey. Bailey's my niece. Yeah. Right? Oh. Yeah. Yes. I think, I think maybe, or cousin, I don't know how it works. One of them. A pleasure. Hello. Hey, good looking. You guys been playing for a long time. Uh, like, ten minutes, maybe fifteen. Oh. Well, that's not too bad. Who's winning? Uh, Millie may be winning. That's embarrassing, Zip. Yep, that is really embarrassing. I, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I swear to God, I have no idea. Oh, my word. I'm tired. Oh, shit. I have no idea. Well, good luck to you both. Thank you. Well, how did you get down there? Uh, check. Yeah. There you go. My dad will probably come in and act revenge. Can you really curse? Oh, that was almost bad. All right, we need to. We should probably go to Shawarma then. Your game oh my god did you win how did I that did. happen it was because right. you you took my what i had three pieces that i pretty much you couldn't move anywhere oh okay well gg the uh wait uh good gracious is in games yes <laughs> okay what? um i have to pick out a deputy to throw off of a bridge at the Bard's Crossing. And this deputy is, if they survive somehow, then there is supposed to be my new nemesis. And I am having trouble deciding. We don't blame her, guys. Okay. okay. She gg us. It, it was thought, a good game. I've already tortured him a whole Someone lot. abbreviated and, something oh. in 1903. Um, probably. Yep, yep. What's up, Sperry? McGregor? So, you know... I was actually thinking McGregor. It was either McGregor or um, a new deputy called the Red Cassidy. But I think um, I like the sounds of McGregor a lot. As much as I like talking about Red Catheters, um, Mackenzie, go play you know Millie, I think, uh, and then... Okay, I don't think I got that much time, but okay. Okay, okay, never mind then. But either way, Dakota, we should have this conversation. Okay. Unless you want to torment him until he sleeps. You know, we can have a conversation. I'm going to be eating during it, though. I hope that's okay. I mean, yeah, yeah I'm not going to I think it's you that time, wanted to so. talk to me, so you're going to have to talk. That's a good point. Okay, I'll go. Just put okay. all the food in your mouth at oh. once, and then chew it, and then there you go. Millie! I, I can't believe I'm going to ask you this. 
Is there any chance you give me a little love? Ah. I've been waiting for this day. I I fucking give me your hammer. No, 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 not, no, not again. All right, I'm gonna just tackle you. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna have a nap and stuff. Yeah. All right, Dakota. I think Bailey pan or Millie panicked and panicked. Oh, I see. Yeah, abbreviations were a thing everywhere, uh, uh, probably. Uh-oh, not looking good. It's, it's, it's back. I think. Okay, we're loading in. Can we please, can we please? What? Go talk. Oh, you, okay. Yeah, I didn't know you wanted to talk that bad. Where do you want to talk? I don't know. What's your issue? Why are you panicking? I think I'm tired and I think I'm stressed and I think... <laughs> Was it the nuts? No. Well, that fucked my gut up. death experience. Yeah, have you seen the latest one? Look at this shit. Look how good this is. Pancakes made this. I, I put a filter on it, but look how fucking good that looks. And then the infamous one, real quick. Let's here you go. see here. Nope, not that. We got a. I don't have the pic. I only have the picture as this. 
Don't look at Sip and Pete. Not bad. I was thinking about it yesterday. And it makes it makes me think like this is like a off-brand Zip looks like an off-brand Jax Teller. And Pete looks like an off-brand whatever Jack's stepdad's name was. Do what you want with that information. Nope. The ones of Zip smoking a puppy with Andy. Not Lady Andy, but very gentleman-like Andy. Okay. So what did you want to talk to me about? Well, it was you that wanted to talk to me. I know. You said we should talk. And I did have a conversation with Scout right now about the Alice situation. What did he have to say? Zip, I hate her so much. I hate her so much. No. Oh, he actually okay. said everyone in town thinks he hates her, but he doesn't. He said, essentially, that he doesn't want to see her leave. And he doesn't want her to get dead. He just doesn't want to protect her anymore. But I'll let him tell you that. I'm not getting in the middle of this shit. I mean, I didn't even think he wanted her dead. I think that scout just saw her as a danger to our folk and Van Horn and didn't want that anymore. I feel like that's understandable. Uh, the way that he goes about expressing that i don't think is right but i don't think anybody was confused on why he didn't want her around i mean you wanted you thought he wanted her dead or at least hated her or kicked out or whatever the fuck it is that you immediately started off with i hate alice i hate alice it's just the way that he speaks about it is all. And I know that he shared the sentiment with me before. Not just because, but he said that if he, she steps out of line, that he's going to shoot her. So I understand that he just saw her as a danger is all. The original thing that I wanted to speak about, um, it was related to Alice, and I feel like half of it is blown over anyway. I was just going to discuss with you on how I felt like things would play out, given uh, past events. And talk to you about... Um, I know that up on that hillside, we spoke about how you would want to go um, get that, you know, closure back from Zoe. Would you have wanted to hurt her at all? Zoe? Yeah. I'd want to talk to her. I've always felt very off about hurting a lawman for doing a lawman job. Zoe, it does feel more personal. Based off the history I have with her. But nonetheless, she was defending herself. I wanted to get her side of the story, Dakota. And for all I know, she's dead. Yeah. I could go to Ansberg right now. I could send her a telegram and 
to see if I get one back. I could go have a word with her. That might make me ease up on Alice, but the truth is I don't know. I, I was fucking angry. But I think what made me more angry in that telegram was the fact that they got blood. Because I, 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 Isaac... There's a lot I could say about Isaac in the last two months. Not even two months. Whenever they fucking got divorced. Since I got out of Siska. He was hurt and he was going to get himself killed one way or another. And honestly, I think he's at peace. Being dead. I miss him and I'll probably always miss him. Through everything, he always had my back. But not being able to finish that story with him kind of sucks. So when I'm reading the telegram, not only saying he's dead, but that Alice took away the last person to see him alive. Yeah, um, it hurts. We should actually telegram Zoe. I do hope that Wallaby does the right thing. I just don't understand why she went out and she did that. I like it's one thing to be upset when you lose somebody, but she still had a whole life behind her and I feel like she almost in a way threw it away by going out west and doing that. I mean, she hurt you doing that. She hurt Wallaby doing that. It just seems so blinded. Alice will never make a decision for herself again. What do you mean? It's the ghost that lead her, not her. On her birthday, she kept saying Effie doesn't want to do that. Shit like that. It was a ghost that convinced her to kill Josie. Honestly, they can say whatever they want, Zip, but she's she's living for the dead. It makes no sense. It she doesn't. People that but are they alive. lead it. She listens. That's it's the not problem. Who's in front of you? 
That's what I mean by it's not her making these decisions. You sure she's making the decision to listen to the fucking ghost? I guess you could say that, but it's not Alice making these fucking decisions. It's the fucking ghosts. They tried literally everything. And if I was in middle spot, I'd kill her. I'd put her out of her misery. Because that was Andy doing that, and there was nothing I could do it, and she was making decisions based on what a fucking ghost says. I love Alice, and there was times where I... I did. Not even I would have. I did give up my gang to protect. But that ain't fucking Alice anymore. It hasn't been Alice in a long fucking time. Since before she killed Josie. She's only the Alice that I love and that I fucking swore to protect. When she's with Mills and Mills is gone. But Alice is just as dead as Isaac is. But she's just a physical ghost. Because if Mills was around, I would have got my blood. I would have got my conversation with Zoe. Because when Mills was around and I needed to, to have a conversation with Zoe, Mills and Alice kidnapped her and delivered her to me on a silver fucking platter. Same with Sam. Mills, Jack, and Alice grabbed Sam when I felt I needed my blood. And both of those times were way less significant than my fucking blood dying. Yet when Mills or Jack ain't around... She makes the call to get her own blood. Because it's if some she, ghost? I don't know what it is, but she always told me when Mill's around, it's the only thing that helps. It's the only thing that prevents her from listening to the ghost because she has Mills to listen to. And physical Mills speaks louder, I guess, than the fucking ghosts do. So... Which one told her to do this? They're probably fucking Effie. She's the one that they keep fucking talking about. But honestly, I don't. It doesn't fucking matter. There's probably thirty fucking ghosts in her fucking head talking to her. And it's not even ghosts of what they were when they died, because James would have never asked her to kill Josie. Yeah. I don't think that the ghosts are real. I don't know if you do. What do you mean? You think it's an excuse? No. But I think that the ghosts that she sees are just hallucinations and what they tell her is just what she thinks they would want, probably mixed in with what she wants. There ain't no fucking ghosts whispering over her shoulder, making sense of the situation. When people die, they die. probably why half of the things the ghosts tell her seem to come up as bad ideas. Because it's just uh, a mix of things in her head getting her all messed up. 
and she sees things and it's spoken to her out loud, her own thoughts. I just really wish that she would. I wish she would care about the living first rather than what she thinks a fucking ghost is telling her. Agreed. The only living person she cares for is Mills. That's the only one that speaks louder than the ghosts. I'm so sick in here and I'm sorry. I would never hurt Alice. Ever. But that doesn't mean I don't think that she needs to put out of her misery. You know what I almost did to my own fucking wife? And I feel like these situations are very similar. Because she neither needs to fix whatever she's seen or she needs to... Do you think that's the right thing? No. But I... I put a revolver to my fucking wife's head because I thought she was in a prison. In her own fucking mind. And what the fuck are these ghosts? Telling her what to do. All the time. It's not fucking Alice making these decisions. It's these fucking ghosts. She couldn't even enjoy her fucking birthday without one of them telling her what to do. Alice. If she goes out west. If she leads. If she tries to guide fucking people. They're going to be ghosts within a fucking week. Because she does not make smart moves. Sometimes when you love something, you gotta, you know, set it free. But at the same time, when you love somebody that much, you gotta fucking end their misery. If I ever saw ghosts and I let the ghosts decide what I do, things that don't exist, and I am fucking ruining the relationships I have with real fucking people that are really here that would really fucking die for her in a goddamn heartbeat, or me... If I put anyone I care about at risk like that because of a fucking ghost. I'd want someone to put a gun to the back of my head and fucking pull the trigger. And I would want, would want it to be someone that I cared for. Or that cared for me enough to do it. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that I am going to do this, because if anyone should, it should be Mills. And honestly, at this point, I might even fucking tell him that. Even though it might get me fucking killed, I might tell him that the only way to save his fucking wife is to put her out of her fucking misery. And I'd risk the consequences of that, because someone has to fucking say it.
Or she's gonna get everyone she cares for killed and hurt. Because Effie said so. I mean, outside of Van Horn, is there even anybody left to care for her? Daza has a similar situation, but he sees a singular person named Holly. There are people that will always fight for Alice. It's just I can't be that person anymore. Even if she did stay in Van Horn, I can't protect her. And I'm not talking about in a shootout. Of course, I'll fucking shoot down anyone that tries to harm her. But there's no more protecting her. Yeah, I agree. How many times has she almost cost Van Horn what it is? Um, in the past, there was an incident where she telegrammed Waggy to tell him that Pavel was in town. So and then once? after that, it was the issue where she went into thieves that happened most recent. And then this. Would you say building up the West died quicker than you can imagine? Um. Because let me put this in retrospect. The day before Alice moved to Van Horn was the day that Wallaby gave me the idea to build it up. Yeah. I failed once, she failed three times. And I don't think it's Alice, I think it's the fucking ghosts. I think they're one and the same, to a certain degree. Maybe, but the Alice I knew wouldn't make these fucking stupid choices. She would fucking think about things. You can't blame the ghost for her. If people change, she's unwell. And it's just coming out of her brain in the form of ghosts is all. I'm sure that we all in some way have the dead following us. I do remember. I think it was Nash's gun, right? Or Effie's gun? Let me just take up different forms. Yeah, sometimes. I do remember that. I guarantee if Zip asked Ev for that gun, he would give it over in a heartbeat. But Zip Zip can't make that decision. Zip doesn't want Alice dead. He just he just doesn't he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to handle it. Zip thinks death is easier than all that shit. He thinks it's if he lo when he put the gun to Andy's head, he thought Andy was stuck in a prison. And how much he loved Andy, he thought the best way to do things was to kill her. Because death in the end is like it's final, it's quick, it's nothing. When you die, there's nothing. There's and that nothing includes pain. And he doesn't want to see the people he loves trapped in the prison and the pain that they're in. So in Zip's head, the best way to help Alice is to kill her. Zip has always had that with him. And Zip has shot and almost killed people he's loved too many times. It's like fucking, it's numb to him now. 
So I know it's fucked up hearing it, but it's 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 how Zip would go. Andy is fine now, but that doesn't change the way that he he. The only reason why I didn't pull that trigger is because Alice walked in, and then she ended up being better. But. There's just, like, there's nothing else to do for Alice. She fucked up, dude. She she took Zip's blood away from him. That That's a big fucking thing. Are you taking the longest thought in your entire life? I am. Okay. I just don't know what to do. Am I a horrible person for thinking I should keep... Like, death is the only way to save her? I think that if you cast her out, she's going to end up getting herself killed anyway, so it's not necessarily your problem anymore. I think casting her out is going to get a lot more people that I care about killed, too, is the fucking problem. Well, no, because... And then if you decide... She to... already bled... It, it, Do this. Zip won't hurt a wounded animal. It's still gonna get the same amount of people killed. And Alice took that away from him. And like also, no we don't know. I, even out of character, I don't know if Zoe's alive. I feel like I would have found out if Zoe permed, but both Zoe and Sax are comatose, or at least dead or not around. So Zip can't get that blood. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I want to happen. I don't know what I want Wallaby to do. I don't know. I don't think that Wallaby's gonna harm her. I don't think so either. I hope not. Because I don't want it to be like that. If anyone should harm her. I can't say harm. I honestly think... I, I... Mills either needs to come, get her, and they need to leave this fucking hellhole. Or he needs to put her out of her fucking misery. Wallaby asked me to protect Alice. I don't think if there was a god or is, I don't think he could protect her at this point. I don't think so, neither. I just, I don't, I didn't grow up around Alice. I didn't run with her at all. But I think out of everybody that I've ever known, I care about you and Wallaby the most. And I know that my opinion is probably the same as everybody else's, so I'm not even going to bother fucking saying it. Jimmy, she has tried but that, but she also doesn't. To see you two have just to walk go away. and deal with this. And I think that's what upsets me the most, is knowing that Wallaby tried his best and gave that girl a home and tried to watch over her. And it was thrown back in his face when he was trying to do the right thing. And then you did your best as well. Scout asked me a question. I want to know your answer. Sure. What, do you, what would you do if you were in Wallaby's shoes? I would just send her off. I would send her off and I would wish her well and that's that. She still cares. Zip knows she still cares. It's else. just he thinks that she cares about the ghost more. 
And if she's able to shoot all these people because the ghost tells her, when is a ghost going to tell her to shoot Zip? Like, Zip can't... Like, Z it's fucked, dude. Ferret's made a fucking insane story with the ghost, and it's so fucking... It's so good for roleplay. It's fucking genius. Because it's, it's like... It adds so many factors in this. Huge shout out to ferrets. What'd you think throwing her off? Okay. Who do you love most in this world that's breathing, that's alive? Wallaby, Scout, Pete. Some a family member who Why does it matter? What's the question? You yeah, I'll get there. N maybe not even love. Who do you not want to die the most? I could use you as an example. Okay. Now say I was making decisions that weren't smart, which I, I do. But imagine if it wasn't even me making these decisions and you give me this home, right? So you're Wallaby in this scenario and you're you. The way you feel about me. But then you also have the power that Wallaby does, okay? Right. And I start making these decisions after you give me a place to live, a place to fucking thrive. And I made those three decisions. And it's because I'm seeing fucking ghosts. And you send me out on this... The, 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 you send me out. You kick me out of your home. Knowing that these ghosts are making these decisions for me. And then while that happens, there's other people out in that world that you're kicking her to. That they're gonna go and they're gonna protect me. People that you as well care about. Maybe not as much. Or maybe as much, but it's just different. And you know, deep down, that the second you kick me out of Van Horn, and I go out, I'm putting those people's lives in danger as well. Because I'm being fucking led by a ghost. Do you think it would be more humane to put me out of my misery? I wouldn't be able to do that in terms of putting somebody out of their misery. I can't do that at all. I don't even think that that would be an option for me. Then why don't you say something when Wallaby was telling me that he would rather die than see Van Horn get lose this? You what were standing right by his side when he said that. That he's told his people to fucking kill him before he puts Van Horn at risk. Do you think that he's putting Van Horn at risk anyhow? Not even a little bit. I'm just saying you were you didn't speak up when he said he told his people to fucking kill him. This is the same fucking thing. To the fucking T. Except instead of Van Horn. If they tried to do that, I would die trying to get them to stop. Just because I don't speak up doesn't mean that I don't have an opinion about it. Even if it's Wallaby's wish? Even if it's that what he's wanted. I'd step in front of that gun. I don't care. And unless he wished something different from me in that moment, I would just stand there. If Scout killed Wallaby, what would you do? 
If you don't want to answer any of these, just tell me to shut the fuck up and I will. I don't want to put you in a weird spot. I, I'm just, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I, I'm trying, I'm trying to get any advice I fucking can because I don't know what to do, Dakota, and it scares the shit out of me. I fucking love Alice. She fucking made me who I am. She fucking raised me to be what I am and to fight for what I fight for. I would go through years of fucking pain and torture to protect her for a single fucking second and now I don't think it's Alice anymore. I think that person's already dead. Then what does it matter if you cast her out? Because there's other people out that I care for. My heart isn't just where I spend my days and who I spend my days with and fighting for. There are a lot of people in this world that I care for. There are a lot of people in this world that I'd kill for and that I'd die for. A lot. There's a lot of people that have showed me their loyalty that I fucking rubbed in the dirt. And there's a lot of people I showed my loyalty to that they rubbed in the dirt. But I still have that fucking loyalty and they still have it for me. That means more than fucking anything in this world to me. But Alice is no longer rubbing my loyalty in the dirt or rubbing it anywhere. She is fucking stomping on it and she is trying to fucking make it non-existent. Yeah. I asked her not to go behind my back and she th that day went behind my back. I got angry with her on the docks because she met with Bex to get their side of the situation, which, okay. But then they met with fucking the Doherty's, which I thought were trying to kill me at the time. I got angry. I fucking vented. I moved on, and then... I know she didn't want to tell me over Telegram, but... I would really... I, Hearing it from fucking Everett and knowing all the details of everything that had fucking happened all at once, I I didn't have Zoe to fucking scream at, to fucking yell, to fucking beat the fucking shit out of if it came to it. I didn't have sex. I can't yell at the dead. I can't fucking scream at Isaac for fucking going towards that light. But I had the fucking person that took two of those options away from me and I fucking let it out. And the more I was letting it out, the more I wanted her fucking hurt for the way that I felt. Even though it wasn't even fucking just... I, it, it wasn't just hurt at what she did. I, my fucking cousin was dead. It was everything that had happened all that fucking once and I had one person take it out on. Because I couldn't go find Zoe. Or Sax. And I want so badly to feel bad for what I said to her on that dock over there. But I fucking don't. Because truthfully, I wasn't yelling at fucking Alice. I was yelling at all the fucking decisions she's making because of the fucking ghost that took the reins. However fucking long ago. There's fucking tough love, and then there's love that you just have to fucking give up on. Which is tough. 
Ja. I know that it's not a similar situation. Um, but in terms of that anger that is, you know, dwelling in Saudi now, no matter how much there is left over, if any, I find for me, I have a lot of things that I lock up inside and the only place that I really have to put them sure sometimes I speak them out into existence once in a while but other than that I just I, I put them towards Van Horn and that's it take it out on law when they show up put my mind on the other things business related I find that that's a, a good outlet sometimes. Because this probably isn't going to be the last time that you feel that way in your life. I fucking hope it is. I just hope that you have somewhere to put it, because I know that harming her isn't going to do any good. I won't harm her. I won't ever harm her. But that's because I don't feel like mercy is harming. Yeah. But I also don't feel I'm in the position to do that. If Mills was dead, then... To be honest with you, I probably would have done it then. But when I received that telegram, it wasn't saying that... Isaac was dead, it was saying that I had to mourn. For not only my cousin, but my sister. And that fucking hurts me terribly. It's hard watching somebody slowly slip away and they, it, it's strange in terms of, you know, you saying that Alice is becoming this ghost and she's not herself no more. Seeing the remnants of the past within somebody in that sense, you know, like every now and then you catch a glimpse of what they used to be like or... Something that reminds you of when you first met. And then it, it's wearing like a, a shroud of something sad. It's, it's terrible. So, I don't really blame you for not knowing what to do. Oh, 
obviously something's gonna have to be done if she ever comes back but it's not a choice that you're gonna have to make alone wallaby's gonna have to choose as well so i'm hoping that it having each other at least makes it easy on you too i think i have to have this conversation with just me and wallaby yeah you do I wanted everyone there today because I didn't know how it was going to go. Yeah, and uh, as much as the choice lays on the folk of Van Horn in a sense, I do think that, you know, you two deserve to have a conversation alone where everybody else's opinions don't matter that much. I fucking hate this. Me too. Did you trust Hooper to not fucking bring all the lawmen he could possibly up and talk? Tonight? No. When you met with him. Oh, um, I trusted him then, yeah. Now, not so much. Do you think I could trust Zoe if I reach out to her and she's alive? I think so, yeah. Can you come with me to Ansburg? Yeah. I need to go get smokes. Oh, fuck. Alright, that made up for the nut situation. I really hope Zoe's in a fucking coma. <laughs> it wasn't good for Zip. I mean, it was a great scene, but it, it's not helping Zip at all. It's more of a it needed to be said sort of deal, not... I need to get this, like, I need to get this out to start healing. Zip truly feels that he lost Alice and Isaac in one telegram. Now, if, like, say Alice came to Van Horn, right? Right now, right this second, Alice was up on that balcony and someone came to hurt her, Zip would fucking still risk his life to fucking protect her. That, that's not out of the question, but that's because he thinks that if anyone should kill Alice, it should be Mills. I think Millie went to bed.
Do you think Melee went to sleep? I think so, yeah. Like, he, he, he doesn't trust... He, 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 the ghost took the reins. In his head. And I... I, I I don't want to speak for ferrets, but truly, I feel like that's what she's going with here. I don't know for sure. But that's how I feel. Right, which is impossible. It's impossible, Shaka, because Isaac died since he said that. And what could Zip do about it? Nothing. Z Zip can't prevent the death. He can't prevent death from anywhere. But what he can is truly, truly keep her away from more death by killing her. As gruesome as that is, that is the only way to truly keep her away from more death is to kill her. And I think Zip needs to have this talk with Wallaby. I think we have to pretty much copy and paste that entire conversation with Wallaby. Who's Jules? I guess Zoe's in Blackwater. Oh, apparently Jesse Gold almost died. Yeah. Who the fuck is Jules? Julian, I think. Oh. He was telegramming me recently. I think he's kicking about again. I saw him at Thieves a couple of nights ago. Dude, all the bastards got fucking pinched. Waggy wants to talk. Waggy wants to talk. Um, you remember the other night where Alice said that she was visiting graves? Yeah. Uh, Jesse Gold sent me a telegram that said I was hoping to talk about if any of yours had escorted Alice to the graves yet. There were two people spotted by thieves in the area, I believe, is where her graves are, question mark. Also, Jabez's grave was very recently cleaned up, same time as the spotting. Who was it that left? And it was Daza and Alice, right? That night I that think came so. back? Yeah. I'll take it with me. I'll give it to Wallaby. Apparently they had an agreement uh, that she was okay to, mi to visit as long as one of our folk were with her. But I don't think Daza counts. Also, Hooper sent me a pleading telegram.
few hours ago. Probably not even around anymore. I don't know if I should wait to meet after talking to Wallaby, maybe, because I don't know how this conversation with Waggy's gonna go, but it could be him trying to start shit. Yeah, I would wait to speak with Waggy until we get everything sorted. Because he's probably gonna be wanting answers that we can't give him. You know, one time Wallaby and I were in this telegram office and I watched him grab a man's skull like a watermelon and he slammed it against the wall until he started squirting blood. Wallaby was a squirter or the other guy? Uh, the other guy. Wallaby was making the guy squirt. Hmm. Um, yes, I want to rob this Probably a bad idea definitely a bad idea especially after the telegram that you just sent Zoe if you were asking to meet her Um, yeah, H excuse me Uh, Yes, what's your name? Abigail Jones Holy shit <laughs> Hi I thought you left with cash. Uh, yeah, we went um, we went to Puerto Rico for a while, and then uh, we came back for Malone's funeral. Huh. Yeah. So I've been around. I just uh, keep it to myself mostly. Are you going to? Where'd you just say Puerto Rico again? Uh, we might. Y yeah, I could see us doing that. It was beautiful there. Wait, is Cash here right now? Uh, he's uh, he's not around. He lives oh, right. in the state, but he's not around. This is Abigail Jones. She was head of the uh, editors of the paper. Hello. Oh, you should hear what those people are writing these days. I I should I. You leaving no, was the worst I hate mistake. It. Oh there, God. There was like two months there that it was just all advertisements. Listen, one woman cannot hold the paper on her shoulders forever. It just well, you did, be done. and then you just threw it away. <laughs> well, wipe your ass with it. I do. I okay. stopped even buying it. <laughs> I guess there's cheaper stuff to wipe your ass with, all. I guess. <laughs> what are What are you doing? <laughs> How have you been? I've been okay. Not really. Isaac's dead. Oh my god. Oh. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's really fresh. Like, two days ago. What? Yeah. We buried him yesterday. Oh. I, that, I don't think that was yesterday. Oh. Wow. I'm oh, I'm really sorry. That's... It's... Oh. Honestly heartbreaking. I... He was funny. Every time you boys would come around to the newspaper office and tell me what to write about, I always had a hook. So did we. Well, I'm really sorry. I also uh, can I ask Van where Horn. he's buried? You moved to Van Horn? Yeah. Is Wallaby still running it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It, um. 
Yeah, I kind of ride for him now. With him? For him? You're dead in game? I don't know. Sure, what does that not? mean? I, I think so. Okay, yeah. I don't understand uh, game yes, politics, yeah. so, okay. You are. All right. Wow. Well, yeah. Why? Fuck the West. Put that in a fucking oh. article. Is it oh kind my. of dream and it was crushed immediately? Wallaby gave me a dream and it was crushed immediately. But you were still riding for him? Well, not like it's not his fault the dream died. It's just he planted the dream. He planted that seed in me and then I cut it out before it could root. Well, and then I burned that's it down. your business. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to pretend I know anything about gang politics. Certainly not nowadays, but, uh, okay. Well, all right. So now you're out east, Brad, for, riding for a wallaby. Why fuck the West? What's going on out there? Uh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Nothing good. Nothing good. Hmm. Alrighty then. I shall stay away. Yep. Probably best. And, and yeah, don't get it wrong. I'm not coming back to write for the paper. That's not, no, it's not what I'm doing. I'm hunting black bears. And keep it to myself, and that's it. That's all that I'm doing. That sounds like a good life. Adult I like black bears hunting. Do you like killing the babies? Um, I don't like killing baby bears. No. That seems cruel and too easy. Ain't it? Yeah. But sometimes, you know, makes you feel good. Killing baby bears? No, I don't think that makes me feel good at all. Knowing that you ended you ended it before it could kill somebody. So if black bears run away from people, they're scared. Yeah, but they grow. Yeah. And then they eat you. No. Yeah, you tell me not one person ever died from a black bear? They probably deserved it. Did they? <laughs> yeah, they probably tried to kill his babies. Shit, so you're saying I'm yeah, going to eventually die from black bear? Yeah, I think you're going to reap what you sow or whatever the hell. It better not be blackberry. Jesus Christ. That was Aurora's black bear. Are you still riding that purple horse? Yeah, murder. Right, that's right, murder. Yes, right here. Murder, murder this the is, This is murder in the second degree. The first murder died. Oh. <laughs> that is clever. Uh, isn't it's like it? he wants to be friends with Milani. Yes. Yeah, I turned him into a cannibal. You know, you're not the first person I have heard of to do that. Um, uh, Oglethorpe, his horse eats meat as well. I can't stand that man. Yeah, a lot of people can't. Yeah, every time I kill a horse, I let murder take a little bite out. Oh, wow. Do you find that murder tries to take bites out of living horses ever? Because Sometimes. of this behavior? Hmm. You can't treat, teach a dog to walk to water or something. <laughs> That's exactly how it goes. Yeah, I think Plato said that. Most likely. Aristotle's. Is... Aristotle's. Whatever the oh, fucker's Aristotle. name is. That's right. That's the one. Yes. I forgot you're like good with words. I am, yes. The, 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 that's the whole paper thing. A wordsmith, as one would say. Do my best. Wordslinger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, please go back to the paper. No. Please. Please. No. Please. No. Why? Um. Um. What will it take? Oh my goodness. Five thousand dollars. We can have we can have this conversation another time. Okay. Do you want to join a secret poet society? Mm, maybe. I have considered working on a novel of my own. Have you ever heard of Scrump? Yes. Okay, so me, Scrump, and not Well actually I don't think he was involved in it. He was invited. Not? Deacon not? Yeah, but me and me and Scrump and one other person, actually I think it was a lady, 
Uh, we created, uh, you know, an outlaw poet society. We called it the Dead Poet Society. <laughs> That's and we good, would all actually. we would all meet in secret, and criminals and civilians alike would just read poetry. I love this idea. I agree, actually. That sounds good. Did I never invite you? No, but I also wouldn't go if Scrump was there because I think that he fell in love with Irene and then tried to have an affair with her. Oh, you should yeah. write a poem about it. Yeah, well. Do you write? No, do you write poems, Abigail? Yes. Okay, if you won't write, ah, uh, uh, oh, if you don't write for idea. the newspaper, would you write a book? I might write a book of poetry. Sure, I could do that. Not a poetry, a book. Oh, yes, yes. I, I, yeah, I've considered writing a novel before many a time. Would you write one about Isaac? Oh, wow. Um, I would need a whole lot of information about Isaac, but yes, I would consider it. I give you all the information you need, but I, I just... I don't want his final resting spot to be where his name is forgotten. I want him to okay. live on longer than any of us can. Sure. Send me a telegram with like some basic facts, first of all, and um, we can talk about um, me writing something for you, which will cost. Like it's, you know, a special project. Whatever you but, want. Uh, all right. I'll give it some thought. Okay. Just tell me how much. I, literally, I would pay anything. Well, we'll need to sit down and talk about like what uh, what you know the pieces of it, what the chapters would be, and all that. Probably just a you're a 10 the page you're the piece. booker. Yeah, I I am. That's, I'm booking right now. Have you ever built a? Never mind. You've never built a building. You ever think about a building being built? <laughs> you ever watch a building go up over time? Uh, no. Okay. You start with like a foundation, and then on top of that, you can build a floor, and on top of that, you can build walls, and then finally the roof goes on top. Writing a book is a lot like that. Um. Okay. <laughs> he only dates fence sitters. If that's a nice little framer. Only dates fence. Is that what you want in the book that's going to immortalize Isaac for all of time? Probably, probably not. Okay. <laughs> see, see, this is why we need to sit down and have a long chat. Not in front of a tele telegram station in the middle of Ansburg. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right. I'll send you a telegram. All right. Thank you, Abigail. It's good seeing You're you. Welcome. welcome. You home. as well. Uh, Thank you. Please don't touch me. I'm married. I, yeah, I'm married also, to Mackenzie. Did, did you not bring your own horse here? I did. I didn't mean to do any of that. Oh, okay. I didn't Oh, sorry. All right, we tried. I like her. She's fucking amazing. She would that come visit. That was the visit. first conversation that I've ever really just sat and listened to and actually enjoyed the entire thing. And I didn't want to run away or try to make an excuse on why we should leave immediately. Oh, that's about to change. Hello. Hello. Hi. Bye. Oh, bye. Wait, are bye. you Nyx? I am, yes. My secretary wrote me about the letter you sent her. Millie, I believe it is. Yeah. Did she ever get mm -hmm. back to you? She said she would talk to you and then get back to me. I said there was no real rush about it. Okay. Um, I think we're going back to Van Horn if you want to come. If I'm being invited. Uh, yes. Is that a yes or a no? You are being invited, Is... yes. Did you invite her to the Poetry Society? No, to Van Horn. Why? Oh, I Cause... Like the matter is much better. This is uh... the Poetry Society. Right, that's exactly what I was thinking. We're making a... Well, I guess it's supposed to be a secret. Oh, well, I apologize then. I won't pry. Zip, your saddle's crooked. 
that's the only way I live. Okay. Goodbye. Come back. Nope. Millie. What? Where were you? Uh, I was out picking oranges and I found something for you. Did you go out and do human being work? She worked. Yeah. Oh my god. Isn't she like the greatest? You know Scout said she's the greatest. Scout, you, I mean, Millie, you need to have an affair with Scout. No. Please. No. No. No, please, no one can fuck her. Please, please, please. I forbid it. Excuse me? It would be so funny if I was right the entire time. What do you mean, I, right about what? I accuse Scout of having affairs all, all the time, and I'm just hoping that one day he will, so that I'm gonna be right. What is? Is he with someone? Why would you yeah. want to be right on that? Because I think that it would be funny. It's because she cheated on him. Yeah, I cheated on him. I only kissed a man at well, oh. He kissed me in a barn, though. And then uh, Scout tried to blow up his house because that's a reasonable reaction to something like that happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, this is Nyx. Oh, yes, you're Hello. the person that wrote me. I have your telegram in my pocket. I was going to tell Zip about it, but things got kind of busy. Oh, um, as I said, no rush in regards to that. I'm going to go pee in Zip's hotel room. Uh, specifically his. Well, yeah, why specifically mine? Because you keep your door unlocked, remember? I'm going to have to figure out where that fucking key went. This is bullshit. I have a new drink I'm That's gonna on you, it. though. It is. Okay, how much did I say by the name before? Actually, you said nothing. You told me to hurry up and get out and Sorry. get going. Oh. I suppose I should be here for this conversation. You should, Millie. Decide how much she should... Or, yeah, how much they get paid for a uh, fucking Navy. Well, a Navy is like $200. Is there anything on it? Oh, I don't. I haven't procured it. Unfortunately, my associates have a bit of a qualm with the use. It apparently nearly broke his arm or something like that. But I don't really care for Wait, it. He he a job already. Is a job. Wait, he broke his arm trying to get a navy revolver. No, apparently in the past, Zip nearly broke my friend's arm. Oh. So he doesn't oh. really want to help in that mm, endeavor. Wait, I'm who? Still uh, Pippi. You ride with fucking Pippi? I feel like I should choose my words carefully from this point on. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Yes, That I'm little I... shitter. I, I thought he died. Mm, yeah, no, he's alive and kicking. Big okay. ego, big mouth. Yes, that little fucker yeah. kept getting his ass kicked and kept running his mouth like he didn't just get his ass kicked. <laughs> okay. So I'm to shut his then. ass up, I had to fucking threaten to break his fucking arm. I don't even remember. We, uh, I don't think we did break it. So, so you only threatened to. I'm not sure why. I might have broken it. I don't remember. Arms. Well, considering we thought he was dead, it's better that a broken arm than death, but. Right, what happens mm. in Siska happens in Siska. Unless it didn't happen in exactly. Siska. I honestly don't remember. Oh, that's a lot of people. Is that fucking law? I'm gonna lose my shit. I don't think it's law. How 
You guys seen Zip around? No. Is that him? He's probably dead. <laughs> Last there I heard, is. he was in Sissica. I got your right. invitation for tomorrow's meeting, but I said screw it. Let's meet tonight. Ooh. I was. Uh, ah! Oh, yeah. Sorry. Shame. She's an ass. She really is an ass. Her or the horse? Uh, the, I, the horse. Are you still planning on meeting tomorrow? I can fucking meet tonight. It's just a long day. Sure. Well, I'll wait till you're done talking to these folks. I'll be at the bar. Okay. So. Am I buying the fucking gun or not? Is, is Pippi gonna allow it? He's not my keeper. Um, what was it's... it? His gun? No, actually, I do believe he has an AV. But he stole it, and then you're selling it. Hmm. Yes and no. It's mainly just wanting confirmation on what you wanted. Because from my list is a navy, a lich field, a uh, repeating shotgun, I think it was, and a bolt action. One of the three of the last ones. Well, it's a sidearm and a long arm. Yes, but so you gave either... me a selection. Yes. Definitely on the navy, not the thing. Uh, well, I think it has to be over hmm. 200, isn't it, right? They go for 200, so what, what, what do you... I don't know, it's my first time negotiating something like this. Grandpa, I think you didn't okay. negotiate. I was just here to confirm some things and clarify them. Yeah, and I'll, I'll take your and I feel uh, like I, later. I feel like I um, That's all right. stepped on a few little nerves in regards to the past. I'll be right back. My apology. Um, the Pippi thing? Mm. Ah, yeah, I could care less. But yeah, uh, if you get a Navy or a Schofield and then a long arm that isn't a carbine repeater or anything like that, I'll buy them off of you. Okay, so you're not at all picky about the sidearms. I mean, I don't want a double not action sidearms, or... Um, long arms, sorry. Right. Yeah. Just don't bring me a carbine repeater or varmint rifle. Oh. I wasn't considering it, but now I just want to do that... As a joke, but I won't. Um, yes, I was just confirming in regards to that. Um, that is about all. Actually, no. Do you happen to mm, know someone who has cut rubies that I could procure from them? How many do you want? Mm, I need ten. Yeah, I could do that, but I'm gonna have to go have this conversation. Oh no, as again, no rush, just mostly asking because it's uh, a bit of a task that I have right now, so. But I won't keep you um, from whatever you need to do. Okay. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me see. Give me a second. I might have them in here. I, I did say I wasn't. I know we have a gem bag in here. I don't know if it's the rubies or not. Yeah, crumb, so it's Crumb Daddy, Grandpappy, and Millipede. Or the aliases. And then Pete's is Mr. Finglebottom, and then Leotard Scooter. Looking for. Uh, did he tell you the answer to that question? Yes. Okay, yes, good. He did. So you don't um, have to reply back. Um, does it have to be rubies, or can it be diamonds? I have diamonds right now. Sadly, rubies. The, the buyer is awfully specific about that. I have okay. two uncut rubies in my hotel room. <laughs> I have... <laughs> oh, I have like 60 rubies, but it's on a horse and I don't want to leave town. I want to have this conversation with Maggie. No, no. Well, go have the conversation. As I said, I'm not very um, rushed. I don't want to rush other people. Okay, perfect. Uh, you can linger in town if you want or, uh, you know, it's up to you. 
I can telegram you as well when he uh, uh, he hears him. That might be best, just so I don't, um, you know. Mm. Actually, I don't even know. But anyway, we have a meeting to attend. Yeah. I'll telegram you uh, if you don't stick around, all right? I will. Thank you. Um, do you want to do me a favor? Yes, uh, you're not wanting me to be here right now? Uh, we'll just wait for Dakota, and then when Dakota oh, comes please. out of her hotel room, no, tell can't. her that Zip is talking to Waggy. Wait, can I go in the bar? Uh, yeah, just make sure you let Dakota know where I am. Yes. You wanna go talk on the dock? Sure, let's go to the dock. It's been a while, partner. Yeah, it has. Can't remember the last time I seen you. I don't think I can. I think on the tracks outside Van Horn. Probably so. Oh, that's right. When Isaac went in the duel, fucking Everett. That's right. Which he's still a Muppet for, by the way. He's dead. So careful calling him a Muppet. He's dead. Zoe killed him, yeah. How'd he die? Zoe killed him. That's all I know. I couldn't talk to Zoe and ask what happened because Alice decided to go get blood without me a couple hours after it happened. And from what I understand, Zoe's been in a coma or possibly dead. Same with Sax. Same with everyone when that was there. So I can't even get to know what fucking happened because everyone that was there is either coma or dead. So I can't answer that fucking question. Hmm. Sorry to hear them. Yeah. Appreciate it. No worries, Barry. I do. There's a rock in Coronado. Jonesies. Zeddy could you give us a moment, partner. Apologize. You're fine. Henry, you can come over. You know Henry, right? Not My half brother. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to talk with you. I'm sure you, you know about one. About what? I said I'm sure you know about one. About one of what? One of the reasons is you want to talk to me? The telegram, partner. Okay. Why'd you do it? Tell her not to send telegrams? No, why'd you tell the bastards? Tell the bastards what? About Bakes. Because they were going to fucking kill her. How so did I they know? There. They were going to fucking find out, Waggy. They were going to find out, but they didn't know, Zim. Okay, but everybody finds this shit out. So you involved them. How would they find out? We found okay. them inside of their home. Where they it's... say they're always at. She came to me. She said she sent the fucking telegram. The day she sent that telegram is when I told Jesse that we need to have a sit down and discuss shit. All right. So then he gets stabbed, or whatever you did to him. We shot him, gunned him okay. down in his own home, in his own home. Okay. That happened, and the last two people he saw before that, which yeah, I agree, you guys went to his fucking home. It's just like. If Wallaby got shot here in Van Horn, it's not very hard to figure out how they fucking came to that conclusion. I right, get that'd it. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Have been? But the fact is, she sent a telegram the day I'm supposed to meet them. She was talking about telling them herself, and the way she spoke to Jesse, if she would have went and talked to Everett the same way, Everett would have fucking killed her. And so you decided it best that you, you tell him. 
Yes. And now you're not with them anymore. I heard you're out here by yourself. I kicked Vex out the second she went beyond my back. So you you told... <laughs> you're contradicting yourself a little bit, partner. You say How? you did it to save her. You say you did it to save her. And now you kicked her out. So now why wouldn't they just go and kill her? She's by herself now. Why wouldn't they? I told her to go with you. Why the fuck would I have her? I have a lot of boys with me right now. Okay, well, that's what Don't I suggested. Don't ever push anyone in my crew, partner. I said, if you want to fucking help Waggy by sending telegrams, then you might want to join her. Or join that's what him. family do out west, partner. You there forget no that we were family out west. You anymore. forgive that we were fighting together against them. Did all of that fucking lose your mind? Did you forget that Isaac was wanting to gun that Muppet down as well? He wanted to duel him. And if I <laughs> remember correctly, on the tracks, you told him to stay out of it. Let yeah, you fight him. that war, that you'll That's handle right. it. That's right. I was pissed off that everyone was wanting to get out of it. I was pissed off that everyone was shaking hands with each other. Everyone was so nice with each other. And everyone was wanting to get out of it. Waggy, you've everyone's... been... You've been what? saying I've been shaking hands since this all started. I wasn't even there when Alice made peace with the bastards. Pardon. I was not there. I found Pardon. out the same fucking way you did. We asked. I asked you guys in that house. I asked you all in that house. After Prophet died. After Zip got his kidney taken. I asked you all if it was done. And you all looked at me and said, yes, it's done. Even after I was stabbed, you guys said it was done. Bastards did me wrong. You know, we, someone talked to the bastard recently, one of the bastards, and he even admitted, he admitted they did me wrong. He admitted they were in the wrong for it. That's crazy. So, so I'm sorry, Zip, but I expected family that I used to ride with want to go fucking snitch to the bastards about one of their, on one of their own. Yes, that blows my mind, partner. That blows my mind. I didn't Jesus. take Zip to be a fucking businessman over a fucking family man. Jesus Christ, Waggy. Then why are you why are you here to fucking defending her right now? Defending whom? You're here fighting for her. Fighting for whom? Vex. I'm not fighting for Vex. I'm fighting for myself because I was done wrong. And my folks How were, were you done, done wrong? wrong? Because they stabbed me in the back. When the war was supposed the bastards. And what does Domino. that have to do with me? Because you snitched on your own, partner. I didn't fucking snitch on my own. It was either she went and told them and got herself fucking killed, or I went and handled it. Oh, so you so went there and wanted handled be blood. She was and gonna I, admit it, Waggy. She was gonna then, go to them herself and admit it. And you kicked her out. You kicked her out, which means she's by herself, and now she's gonna get taken anyway. It was honestly a smart fucking choice, because she's coming to you saying that I fucking snitched on her, when that wasn't what fucking happened. She didn't say you snitched. She said you told them that she was the one that sent the telegram, which is which, exactly yes, what happened, right? Yes, which what she was going to do. I just went and made sure that she didn't get fucking killed over it, out of respect for fucking Sam. Because I don't want to be in a fucking war. I've been fighting the <laughs> bastards since longer than you've been in the fucking crossing. Why out of respect for Sam? You know why, why out of respect for Sam? Because I, I don't know, Bex. I don't she know her as well as you. I know Sam. She was riding with you. She was riding with Sam. And you were riding with Sam too, partner. Yeah. Said, what, what, what happened to you, partner? What happened to you? Dude, I can't with the partners. Staying out here in Van Horn. Whatever you want it to be, Waggy. Because you won't get it. You're young. I guess I don't, partner. I'm not used to all that. Yeah. And I'm over fucking wars. And Van Horn is very known for stopping wars before they begin. Like I you said, I've been fighting the fucking bastards since longer than you were here. When it was a whole different fucking people that held that name. How noble of you, partner. You mean to shake your hand because of it? No. I'm just saying I'm done with fucking war, and you're sitting here telling me that I snitched on my fucking own to stop bloodshed? You did, though. You, nothing. That's exactly no, what I you didn't. Just now, what'd you do it for? You said you didn't want to protect get her killed. fucking. Yes. Which is stopping bloodshed. Right, but that's not snitching. 
Waggy? How is it not, partner? Because if she would have went there, she would have started a fucking war because for some fucking reason, she wants to fight the fucking bastards. She wants them dead. And I don't know why. No, partner, she was helping us out. She was helping us out because we got done wrong. And I like told family, her... Like family would out there in the West. Did she like tell you what to I do. told her? That no, any other wanna... fucking day, she could sit there and t send you telegrams and help you out. The problem was that she did it the one day I was going to sit down with them and have a fucking discussion. You idolized Jack Kettleman. You think it was just war 24-7? You don't think he had sit-downs with Cesare during the DiCenzo War? You don't think he went and discussed shit to put an end to his people fucking dying? You I'll don't think you every what. fucking war Jack went into, he didn't have these conversations? I don't know much about Jack, but I'm, I have this feeling... I have a feeling, you tell me if I'm wrong, but Jack wouldn't call out one of his own, partner. To the enemy. Okay, and I'm not Jack, and I don't idolize Jack. Exactly. But what I am fucking saying as someone that I know you do idolize, and you look up to, it wasn't war 24-7. Partner, I really don't give a fuck what I idolize. I don't really give a fuck who I'm supposed to be. I give a fuck that someone did me wrong, someone did my folk wrong. That's what I care about. That Pavel. I could go on long spiel about who Pavel. Your, you know, you know who he's a Who did I do wrong in your in your group? I'm not saying you, partner. I'm talking this about is, the bastard. This seems fucking aimed at me, Waggy. It is a little aimed at you, partner. A hundred percent. How? Who did I affect in your fucking outfit? Not my outfit. You... Zip, you understand why we're talking, right? No, talking I really Blackstone. don't. And if she doesn't ride with you, then why are you here fucking telling me that I'm a fucking snitch? I don't give a shit. Because, partner, we were together. All of us. We may not have been in the same gang, but we were together, partner. We were just fighting the bastards together. But every time I saw you, you would make fucking sly remarks about me holding hands, which is something I didn't fucking do. Holding hands? And then you fucking... I say that? With the Western you, Alliance? Every fucking time I ran into you, it's not about handshaking, partner. And we all don't shake hands, partner. That's all I, I fucking heard that? every fucking time I've seen you since the Bastard War ended with KG. Every fucking time, Waggy. Oh, that's right, because you were wanting to be so friends with them right after, right after they killed Isaac's dad. I did not. I didn't want to be. I never wanted to fucking see them again. I wasn't in Thieves with them, Waggy. I wasn't there to end the fucking war. And at the time, I wouldn't have ended it then. But it is what it is. And if Isaac could fucking put that vengeance aside for his father, for his wife, I could do the same for him. But every fucking time I saw you, you gave me the disrespect to act as if I was there, if I had a fucking choice. I didn't. I found out the exact same fucking way as you. Why'd but you, you never do, fucking asked. Why'd you want to do business with the bastards? I didn't want to do... This is where this shit is pissing me off. Because I didn't want business with the fucking bastards. I just didn't want them gunning for me when I was trying to do something out west. What you said it's supposed to be. A fucking and brotherhood. And they wouldn't have gun for you, partner. There they would have. No, if they found no out about Bex, they would have. How would they have found out? I don't fucking know. But what I do partner. know is people find shit out. You know that telegram that I got sent? It said, hey, bastards out west. Not even a name on it. I didn't even know who the fuck it was from. <laughs> Would you believe that? I didn't even know who the fuck it was from. Okay. I, I was like, mm. I was already out west too. I'm like, mm, let me drive. Let me fucking ride by Thieves Landing. Waggy, oh I need God, you to listen found... to me. Go ahead. She was going to go tell them. But she didn't, partner. That's the reason that I'm upset. Because I did. She didn't because I did. Because the way she spoke with Jesse, she was going to get killed if she went and talked to Everett the way she spoke to Jesse. Which is... I'm not going to have my fucking people die over something that I can resolve. She was going to tell them. I did it first, and I made it fucking happen right. So, so no then, bloodshed. So then you kick her out, and now she can die by them anyways. Is she dead? Not fucking yet. They're all locked up, partner. They're all well, in jail. Who's gonna kill her? I don't know, but it's her fucking time to fucking figure this shit out. Because they they weren't gonna kill her for the telegram. I told Jesse it was handled. Told him it was handled. I don't know, partner. I guess I see things differently.
It's because you don't I get the whole picture. You came here with half fucking sides, saying that I fucking snitched That's on right, someone. That's right, which is why I wanted to talk to you. Saying they weren't going to find out. Barney, you admitted were. to snitching. What, what's, a, what's another word for it? What's another word for it? Please tell me. I don't think... I think you need to go figure out what snitching is. Because saving someone's life is definitely not it. Oh well, yeah, you throw him to the wolves, Barner. Did I? You did. You just said you did. You kicked him out. I did. But I also squashed the shit with Jesse. <sighs> if they fucking hunt her, it's for the thousand other things she's out doing. Not because of that. You know Bex and Sam are together, right? I do. I don't think he'd follow you. I don't want... I, I don't... Everyone's out, Waggy. Isaac well, was out happened, when he what, died. What happened to your Western Alliance bullshit? Fuck them. Fuck the West. I gave up when I can't even trust people in my own fucking outfit. I gave up when I, I come out fucking East and I get telegrams from people saying that because I was out East for three fucking days that they want to do me fucking harm. Well, I don't think people can trust you or could trust you in your own outfit either, partner. I think that was a, a two-way room. Good. At least I did them a favor. They can go do shit behind their next leader's back. Fuck them. I'm with Wallaby now. And I'm with Van Horn. You're with Wallaby. Right. Is Alice still here? Not at the moment. I mean, not at the moment. She's not awake? She's not in Van Horn. Why is that? Ask her. I'm here for both sides, right? So you already talked to her? I didn't. What'd she say? She said you came here. And? What happened to Alice, partner? You tell me. You tell me, partner. What's the side you got, Waggy? You got mad with the snitching, you tell me, partner. Bro. Yeah, no. That's gonna fuck up. That Alice just fucked up again. I don't know. He changed them. No fucking shit. I changed like the fucking weather. Why are you here in the east then? He said fuck the west, fuck all that. Why the east? Because for the first time since I joined the Kettleman Gang, the day I went out west was the day that fucking Jack took me in and he showed me that there's people out there that have the same fucking mentality that you do. And he guided me and he showed me how to use my anger, how to use my fucking strengths. And he told me when to fucking not succumb to my weaknesses. And you think Wallaby has the same ideas that I have? What do you mean I that you have? You said there's other people out here that have the same ideals. That I have. Not you. Oh, that you have. And what are your ideals then now? Because I know what they used to be. But what are they now? Van Horn. Your ideals is Van stands Horn. For. That's right. So scheming. If that's what you want to call it, sure. 
I'm a schemer, I'm a snitch. Add it to the list. I didn't call you a snitch. <laughs> I thought we were trying to find a different word for it. Snitch is fine. Snitch is fine, alright. We'll stick with snitch. Please, to spread it. Let the people know. Not to trust me, I'm a fucking rat, snitch, schemer. Is that what Zip thinks? <laughs> it's what you do. Isn't that all that matters right here? I do think that. Then good. Spread the word. Because I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit if Jack came back and called me those fucking things. I don't care if he looked down on me on his little fucking high horse just as you are. I feel like you do, though. I really I feel don't. Like, I feel like deep down you really care. I have never cared about another person's opinion of me, Waggy. I would have changed a long time ago. You know, you left everything a while back to help out Jack and them. I, not to help out Jack. Fuck Jack. I did that to help Alice. There's a reason why when Jack and Mills got in that argument that you and Isaac and every single buddy that was there on that ridge left to go fucking have Jack's back. I stayed with fucking Mills and Alice. There was a reason for that. And now you're mad at her for getting Isaac's blood? You're goddamn right I am. And there's not a single person in this world, you, Wallaby, Jack, fucking my own fucking brother Ollie to tell me that I'm wrong for that. Because I don't give a fuck how many people tell me I'm wrong, I'm going to believe it's right. And I won't listen to people that don't understand what the fuck is going on in my head. I didn't say you were wrong, partner. I am fucking livid at Alice. And the only way that she and I are going to ever fix this is if she walked away that day. Because I was not dealing with that. Because when I got that fucking telegram from Everett, by the way, not Alice, I didn't find out that my cousin was dead from someone that I fucking love. I found out from Everett. When I got that telegram... And what it said in that telegram, it didn't just say that my fucking cousin was dead. It was that my sister and Isaac are both people that I'm going to be mourning that day. And I fucking did. And I still am. What is that even supposed to mean? Mourning both of them. Exactly how it fucking sounds. Oh, you think that's crazy that it's coming from ever, right? That ever crossed your mind? You tell me what? It's not true? Alice didn't go get my blood? My cousin isn't dead? Partner. Was I staring at a, a fake Isaac? I didn't say that, partner. I'm talking about the way the morning bones... That has nothing to do with the fact that the telegram came from Everett. It's what the fucking telegram said. And Alice didn't deny it. Nobody did. That's not what I was saying on that. I'm saying, don't you think it's crazy that that would come from Everett? I'm glad somebody fucking told me. Because earlier that day I was playing chess and drinking and having a good time. All meanwhile, my fucking cousin was rotting on a fucking rock. I was actually meeting your people. Acting as if everything was okay. I was meeting the fellow that just walked away. And having a conversation with him. And Froggy and all them. And then I ride back from that meeting and find out that that fucking happened. I don't think they knew him. No one told I'm, me not, anything. I'm not I'm not saying that that's the issue. I'm saying the issue is is no one else told me that Everett was the first person to tell me. And I had to fucking sit there and do all these meetings. Meanwhile, my cousin was sitting on top of a fucking rock, rotting away. So I don't give a fuck who it came from. Anyone would have been better. But it wasn't. I found out from Everett. And I'm glad I did. Because at least I fucking knew to stop fucking sitting there... Playing fucking chess, acting like everything's okay, and I got to go see my fucking cousin. And I got to go say my goodbye. 
No, I didn't get fucking blood for him. I didn't get my reasoning. And when I was fucking angry at the telegram I was reading, I took it out on Alice. And I have opinions of that, and I'm keeping that to my fucking chest. Why should you? I'm here. I may not see you again in a while. Because uh, I, I, it's not to be spoken out loud. This is for me. We all have our things that we keep on us. You know, that's was asked personally by Scout earlier. It was, was Alice involved? You know, she happened to be there when we were gunning down Jesse. You think, if she, you think if she's not here, she's going to get hurt? I don't have the right to tell her to leave. I wasn't kicking her out of Van Horn indefinitely. And she knows I don't have that right. I just didn't want to see her when I came back. From burying my cousin. If she came back right now and was standing on that balcony, I wouldn't say anything to her. If you want to go tell her that, that's fine. But she knows I don't have the right to kick her out of Van Horn. So what now, Zip? You stay here? You're going to live the rest of your life here doing business? I don't know. But I'm not... I'm not making a decision right now. Other than staying here. Because I feel way more welcome out here than I do in the West. I was asked to come here by multiple people. And I came and it was no longer stress. It was no longer bullshit. That I was dealing with every fucking day out west. Now I know that's not going to last. And there's already been things that have happened here that stress me the fuck out. But honestly, I'd rather be stressed out and welcomed. Than whatever the fuck I was out west. It seemed like everyone was plotting against me out there. Who do you think was plotting against you? I, uh, uh, you're gonna fucking laugh when I say this, but maybe you have more information. There's a gang called the Compilers that showed up one day, five deep in an armadillo with no guns, saying that they're here to kill the king in the west, Zip Quill. The Compilers? The Compilers. And before you ask, no, not the compañeros, the compilers. And so you left because of the compilers? No. That, I got a fucking telegram from you. I got a fucking telegram from... I'm not in the West. Jack. I just didn't want to deal with any of it. Jack who? Jack Gardy? Yeah. A muppet. That's who that is. Don't even get me fucking started right now. You know I talked to him, by the way, and he said he's second generation principal. Jesus Christ. He stop, said, stop he, talking. No, I'm gonna, real quick. No, real quick, no, please, it'll, it'll, I don't wanna, I don't, waggy. I, I, trust me, partner, you're gonna love him. <laughs> so I said, listen, partner, I wanna know your standpoint on uh, on the West and on Thieves Landing. I said, if I go down there to take Everett or take some of the bastards or take some Pavel Muppets, if you're gonna get in my way. And he said, listen, I don't ever like to involve myself, but if I happen to be in Thieves Landing, I will have Everett's back to the end. I said, partner, I'm not there for fucking Thieves Landing. I'm there for the bastard. And he's like, well, bastards are Thieves Landing. And he goes on to say how principal he is and how Jack Kettleman was the leader of the principal. <laughs> and then no one is like Jack anymore. I'm up north now, partner. I wish you would have stopped at the beginning when I asked you to. You know, if I had to sit through it, <laughs> I want you to sit through it and listen to it. I wanted to talk to you because, partner, honestly, I don't really give a fuck anymore. That's was I where I am. Was I upset? Absolutely, I was. 
I'm gonna be real upset too if Bex gets hurt. Not at you, but at some other folk. I'm gonna get real upset if Alex gets hurt. Then you need to talk to them. Because... You need to talk to them. I told Bex to sell, tell Sam to fucking lead his own thing. That he was good at it. And that he'd make a good leader. And I know a lot of people would ride with him. From what I understand, Sam is taking care of Cheddar. And hopefully Cheddar goes with Sam. And they do that shit together. I'm going to ask you just in case. I'm assuming I know the answer, but... Darty proceeded to blow my mind. If I ever... Maybe the bastards are down here, partner, because that used to happen. Bastards were in Van Horn. Are you going to defend them because you're defending Van Horn? If they're in Van Horn, they could defend themselves. But I will say this, that if the bastards are here and someone comes to start trouble, it is not going to be good for the people that come to Van Horn to start trouble. Because Wallabies always welcomed everybody safe haven in Van Horn during wars. Alright. And Pavel. You didn't know he's working with Long. He snitched on the Jolly Rogers to a deputy. And also, he was seen playing chess with the deputy. I know he likes to hang around this spot a lot. We'll see you soon, Zipper. I'm... Yeah, good luck, Waggy. Was this your card? Yes. Are How you sure? You do that. No. Are you actually, sure this was your card? Or are you lying? It it, it it actually wasn't my card. What the Mr. fuck, Millie? Why would you lie to I'm him? I'm sorry. Mr. Kid Country, would you please you raise your to. hat and show the ladies what you have under your hat? How did oh. that get there? Damn. That's actually fucking Was that your car? Ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> That's very impressive. You know that? Maybe you yes. should quit this. Oh, wow. Okay. Who's going to clean that up? I don't know. I guess it'll okay. be me. Oh, yeah. yeah Actually, yeah, here. you're right. <laughs> it's a game we call 52 Pickup. It's right, where well, you pick I guess, up 52 I guess we gotta cards. Go. Have fun. All right, thanks for the magic. You guys Bye, pick Clay. up all those cards and uh, you, telegram Luke. them back. Goodbye, and I'll give you like, my pearl. Bucks. Okay. Okay. What the fuck does he mean by telegram the cards back to him? That's not how telegrams work. Um, I have no idea. So... Let's go to Ansberg. Oh, that doesn't sound good. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, sorry. Is this like uh, we pretend that we're staying in town until they leave and then uh, we this go? This is the ghost leading another fucking conversation. Oh, for Christ's sake. I'm telling you, the ghosts aren't fucking real. If I could see all of the dead people that I've ever fucking lost, maybe I wouldn't be here. I'd be somewhere else, somewhere nicer. Actually, Dakota, get on. Oh. I, I know, but it's just easier to talk. Okay. <laughs> just keep in mind that I am married. It's so. strictly business. I'm, I'm also fucking marriage. married. My marriage is real. Yeah, yeah, my marriage is realer than yours at this point. No, it's not. I have kids with my marriage. I could have kids with mine. It's just never been something that would be beneficial No, you get to time. make up fake kids now, too. No, I forbid it. I'm going to name one Zippy. Okay, I'll allow it. And then the other one's gonna be Zap. Zip and Zap? <laughs> Zippy Zap? Yeah, and then... The third one's just gonna be called Sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I 100% approve and then now encouraging this. Okay. 
<laughs> I'll run it by him. I'll see what he thinks. He says yes because he's fake and isn't real. Right. Congratulations, you have three fake kids named Zip, Zappy, and Sloppy. Or Zippy, Zappy, and Sloppy. Am I not on your horse so that we can have a conversation about this? You're the one. Alright, Millie, unless you want to be bashed with a hammer again, ride up ahead a little bit. Okay. We're already at the tower. Well, I can just go back. I can just go back. No, we My need protection. My is going to be in shambles. I'm never going to recover from this. Okay, serious time. Alice went to Waggy after the Van Horn incident. Okay, that's not surprising. And told her side of the story. Waggy wouldn't go into detail what it was. I did hear about four partners in that mm -hmm. in that ten second thing, but. <laughs> He's, if she gets hurt, he's blaming me. Right. What does he mean by that? I don't know. He says he doesn't want to blame me. But he also ended it with he doesn't give a shit. So I'm actually kind of confused, actually. Why was, what the, <sighs> you, you're, oh, also, you're ruining you, my life and you have no idea why. You should know this. What? I'm a snitch. Um, and... Shit, what's the other one? Um, Did you write it down on your Maybe palm? a Muppet? There was a third oh. one. Um, okay, a partner? A fellow? No, Are you a fellow? No, not partner. No, snitch. Um, Yellow belly? Probably Fairweather, add that to the list. Oh, um, yeah, most likely. Oh, a schemer. I'm a... I'm a... I'm a snitching... Uh, Muppet schemer snitch. Who's that? Huh. Well, Waggy one. Uh, um, I think they all left town already. They left. Out of Van yeah. the other way. Did they leave you? No, I had to take a nap. Oh, so they did leave you? But so they, they did leave asleep. you, but yeah, you were just guess, sleeping? Yeah. Yeah. They went uh, towards St. Denis. I appreciate that. Take care. Yeah. Oh, Waggy well, doesn't take very good care of his people, does he? I <laughs> did Get back on your horse. Take me back to town. Where did Millie go? I don't know. That's a good question. Millie! So, no, we'll sit and actually talk about it in Van Horn. I gotta formulate my fucking thoughts. What gun is that, by the way? Is that a pump action? It is. Why does everybody have one and I don't? I know that I got Wallaby one, but where's mine? I don't know. I'm gonna run back to Van Horn. Actually, I'll walk. Okay. So Just get the fuck on the horse. No. Why, why are you making it weird? Because... Uh, so, I'm married. I can't. But you can ride Wallaby's horse? Listen, that's, that's different. No, I'll get on your horse. It's no problem. You're weird. So, <laughs> Waggy, did he come here to tell you about the fact that Alice went to him, but then refused to tell you what Alice told him about that made him go here? Uh huh? <laughs> wow, I said that out loud and it, it, it makes, okay. What the so, fuck did you just say? So, Alice went to Waggy, spouted. Right. right. Waggy came here. Right. 
told you that Alice spouted. Right. Refused to elaborate and then fucked off. Yeah, but he also did the same about Bex. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's all I have to say. What the fuck does that? What the fuck? Yeah, and then he also told me that Jack is going around saying he's the second generation of principal. Huh? Oh, shit. Okay, uh, one sec. I'll be back. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, yep, just keep running. No, we have the pump right now. Actually, ugh. we could actually use Prim Daddy again. I, I don't know if Jack ever met Jack. I also don't know who would have taught Jack Jack's principles. Okay, so do you have the money or no? Oh. Sorry, I nearly witnessed your murder. No, you... I don't have it on me. Okay, well, I have the ruby, so if you want to go get the 300. I'll be right back then. Okay. Oh, I don't want to get kicked by my own horse. I feel it. No, that's right. for you yes i made a new drink it's called a wild one punch oh you want to try it yes oh also do you have enough room in your pockets for this that's yours i think yes uh, yes, um... I can hold something for you in the meantime, else, unless you want me to hold it still, okay? Ooh. 
What's in this? Uh, it's a can of pineapples and cognac and rum. All right. Wait. Not as good, huh? I want more of these than St. Sinners. Wait, hold on. Those are kind of hard to come by. I, I don't know where to get really get canned pineapples from, you know? Okay. Okay. Dakota, I'm putting a, a $1,000 bounty on 10 cans of pineapples. Um, drummer goes to Gorma and he brings back pineapples for us sometimes. But cans of pineapples? Yeah. Can you buy those in Gorma? Um, I... He gets pineapples from somewhere. I've had them before. Where are you going? Ta taste this. You want me to sip from your drink? Yeah, tilt your head back. What? I am not doing that. Just a little bit. No, I'm going to put my finger in it, and then I'm going to eat it from my respective finger. All right, well, hurry. It's cognac, rum, and pineapple. It is delicious, and it's my new favorite. It it's is... called the Wild One Punch. What the hell? That sounds good. It's okay. Do you like it better than the Sinner Sinner Saint Sinner? I haven't taken a bath today, so all I really taste is finger. Um, maybe she has another. Hold, Millie. Millie peed. Yeah. Do you have another one for Dakota? Uh. I have to go get some more pineapples. Uh, I can go find some. I think they're in Guarma. Can we go to Guarma? Dakota. Yeah. Crumb Daddy. Yes. Millipede's asking if we can go to Guarma. Um. <laughs> Grandpappy and Crumb Daddy are, I think, in the middle of a war against the law, so they might be able to take you to Guarma next week. I um, think. Uh, wouldn't Guarma be safe for the law? Yes. But that would mean that we would leave and I would like to stay here. We can make it like a day trip. Shot. Gorma's not a day trip. Gorma is a tropical island that you have to take a boat to go to. Right. Nobody but no can one ever get surely me knows the full distance. Single day. I'm, I'm never doing that in my life. I don't care how much people ask me to. But when it, what if the boat goes that quick? I, I can tired. go find. I can go find. I know where. So I can go find more. I'll be back. Oh. Hurry! Oh my God, Millipede! What the fuck, murder? What are you doing? You fucking horse. Yeah, well, you you can see where he got his name. Holy shit! Are you okay? There's fuck? a snake coming. No. The, the snake is coming to eat her. No. Get away from me, please. If this starts a war. I was just, I really had to finish the sentence in my book. <laughs> what the fuck?
Ugh. That just sounds disgusting. Fuck away! No! Ah! Making sure that the coast is clear. Thank you. Careful, Pip, where are you? Aww. Cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Not you. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about this. Uh oh. Gently. Oh. oh, thank you. I heard somebody angry outside of the saloon. Oh, I'm sorry, shit. I don't really know medical. No, it's all right. It's, uh, do you have? It's. I just have a. Uh, okay. To the right arm. Just to the right arm. Just what? To the right arm. Uh, just a, a minor flesh wound. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, that, that's easier to uh, tend to. Uh, I'll lose my I'm mind. Pretty sure if I get you up, I can. Uh, can do that yourself. Mm. Zip, I don't know what you're doing, but stop. Jesus Christ. You get, fall asleep and then die. Oh. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Sleep in a fucking corner. Hold on. All right. Oh yeah, you're not. Sorry. It's hoping it's something serious. Because I ain't no doctor.
what um mm. well, okay it's not too bad and uh, missing a yeah I think you should be right I'll let the code Okay. Wait, you should go, go, go try and wake him up. Don't let him, don't let him be asleep for too long. What? No. Come on, get back. Let's go have a sleep. That's the plan. Apparently, you have to wait that is the plan. Okay. Bug or anything. Let's stop that. Um... Or who do I let go? Wow. Come on now, wakey wakey. This is the man that pummeled me off of his horse. Nah. He ran uh, over with good morning, horse. sunshine. Uh, I know it was you. How you doing? In roads. I have some good news and some bad news for you. Which one do you want first? Bad. Maybe he's a different person. You look just like him. A bit of your ear is missing. Uh, good. Huh? I have your money. Uh, where's Dakota? Tell Dakota to help me to my fucking feet. She's busy helping Millie currently. She brought me to a medical office. Okay, well then it wasn't me because I didn't run someone over and take Has Dakota been smoking? Probably remember that. Okay. Um, yeah. Whatever she does in her free time is none of my business. Her voice sounds deeper, is all I'm saying. Oh, it's because there's someone over there that isn't Dakota. Mm, I don't think so. What happened? Was there a Sorry, it doesn't mean to accuse you. My apologies. Okay. It was just, uh, well, it started. I don't remember how it started, but it was. It was it started with murder. Is that his fault? Yeah, his horse I've seen a lot of murder. He started shooting snakes, and then the kid hired somebody to come shoot Vic in the back, and then I'll help Bubbly. Get up. Thank you. Okay, uh. I'm coming, Grandpappy. Oh, yeah, we still have the weed seed. Yeah. Uh, Dakota abandoned me while that I fought not, the entire town. That is not true. <laughs> All I had was a pump and a dirty crumb daddy. My head hurts. After dealing with that, I'm not surprised. Please don't hurt me, sir. Oh. Uh. You're gonna be twins with uh, Sheriff Chef. I want her fucking ear. I guess I can go find it out in the mud. Yes. All right. So what exactly are you gonna do with the ear? You're gonna wear it as like a necklace, or you're actually just gonna sew it back onto your missing ear? Yes. That did not answer anything, but y yes. thank you. Y yes. Uh, okay.
Did you find it? Ow! ow. The, the ear? I'm sorry! Why didn't you warn me you were going to finger my ear? I wasn't fingering your ear. It I'm, hurt. Oh, well, I'm sorry. It's delicate right now, Millie. Oh, I tried my best to be gentle. <sighs> All right, get up now. Uh, find hey, that uh, fucking ear. Oh, well, I'll find it. That's my first task. I'm gonna be French Zip. Bonjour. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, these damn horses. It's mine. Thank you kindly. Yeah, if you need more, just let me know. I currently uh, don't need much other than some sort of sanity to, to make it all the way down to New Austin. That's going to be a fun trip. Oh. That's how I it? feel. This is not my problem. It's because Archie bit her fucking ear off today. And now this happened. And I shot Sax's leg off and now my leg got shot off. Everything happens. It happens back. It's, yeah. But you also tried to dome a snake with a pump action shotgun 15 times. <laughs> Fucking Millie. Interesting. Millie, goddammit. What? Your horse started it. Did someone clip Millie getting fucking yeeted out of Only existence? Speaking of horse, where's mine? <sighs> Do you want to kill murder? No. Lesson That's two. No, Kill I the think... fucking horse when it's deserved. No, don't do it. Murder in the third degree, here we come. I love no. that horse. Oh, don't do it. But I he hurt you. It. No, stop. Please, Zip, please, I can't run. Please, don't do it. Murder. Check this out. <laughs> okay, now you're just now you're just showing off. Please, don't do it. Ow. Check that oh. out. Oh, okay, don't I deserve not... that. Oh, don't hit my ear. Gunfire. I killed fire. everyone. What do you mean, mean a full gun fire? All right. You don't. put the barrel to his eye hole. Don't do it. Zip, please don't do it. Please, Zip, don't do it. Uh, 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 uh. Where are you going? Just uh. around. Yeah, it doesn't help oh. now, huh? Get off. Nope. Get off. Nope. Not until Millie, Millie shoots out. my horse. Get off. No, you're going to make me fall. I can't hold on. I'm losing Get balance off. from the ear. Uh, stop. Uh. Uh. This is abuse. Millie, kill murder. No, I'm You're not. Get her to kill your horse? No, I can't. Um, nightmares. Can you do it? I kind of want to see you do it. What? Don't do this to me Give right her the now. Pump no. And make her Stop kill the it. horse. Don't do this. Okay. Oh, My this is symbolic. Me from daddy one away. No, I can't do it. No. Do it. What the fuck? Are you all a crazy? We, yeah. We'll take it out of town. We'll let it like eat a flower or something, and then you. Oh, I like that. Come on. No, y'all crazy. What about a little murder? Do you know how to load a pump action shotgun? No, but is it gonna throw me back like that elephant thing? No. Do you want blood for blood? Well, yeah, but I don't want to hurt your horse. I like, I like murder. Uh, sidebar. Okay. If I force her to kill the horse, then I'd be a hypocrite because then I'm forcing her to take blood that she doesn't want and I'd be pissed if that happened. And it's kind of like... I want to kill murder for hurting her, but she has the right to do it. And it kind of makes me realize the whole Alice situation. 
Oh. You're right. Fuck. Shit. Oh, what fuck if we it, take I'm a hypocrite too. Okay. I'm a I'm a scheming muppet. That's right. Uh, uh, hypocrite. Add it to the list. All right, you're killing real, the horse. Real what? quick, do you like murder as in like the act of murdering somebody, or murder the horse, or both? Well, I've only killed one person, remember? And uh, the I'm I like murder your oh, horse. Oh, she did. She did shoot that guy twice with the. Oh yeah, rifle. I forgot about that. Yeah, and then I think we made her cut him open and look yes. at where the heart and organs are. Mm -hmm. The thyroid. We, we really. The, the, the sidebar right. yep wait there get the pump ready maybe polish it off i want to make her cut the horse open and climb inside of it oh my god i do love murder the horse as well as the act and i, I can we do it to a different horse um as punishment for not killing murder yeah, we'll give her two options. Options: she either kills murder, or we take a local's horse and we make her climb inside of it. What if we don't tell her what the second option is? Okay, we'll say, "Oh, Millie, you can either kill murder, or we have a surprise." Yeah, I like that. Okay, and sidebar. Okay, we've come to the conclusion we care about you a lot. Thank you. And you're our little millipede. Uh, like so, a little bug. So we're going to give you the choice to not kill murder and you get a surprise or you kill murder and it's done. Wait, what's the surprise? It's a surprise. I can't tell you until you choose. It could what? be $1,000. It could be ten. It could be the pump you're holding to keep. It could be my favorite pocket watch that I got from a dead deputy. It could be my punishment room that I got from a dead deputy. The same dead deputy, by the way. I... We were okay, friends. Okay, so it's always a good surprise. We were friends. Um, I mean, it could be something bad. It could be mm -hmm. like uh, you have to kill an animal. Or eat well, I don't... that guy's kill... foot. I can kill an animal. I just don't want to kill murder. Is, is that the choice? Oh, shit. Uh, You're the one that wanted something bad. We had a different surprise in mind. You're the one that went straight to bad. Well, I can't help it. But I just go back to the first night in the cave. So what do you want? Uh, I don't <laughs> want to kill murder. I want the surprise. Okay. Hey, yay, murder yay. gets to live. Oh, Come with God. us. You're going to need the pump still, so hold on to that. Oh, shit. Wait. Uh-oh. Hop on. Up, up, up. Meet whatever this horse. What's this horse's name, Dakota? Give it a name. Um, name it, because it's always better. Bishamel sauce. Bishamel sauce. You like that name, Millie? Uh, no. Okay, that'll probably help. All right, should we just do this at the stables? It's raining too, which is perfect for this oh, plan. Yeah. It'd be nicer if it was like a sun setting or something like that. We could we'll wait do it behind the stables. All right, Millie, this is significantly worse than just killing murder, by the way. What am I doing? Um, should we tell it to her in steps as she finishes uh, one yeah, step? Yeah, in steps. In steps. Okay. We'll do it right here. We're going to use some of your experience you've learned here in not only killing, but dissection. Oh, shit. I'm going to actually get sick. <laughs> I will All right. probably move your horse if just I don't want your horse to see this. Oh, it, 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 yeah. Well, murder is seen worse, and plus murder can eat the scraps. Okay, so first okay. off, kill the horse. Shoot it in the head. Pet it, look in its eyes, and then kill it. Tell it how good he is. Mm -hmm. And then probably, like, whisper oh, something to it that says, sauce, I'm so not a bad good. person, I just have to um, do bad things. I'm Give it a kiss on the neck. <clears throat> uh. Uh. Yep, yeah, that's right. Aww. Uh, best meal sauce. You are a good horsey. Yes. Do you like it? Uh. <laughs> <That's so funny>. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, but you like have to die. Like the horse, do you like the horse? Oh my god. Smile, smile when you do it. Wait, you say aim right between the eyes, right? Yeah, but smile. She smiles just like you. Oh, he, oh I'm Loud sorry. Loud and proud. Pull the trigger. Do it. Oh my fucking god. Perfect. Oh. Uh. That's sad, isn't it? Okay. Now you're gonna make an incision. Yeah, come here. What? A human-sized incision. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm gonna actually get sick. I'm like gonna get from sick. The, the insides first, are gonna tumble you out. You do between the like in the chest cavity, all the way to the, to the. You know. Oh. And well, I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh. Uh, you have to. Why do I have to? It's already dead. Because there's more steps. Okay. Um. Okay, so from the, the chest all the way down? Mm -hmm. In between Poor the, fucking the Millie, ball, man. Like the collar area. From the, the little... In between one leg to the other end. Okay. Uh. <laughs> this is kind of gross. I'm gonna actually barf. And get in. What? No, you are crazy. No, this is not a surprise. This is insanity. This, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm not getting inside. Do you want me to get inside the damn horse? Sidebar. What are the consequences if she doesn't do this? I don't think there are any. I think we're just seeing if she would do it. Do you have a hammer? No. You're not going to beat her again. No, I think if just one of us pulled out a hammer right now, she would totally get in that horse. You think? 100%, yeah. You're doing, you're, you're doing great, Millipede. Yeah, you're doing good. Good job. Okay. What are you I don't have a hammer. What am I supposed Shit. to be doing right um, now? I'm literally standing in a pile of let's, let's, intestines. That's right. You're doing... Good job. Um, make hammer like hand signals. Uh... Oh. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Like I'm hammering something? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, Millie, do you have a hammer? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, no relation. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, can I have room. it? It's in my hotel room. Oh. oh. Alright, go back to the sign language. I'm trying to keep it far away from Zip. Okay, uh, you just want to yeah, walk for that. <laughs> You're doing great. I just, yeah, she, that's actually really just make smart. a hammer, <laughs> just, a hammer gesture. Just make hammer gesture, stare in eye hole to eye hole. Okay. And then I'll just point at the guts. I'll make like <laughs> a human getting inside of a horse body. And then what if she still doesn't do it? Um, tell her to go get the hammer. 
And then what if she still doesn't do it? Are we gonna hammer her again? We can't just hammer her again, Zip. That's not how this works. No, that will be the end of the surprise. Okay. We'll give the hammer back to her. Okay. And just be like, just kidding, little champ. Okay. Okay. All right, you ready? Uh-huh. Perfect. Um... Uh, is this the part you tell me that this is Wallaby's horse? No. Okay, thank God. Um. What? What are you doing? I think. What is happening? Who just frowned? Oh. Um, I think you could stop. Okay. Go throw up or something. I've already thrown up everything I have inside me. Okay, breathe. Ugh. Oh. I'll be alright. I'm okay. just breathing in you a are... pile of intestines. You're very close to your objective. You know what? No, you're fine. I'm gonna go make sure Dakota isn't gonna jump into the water and just drift away. Okay. You did great, little champ. That was, was sad. Building a fake birdhouse? Yeah. Why, because no one built a birdhouse with you? And you no. always want to build a birdhouse? Imagine building something so nice that something peaceful and sweet actually wants to live there. Are you saying we should build a home for Millie? Kinda, yeah. We should build her something nice. She's really, we, I think we fucked up. I life. think, I think, yeah, I think. <sighs> I mean, maybe she's a better person than us. Duh. I didn't think we were keeping that one secret. Yeah, but like, maybe she's a better person to the place where she can never, ever, ever stoop to our level. 
Yeah, because I'd get in a horse in a heartbeat. I wouldn't. Oh, when? Um. What do we do? I I don't know much about building a house. Give her your horse. Which one? Murder. Oh, yes. That'll make her feel better. Okay. I think she ran away. Oh. Maybe it's for the best. Probably, yeah. I hope she never comes back. This may have been the straw that broke the camel. Or the horse's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Zim. Thank you. I thought of it right now at this okay. moment. Okay. Well, it was nice while we knew her. Well, we have to walk back now that okay. she killed your horse. Oh, well, shit. You know, she agreed to torture and murder, so I'm wondering why the horse was the line. That's, I, I mean, she definitely did both of those things. She just didn't get inside of it, which, you know. No, yeah, that's true. People are weak. Hey, look, a snake. You think I can fit inside the snake? Uh, probably your leg. The fake one? Maybe it could be like a stump cover. Let me just Drop make an incision. Oh, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Millie is such a good assistant. I agree. She brings me hair pomade, alcohol, food, banana bread. Sucks ammo. she might never come back. You know she kept a crate of ammo in our hotel just for us to protect ourselves in Van Horn? Oh, really? Yeah. That it's crate sweet. of ammo that was outside the hotel, that was from her. The man at the bar carved me a wooden elk. Creep. I don't think it's creepy. I'm... What, and playing with his wood in front of you? I don't put it that way. You've already spread enough harmful rumors for that man. He, you're gonna get him fucking killed, you know that? What guy? Mackenzie. Oh, he's the one that did that? Mm-hmm. And what do you mean I spread it enough rumors that it's gonna get him killed? That I wanted to go look at him in the bath or something like that, and that he... I didn't even a, say that. Did. Oh, who did? I don't know, but that one wasn't me. I've only okay. said facts. That's not a... Okay, you know what? Never mind. What? Did you not feed him with a peanut I, in I your hand? I did do that. I did do that. Right. I would never lie to hurt you, Dakota. Do you mean that? Yes. I just assumed that everybody somehow was attempting to hurt me one way or another. Dak you're legitimately my best friend. Aw, thanks. Why are you acting surprised? I've, I told you this like a hundred times. I think I have problems believing people when they actually care about me. Oh my god, my heart's about to sink. Where's Millie? Maybe she actually left. What have we done? No. I'm gonna kill fucking Mackenzie. What did he have to do with this? If I can't have my assistant, you can't have your pet. Hey, oh. Okay. He's not really my pet. I'm just trying to extort him. For you put him in a cage and you feed him. Yeah, because he's like a prisoner. He's not my pet. You play with him. You have him make you wood things. That sounds like a prisoner. God damn it. I'm going to lose my shit. Millie? She's not here. What do we do? We lost our assistant. Give up on fucking life. That's what we do. Is this what happens when you push people when they're not ready? They just leave? I'm a failure. It's not it's not your fault. It is. 
Is but it? how did we know that that was gonna happen? I think it's for the best, honestly. I need to send a I don't break up with you telegram. Okay. I'm in a fort. She actually leaves. Leaves. We're gonna have to hunt her down and kill her because she knows too much. No. Whoa, what the hell? Zip. That's what the test kind of seals. But what does she know? I don't know. Enough. Too much. No, thing. she knows just as much as Mackenzie. Millie. Oh, thank fucking Christ. Millie. Oh, Jesus Christ. Millie, thank We're God. To kill you. You can't run away like that. Why do you have your knife? I was inside the horse. What? Get on my horse. Okay. Oh my fucking Christ. No, Dakota, with me. Wrong? Hold this. Don't run away or anything because you have about. In my value, you have about 20 grand of weapons on you. <laughs> well, okay, I'm not gonna run, I promise. Uh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Make sure she signs that, or else it doesn't mean nothing. What is it? That's murder. What? Yeah. You're giving me murder? Murder in the second degree. Really? Yeah, murder one died. Go talk to the stable master. Oh. Wait, are you sure? Yes. Uh, I would hug you, but I'm covered in blood. It's Thank fine. You. you could here. It's an everyday thing for me. Oh my god, you smell like shit. Uh, Maybe yeah, take sorry. that bath okay. before riding him. That's sweet. But I tore her bathe. I know. Doing us all a fucking favor. I chose. I, uh, I fucked up. Why? I chose a snake over 50 raffle rounds.
Make sure you keep the name the same. Murder second degree. I did. You know, the day that Wallaby gave me Duke, I cried. You think she's going to cry? Uh, no, I think that... Well... Did he think he climbed a horse for it? No. <laughs> It would have been funny if he did. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. Surprise. See. Yep, surprise. Uh, that was my surprise. Yep, I it is now. Crawl inside a horse? Yes. Oh, shit. Have you crawled inside a horse before? I did it for my No, I shouldn't say that. I didn't do it for my horse. Um If you want me to, I can. No, no, it's okay. Well, I would yeah, I don't care. Uh, do you want your 20,000 in guns back? Um Probably a good idea. Okay. I need to buy a horse, I think. Oh, what? What? Oh, you can have... You can have Pixie? Uh, no, you keep Pixie. Okay. Um, Gilbert should have something. I just need time to put the guns on right now. Ooh, murder or fucking oh, here we go. Okay. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and gi yeah, go ahead and give me the guns. Manslaughter would be dope. Tenfold it up, dude. I'll, I'll take these right back. Okay, I think I need to give you your uh, bolt action back. The pump. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, that. Oh, also, um... Yes? I sort of, uh, uh, do you have maybe, uh, by chance a non-valuable Lancaster that doesn't look like it's, uh, a flashlight on my back? Um, what does or, yours look like? Oh, it's, are you, are you sure talking you about... you want to see that again? It, it's the one, it's, right? It's the one that looks like Grandpa B. Crumb Daddy and West Dick. Uh, um, if you have a, like, a non, uh, or the next time somebody gives you one, maybe I could have it. Or I could just go buy one. Okay, Millie, I'm gonna teach you a very, very important lesson. Okay. You'll never buy another gun in your life. If you want a gun, you take it. Oh. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with manslaughter. We're gonna have to go get the thousand out of the bank real quick. I how long have you been working with me? A week. I want you to know that you've gotten paid like four grand in one week, three grand in one week, something along those lines, right? Um. Like horse deed. Yes. That's why I said I can go buy a gun. You're not a outlaw until you have one of these on your back, Millie. Oh. When I first became a kettleman, that's what was given to us. And then Jack switched up and gave me a bull action and said, but the first time I ever got a lawman gun was for someone that I looked up to, someone that taught me things. That not many people could teach. 
Or at least teach well. All right. I found myself a horrible leader. But I'm going to do my best in... I don't know. Teaching you things. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I do hope you know uh -huh. that we kind of adopted Millie. Zip, I'm not co-parenting with you. You need to fucking co-parent with me. No, I don't care about Zippy Zappy. You don't have to call it. No, no, no. I'm not co-parenting with you. We don't have to call it that. Wait, Dakota. Nothing. It's nothing. There's nothing. You're her crumb daddy. What? I'm, what? I'm gonna let you head back and take a bath. Okay. Yes. I can't do this alone. You just gave the woman permission to. You, you're a. You're a fucking. You're a father now. I don't know. Do I, something. I know, but listen, listen to me, okay? You were trained by Tommy Two Snakes and oh Wallaby. Oh my god! Don't even. I was okay. Tommy Wallaby. Didn't fuck okay. Off me, so okay. Kill me. Okay. Wallaby. Right. Sure. I was trained by Jack. Sure. Imagine the product we can make, Millie. Zip, I think that you carry a lot more traits of Jack Kettleman than I do. Richard Eastwick. Either way, imagine. Imagine what she'd be capable of. She'll outlive us both. It's just you teach her your wisdom and I'll teach her mine. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I can't believe she got into the fucking horse. I didn't. I didn't actually I, think she would. I. You know what? Neither did I. It, it's almost fucked up that when she did get in the horse was after I told her she didn't have to. That's a good point. Yeah, but we won't talk Somebody about that. In town. How many? There's who? Just one. I thought I, I saw him walk into the saloon. She has a little scout in her. <laughs> Get it? Gross. I mean, yeah, that's right. And they're having an affair. No, like, no, oh. like she scouted Dakota. <laughs> I thought you would sound different. Dakota. I swear to God, there was. I'm not lying. They were wearing all blue. Yeah. Blue's my favorite color. Oh, there they are. See? It's... I don't even know if I can say this out loud. It sounded like... It came from a back alley, and I thought that it was one of the regular women that lurk <laughs> around the streets. Th thank I, thank I, you. I worded that very carefully because I didn't want to say you sounded like a prostitute, but that's what I meant. Uh, th thank, thank you, Dakota. I'll take it as a backhanded compliment. Yes. Yeah. I think you should. So what the what the hell happened with these locals? They shot at us, and we shot at them. Oh, okay. All right. Them, I just, I had just ridden into town, and uh, yeah, it was okay. And no one else was here, so. Well, it's uh -huh. nice to see you all. 
This is Millie. She just climbed inside of a dead horse for literally <gasps> no reason. Millie, hi. <laughs> we we met uh, late one night in in Rhodes. Oh, uh, fuck. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Oh, well, it's fine. No, it's fine. I just I just passed a message on for you for from Crumb Daddy and Grandpappy. Oh. Yes, I remember you now. <laughs> she wouldn't tell me that you guys lived in Van Horn. Oh. Good. I, that's what we asked. Good. Then, yeah, that's good. I uh, yeah, I guess I'm sorry, Millie, now that you know. No, no, no. You both did good. Yes. Oh. Well, thank you. Thank you, Yes, Zip. no, you're fine. Yeah. Um, sidebar. Okay. All right. When do we test mag Magna... Mag... Uh... Mag, uh, Madagascar. Um, never, because she's not going to be involved in our personal business like Millie is. Yeah, but I can't hammer her? No. For the principal? she's a civilian of Van Horn. Or is she a civilian? I mean, Give a civilian me an doesn't... hour and I'll have her cutting up a horse and getting inside of it. That just means a criminal, Zip. Criminals can still be civilians, I think. A civilian just means that you live within the... Confines state? of pussiness? What the fuck? No, no, ain't nobody living in... <sighs> Never mind. Alright, you, um, you, you take care of this. I need what? to go piss out back, and then I need to go check I pissed programs. all over your room, by the way. Ow! I was taking a fucking drink! Come here, you fucking... You pulled a gun on me? Ow! Stop! <laughs> I, I was gonna say something that I can't what? say. What? What? Say it. I'm gonna whisper it to you. Chat, you what? can't hear this. Okay. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. I'm taking a piss. I will be right back, chat. Um... I'm just gonna put on some random video. I'll be right back. It's wild how we started and where we are now, isn't it? That day in the desert, asking for tonics. I'm riding with you, Zip. It's not too late to do right, Zip. You're a piece of shit, Zip. This is a message to you. Please, Zip, I swear to God. And the entire fucking please, department. Don't. No, please, Zip. Zip. Don't do it. What? Zip. You know, more than anything, you are enemy number one. I'm not enemy number one. Right, right now. You definitely are. <laughs> yeah, everybody honestly. Yeah. Is that you or am I just seeing things? Only blood washes out dishonor. Isaac, Barton, Rowan, Daza, Jonesy, Danya, Indy, we are the fucking quills, and we will die the fucking quills. It was a running joke, you know, that Zip was a lunatic. Crazy made no sense. But sometimes that's what it's like when you can see what nobody else can. There's a reason why everyone in the crossing is trying to get us to separate.
to end. To die out. And it's because we're becoming dangerous. What the fuck is this? They're just following us. Let's just start off with a fucking hello. A Did you try to kiss Dakota? Howdy, zip. Howdy, motherfucker. But something I can do is commission my own molten fucking lead or whatever the fuck you use to block my fucking barrel and my cylinder. And I can pour that on your fucking wife's head and watch her fucking scream. I'll get fucking time, Sam. But that time in Siska, even if I get that fucking noose, you will have to see your fucking wife with the new crown that I bestowed upon her fucking head because of your goddamn fucking choices. You recognize this gun zip? I do. Did I just get asked if I kissed Dakota? What the fuck did I just hear? Oh, how'd, he, how'd you like Hello, your wheel? You didn't answer me. I feel that you were kind of contemplating whether or not you wanted to say yes or no, but I asked it. Well, this might be awkward if I ask you now. I can step. I can step aside. No, yeah. go ahead and ask. Oh, hold but... on. Uh, well, uh, I mean, uh, what? Uh, yeah, I heard it too. You better go check on that. Yeah, thank you. Did okay. you try? 
did you, did you walk Dakota down a dark alley and uh, force her to the wall and and try to kiss sweet her? Nothings? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's guilt. That's guilt. If I ever seen one. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't know what to. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I, <laughs> Dakota. It was to me. It was to me. Dakota. I don't know who told you that. Dakota. Yes. Stop running. Why? Because it's it's. Uh, I just want to talk. I just no, want to talk. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't want to talk. You want to. I would have tackled you already. See? Okay, that's S true. You see how easy it is? <laughs> Sir, stop. Why are you going? Take that off. No. Take that off. Why are you telling Ugh. Millipede and Madagascar that I went and fucking pushed you against the wall? And what? whispered sweet nothings to your what? ear and kissed you. See how defensive he's been, Millie? Who threw those details in? <laughs> I think that that... I think his so overabundant to... defense yeah. is guilt. Oh my god. Which one of you started this rumor? No, it wasn't me. It was... I no, swear. come on, <laughs> You said it. Zip tried to kiss you. Okay, I did say. <laughs> okay, but maybe it was just a joke, you know? And just then you joking. went, then you went and stood on the wheel of shame for like five minutes. That's right. I was pissing. I, oh my lord, I did not notice that. Okay. Sorry. Okay, listen. Listen. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Listen, I can explain. <laughs> it's not funny. I shouldn't laugh. This is a serious matter. I shouldn't be throwing around these accusations. But after what you said to me in the back alley, I felt like I felt like I needed to. I did not. <laughs> so I just said that. <laughs> I said that you you tried to kiss me in the back alley. <laughs> I have a feeling, Dakota, that could get me killed in this town. No, I, I don't think so. It was a joke. That's all. Nothing. Okay, I'm telling. I'll, I'll I'll just go ahead and tell Scout and Pete and Wallaby that you you, you I'll do the reversal. No, that way. you okay, push me on, against the wall and kiss me. That's I'm sure it'll be true. fine, right? Everything will be a okay. You're right, you're right, you're right. No, no issues coming up there. You're right. Okay, wait. We need to have a sidebar now because I might have discovered something. Okay, go on. We have to go to the lighthouse. Come with me. Wait, hold on. First, I want this box. Actually, no, I don't. Have them carry it. You're right. Can one of you take oh, this box this into is, town? That's right. No, this Millie, is, you've done enough. The, uh, this is the last box. Marigasket, can you grab this crate and bring it down? What? what Millie climbed into a dead horse, okay? Oh, that's okay. I can do it. It's fine. Can, can well, I look you know, the civilians oh, should yeah. start earning their place here, if I'm being oh, honest. Oh, it's empty. Let's not go all the way to the lighthouse. It's it's shitty. Okay, I agree. All right, we'll stand in front of this Van Horn sign. No, it's we'll actually a here. pretty nice sign. I never yeah, noticed I mean, it before. Yeah, this looks good. Do you think the law put this up when they were here earlier? Probably the like city people made it. Do you like no, my it's box? the law trying to. Okay, sidebar. Fuck off. Oh we're having a sidebar. <laughs> okay. Where do you want me to put this side damn side thing? Just somewhere in town. Anywhere, anywhere right. in town. Millie knows where. All right. You know how you just said that you wanted to adopt her or like have like a parental relationship? Yes. I don't think that's gonna happen for you. Why? I think that she's sweet on you. What? I think that she's sweet on you. She, when I made those accusations that were completely untrue, and I was just retaliating for the comment that you were going to make to me, she got it. She got very frazzled by it, and she went, "Wait, what?" And then she she attempted to go accost you in the in the back alley. So good luck with that. All right, all right, we have to fix this. Okay, do we have to fix this now, or can we make like a long con plan about it? I, I don't think I can long con. We need to have a sit down with Millie, but I need to check telegrams. Okay. We'll do it later. Okay. Tomorrow, maybe. All right. 
This uh, my claim accusation. I realized that that could backfire and possibly maybe have you uh, it, saved in. So it, it would be worse if it was reversed, it. right? Um, if it was, it was you that pushed me up against the wall and kissed me. I think that you would die in both scenarios. Yes, but you would die in one of them as well. I don't know. Maybe not by a certain someone, but by a certain someone. That's my horse. He's kind oh. of an asshole, so, you know, just be aware of that. I, I'm, I'm not used to let go of murder yet, and this kind of looked like murder. I, uh, oh. uh... We're going to telegrams. I should probably check mine, but you guys can go ahead. No, no, it, anyone can come. Eh, why not? Millie, hop on real quick. We okay. should talk. About what? Are you in love with me? What? <laughs> Ew. No, sorry, not you. Oh, oh stop. That, no, that's good. That's oh, good. Stop. That's that's <laughs> good. No, 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 no. You don't know how good that is. That's good. Oh, that's okay. good. No, that's good. No, you have a wife. Exactly. You're, you, you, you should mention your husband for, before my wife. Okay, yeah, and I have a husband. I said that. Right. I should also clear up. And I love my wife. And Millie probably doesn't give a shit about her husband. You all are, you all are married. I'm just an observer. <laughs> hey, we're married, okay, lady? Yeah. <laughs> Dakota said you were jealous. I was kissing her in the alley. Well, I didn't say what that. the I said fuck? Frazzled. I was just, I was a little bit concerned because I know y'all are married. Do you have daddy issues? Me? Yes. Okay. Well, you actually, yeah, you seen the type. Never mind. You crawled into a dead horse. Millie, why did you do that? I think that's parent issues altogether, honestly. I don't I think, think that's so, just yeah. zoned to well, daddy. Listen. That's a whole family of trauma to climb inside a dead horse. I think I think this whole like, you know, experience that I'm going through right now is really just uh I'm trying to prove myself that I'm more than just a shit shoveler at Emerald. Um, you killed somebody and then defiled his body with an elephant rifle. I did. You are definitely bigger than Emerald. Do you see Mackenzie and how he cowers behind a bar? Yeah, I don't wanna be like that. That's Emerald. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. Damn it. Alive. I tried to explain the situation. It was nearly killed before I could even Speaking finish of the story. Mine's gonna be coming back in about a month, I think, or less. I we don't know to. yet. I'm sorry for your loss. All right, Zoe, you want to fucking play games? Congratulations. What just happened? Uh, oh, she walked away. Oh. That's uh, I said. My husband's gonna be here. In like a month or less. That that's very nice. How Thank long has you. it been since you? How long has it been since you seen him? About a month. Oh, all right. Yeah, his brother died. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Me too. I feel bad for him. Well, at least you'll see him again. That's some silver lining. Yeah, that's right. And Maybe if we sit... Oh, go ahead. I just, I, I have to send him $600. Oh. To, to get a ticket here or something? No, to help pay for a funeral and so he doesn't starve. Mm. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I normally feed him. I wonder how annoyed Zip would be if we just keep talking right by him while he's reading telegrams. Oh shit, sorry. 
<laughs> oh, you're fine. I tune you guys out very easily. <laughs> Hefty, hefty, heavier. Appreciate. Sure. I think it's Julian. I think it's tenfold. Yeah. What rank is Hooper? A senior? De 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 what the fu Detective? I don't know. I think he's a senior deputy. Senior detective? Apparently, Zoe can't meet me because I'm wanted. Oh, Zoe Winters? Yeah. But then, Hooper met me would... Am, am I not that wanted? You have to be more wanted than I am, right? You ask a deputy. I don't like talking to those types of people. You just met with Hooper. Yeah, I like him. I just don't really... I mean, it's all the same, right? Is it a good or bad meeting with Zoe? Because maybe I can get her to meet you. Or at good. least have well. her meet me and... You can you do that? Saunter in. Yeah, I don't know if I have her telegram though, but. It's LK969. Now, would it be suspicious if I just telegrammed her now, asking her to meet up? Because. Yeah, consider... but not from Ansberg. Alright. Go to San Denis and send it. Oh. Howdy. Go to San Denis and send him. Say you have information regarding. Uh, is she on duty? I don't know. Does she? Are you like? Is she close enough to meet with you? I think she would. She she and I get along. All right. Ask her to meet you at just the, just somewhere in San Denis to make her feel safe. It'll lower her guard. Yeah. Okay. Just no. say the best deal. Can you meet? Uh, can you meet me at the best deal? Now the question is, is this a bad or good meeting on your she, part? She will not be harmed. Alright. All or right. hurt or anything like that. Can and I I'll have... make it I'll just walk into the bar and I'll say, excuse me, can you give us a minute? And then you just leave. Alright. Alright, All right. I'll see what do I do. Do you have the telegram? L D nine six nine. I thought you said L K. 
Oh, no, LK is my wife. LD. Lil Dick. <laughs> nine right. six nine. Okay, uh, what's your telegram so I can let you know? RK sixty nine nine. Real kinky sixty nine nine. Okay, I'll send you one if she agrees. Or you could just come back and say oh. she's on her way. All right, I'll do that. All right. Are you coming with me? Uh, no. I was gonna say I should go to sleep so I stop causing problems for us. Oh, you mean spreading rumors that I fucking tried to kiss you in yeah. a dark alley? Yeah. You fucking asshole. <laughs> That's funny. But. Do you have to go to bed? Honestly, I probably should. Okay. I'll I have bring a lot Millie. of paperwork to fill out. About what happened here today? What are you, a fucking deputy? No. Why don't you be honest and say you're going to go in and practice chess? Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that either because tomorrow I'm going to come out of that hotel room still not good at chess. I feel All like right, even if you did... My taxes. There's no way you have a positive bank account. I have to sort through my linens. I should be asleep too, but if I have an opportunity to meet with Zoe tonight, I want to get that done. I have to dry my sage. What? That sounds weirdly sexual. Okay. Well, I'll leave it at that then. Don't leave it at that. I'm going to go dry somebody else's sage. I'm going to not go to bed. Alright, good luck. Don't get arrested. If I do, it's your fault. Okay. Thank you. Do you want to be a bartender? Because you don't have to do that, by the way. Well, I'm just making all the St. Sinners right now. I should probably sleep, what? but... Is that right? I mean, yeah, that's fine. I'm just saying, if you don't want to bartend, you don't have to. You're, you're bigger than that. Oh, no, I don't mind doing it. Gives me stuff to do in between. Uh, okay. Um, we're going to have to have a sit down with Wallaby, you and I. Okay. And you have to tell him about your husband. Okay. See, Millie, that test was to bring you into the fold in things, and you've been riding with us and getting information on things. And if you think that this was a place to stop from becoming bored while someone was away, that's not how this is going to work. Oh, I understand. Okay. If you want your husband to be around Van Horn, you need to talk to Wallaby. I understand. Okay. I don't. I haven't told my husband anything. I just told him that I, I'm an assistant. Good. That's all he'll ever have to know unless he agrees. I mean, I did tell him that I moved my hotel from Rhodes to Van Horn. Is that bad? No. Does he know okay. what Van Horn is? I don't think so. Well, did you know what Van Horn was? No. 
Okay. So here's the other thing. If you do say you could trust him, and he could be around you for these talks, you know what's going to happen, right? Well, he's going to have to be tested. And you know who's going to be testing him. Is that me? Yes. Just because I'm the one that wanted to bring you in. I had to be the one to test you. All right. Um. Uh. I think. Okay. Well, we, uh, maybe we should, can we just, you know, I have time, right? Like, uh, to, uh, we, uh, I have time, right? Time to, to uh, kind of, you know, think about this uh, while he's away. I mean, you have a month. Okay. But don't try to run away. Why well, no, you have to kill me. And him. Well, sure, I understand. But I can really assure you he doesn't know anything. I want you to know, Millie. That I'm starting to care for you a lot. And I think so are other people here in this town. And unfortunately, people like me and the others here in this town care could turn to anger and hatred very fucking easily. Because when you feel wronged by someone you care for, It elevates those emotions tenfold. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. I think so. Okay. But you got a new horse today. That's good. I did. Uh, thank you. Uh, by the way, you didn't have to do that. No, Sid would never really fucking hammer Andy. That. I did. Well, if you if you if you ever want murder, Becky, I, I understand. But I I I do I do love her. But her. I didn't check under the carriage. Whatever you want her to be. It's her. Lady murder. Lady murder. Yeah, no, Zip would tell whoever right. told her to, yes. or him to hand Oh, well, thank you for fucked. Lady Murder. You're welcome. Uh, did you get your, your jobs done that you needed to today? What do you mean, jobs? We went to St. Denis. And then everything hit the sky. Uh, howdy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, I think so. I do, I think I, oh, um, I just need to buy a new horse, but I'll do that tomorrow. Oh. We're going to be meeting Zoe Winters tonight. What? We're going to try to, at least. Okay. You're gonna kill your first deputy. No, I can't. No, no. Really? You really wait, think? Uh, wait. What do you mean, no, no? Explain. I. You want me to kill Zoe? I. I mean. 
mean, I don't know. Uh, that's kind of a big deal. Like, maybe we can start from, like, you know, t tinier type of person that doesn't really mean nothing. You know, like that guy right there. I can kill him. I don't know, I just don't think I'm ready for something like that, but, I mean, if you need me to, I'll, I guess I'll do it. I just might need your help. Okay, I'm just kidding. Are you sure? I am. We're just gonna have a talk with her. Okay. There's yeah. gonna become a day where you kill a deputy, though. Well, I understand. So, whatever you need to work through, get that shit over with. I think I just need to uh, maybe yeah, kill some more locals and uh, nope. prep. What? We'll go, we'll go get you the bottom of the food chain. Okay. You're going to kill a ranger tomorrow. Okay. All right. Uh, why do I have to do this? Uh, is it to prove me you something? I understand. I understand. I just, I guess, I want a meaning behind it. I don't know. You got to learn to kill. Uh, yes. Apparently, I do. Especially after what happened today when I was under the docks. I didn't like that. By the way, I was really scared that you were going to go away. You thought I was going to go away? Yeah, I thought all of you, I thought all y'all were going to go away. Are you talking about today? Yeah. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, it was uh, it was really scary. You know, if I'm not here with you, that doesn't mean you up and leave, okay? There's other people here to help. I know, I'm not going to leave. I just I just don't want, you know, I don't want you to leave and I don't want uh Dakota and and Scout and Archie and Riley and Pete. Oh, I didn't want any of you guys to go. And I was scared that you guys were going to get hurt. I wanted to help, but Harry told me I couldn't. You couldn't. No. There may be a day you need to, but that day wasn't yesterday or today or whatever day it was. I understand. So, like, when you just go and kill people, you just, uh, you just do it for fun? Is that, oh, you don't have a purpose behind it? Not even a little bit. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. Killing for fun is... It's a whole different fuck. Alright. That makes, that makes me feel a lot better, actually. Thank you. Actually, there are a couple people I'd kill for fun. Okay, who? Sunny Falls, I think, would be one of them. Who? Sunny Falls. 
Is that the, the, the man that was in here earlier? No, he's a little blonde freak that just fakes being disabled and crawls around on the ground biting people's ankles, a little fucking scumbag. Who? Wacky! Thank you for the RP, brother. Um, who else? Who else would I enjoy killing, like, just... Because, um... Um... No, there's probably so many... Mm. We'll just put Sunny on the list for now, and then once I happily kill him, then we'll go for the next. Okay. <sighs> Millie, how old are you? 24. Before meeting me, what's the worst thing you did in your life? Um, well, well, let's see here. Uh, when I worked at the, when I worked at the bank, I took about two dollars from the, from the, from the till. I did that. I That's didn't tell anyone. Horrible. But I, but I put it back the next day. I Despicable. put it back the next day. I put it back the next day. I thought I needed it to bring home, to uh, bring uh, some bread home. But I, returning I, it's even worse. Oh, Millie. Okay. Oh, sweet Millie. Um, Who would you steal it from? What register? Like a general store? No, when I was a teller at the bank. Oh well, you kind of already did that. You robbed the bank. Yeah, I guess. A little fucking thief. Uh, a little sticky fingers, you. It was two dollars. You still robbed the bank one way or another. Yeah. You just were poor in many different ways at doing so. Um. And then you robbed the bank and got a grand. Didn't it feel better having that stack of uh, hundred dollar bills rather than two one dollar bills. Yes, I actually I want to do that again, but I want to I want to do that again. That was fun. Oh, uh, we will. In fact, are you done making your drinks? Oh, uh, kind of. Let's go. Grab those lock picks from your hotel. Wait, what? We're going to a bank right now? No, absolutely fucking not. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit more training while we wait okay. for this possible telegram from Zoe or Magna... Magna... Mag... Mag... Magna whatever. Dude, I'm gonna miss murder. I fucking love this horse. It is way too late. We should be in bed. Oh, I have to get the, the lock picks. Oh my god. Wait, this horse doesn't like me. Murder is a murderer. Okay. Whew. I'm actually pretty sure he did kill somebody. Wait, I 
actually, hang on. By the time we uh, do the safe, like she hits the safe once, can you do the safe multiple times and say it to me? I think you can. Once she does the safe and opens the lockbox, we'll fucking go to bed if we don't get a telegram back from Zoe. Or. Magnolia. Millie, are you happy to, with your decision to come to Van Horn? Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. Well, you had fun killing that horse and cutting it up and getting inside it? That was kind of... Well, I kind of blanked that out. I think I think when it comes to like trauma like that, it, my, my mind just kind of like erases it. Perfect. Otherwise, everyone's really nice. I, you know? Millie. Yes? You're gonna need to toughen up for Sissica. Uh, I'm going to Sissica. Uh. Eventually, yeah. Uh, just as long as they don't cut my hair. Please, uh, I can't have that. They might. Maybe they'll give you an nice offer to, to break my hands, my fingers, and torture me in exchange for you keeping your hair, and then you might do that, and then... Oh, no, I'll shave my head. Well, that's the thing, is they make you shave your head anyways. Oh, well, then I'm not going to take any offer from them. You're learning, quickly. The first offer they give you just take because the second one is much worse and the first one will be included no matter what well why would i take an offer from them because if you don't then they force you to do things or else they'll kill you they'll kill me yeah Without a second thought. No, oh, Patty. Hey. That's her. That's her. She telegram me back? No, not yet. I waited around for ten minutes and never got anything. There's quite a few. Wait, there's a few people in town. Yeah, I don't. I didn't notice any law per se, but there are a bunch of civilians and then a group rode by the telegram station looking kind of suspicious. How many? Uh, four or five, I think. They were definitely weren't law because there were a couple double back in. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, then let's just take telegrams, Millie, and we'll do this tomorrow. Okay. I'm fucking exhausted. Yeah. 
Dakota go to bed? Uh, probably, yeah. Time to read this. I can't risk fucking the law taking us. Alright, let's go. I may get on your horse. Hey, you do it. Well, no, no, no. You, you take the reins. What? I need to read this. Head oh, okay. Back, head back to Van Horn. Okay. Unfair. Zip, considering everything that has happened, do you honestly think that what I am saying is unreasonable? What do you really expect from me? I'm trying to do the right thing for everyone, but it never seems to be good enough. I didn't know if it was law. We oh. got the fuck out of there before we yeah. could find out. I rode by him. I don't think it was. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, if I end up meeting up with Zoe, I'll just talk to her about mundane things and then set up a new date for her and I to talk or something. Okay, perfect. Mm-hmm. Last Van Horn. Okay. Principal family tree. <laughs> Alright, guys. We're about to get a fucking history lesson here. Let's see this. Alright, the three branches. This was made by, I believe, Wild Shot. I can't see the name because I'm in streamer mode, but I, I'm pretty sure it's Wild Shot. So, Boone's Boys to Kelly Gang. I think, right? And Northwest Gang. And Bastards. Technically, Boone's Boys could branch out to Quills, too. Alright, let's look at Kettleman's. 
Is it everything to the right? Is that what this list is? Or is it everything that that line goes to? I feel like Kettleman's is all... Yeah, all of them, right? Because Kelly Gang Bastards, Fuller House, Fraser Gang, Quills, Van Horn question mark. I don't know if y'all have I'm been assuming. looking for anyone to sell gems to, but I did meet a lady. Who? Uh, her name is Evelyn. Okay, Dehorides. Fraser Gang. Evelyn Reeves. Caldwell Gang. Hmm. Mm hmm. Fuller House and Bastards, and she also generation. cuts gems too. If that's of any interest. Uh, I don't know yet. I don't. I don't know how that happens. I'm kind of new to all that. This tracks. <laughs> this definitely tracks. Cutting gems or anything, oh. keeping gems. I don't know what's the value of them. I'm still kind of learning that whole yeah. uh, gem me value. Too. I've been stuck with a diamond on my horse for forever that someone gave me, and I don't know what to I do know with it. I know it's CC. I normally just sell them to the general store. Oh. But All I right. guess, I guess I, I, I don't know how else to do it. Yeah. Yeah, don't sell the general stores anymore. Okay. okay. Just come to me. I always have cash. Also, uh, someone told me that if... Uh, well, just in case you ever go near Pronghorn Ranch, there's apparently a rabies outbreak with the wolves. The hell? I know. I thought that was an April Fool's joke. I it, Maybe it is. I don't know. I heard about it last night from a fellow who works at Pronghorn Ranch. I'll be right back. I gotta get my oranges before I go to bed. Where are your oranges? In my crate in the bar. I'm just gonna keep them on me while I sleep. You know? They're okay. like a nice pillow in bed. They keep me there. That's... Alright. Oh, Millie. <laughs> She's pretty adorable. That's what I said. That's why I'm trying to break her. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> well, yeah. She's my assistant. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, c congratulations on having an assistant. Thanks. I think she's the fourth. Oh. But well, I kind of adopted this one. Oh, well, hopefully she doesn't become law. I, I remember what you said about when you adopt people. Millie, uh, if you become a lawman, I'm going to slit your fucking throat. Why would I do that? Out of love. They smell funny. Good answer. Millie, I think I adopted you. You adopted me? Yeah, I think Grandpappy and Crumb Daddy are your new... What's that called? What When you mentor someone, what's the, the mentor-y called? Uh... T tutor? No, I don't know. Disciple? Um... I'm your fucking disciple. Oh, no, no, disciple would be her. I would be a disciple. Oh. Yeah. You're the devil's disciple. <gasps> oh, no. This isn't... Maybe this... Well, hold on. Sip, don't get carried away. Millie, the devil's disciple, Carfunkel. Carfunkel? It's perfect. It's you're naming me after the... Well. You're naming I'm, me after the hostage. I, I'm buying you a gun, and it's going to be devil's disciple. <gasps> Millie. Oh. Oh, that sounds cool. Millie, you're like going to be a fucking monster. Why are you turning me into a monster? You're going to be... Okay, you know, everyone used to call me the devil. Like, uh, I would do things and be like, you're the devil, Zip. You're hey. the devil. But then friends of those people would be like, oh, you're so sweet, Zip. I became the charismatic devil. I mean, isn't the devil supposed to be charismatic? Sure. All right. And you're sweet, you're adorable, oh, but you're gonna be Chucks. a bigger killer than me. Don't say Ooh, "oh Chuck," what? say "oh fuck." Oh fuck. Conviction. What? 
No, can I can't be a bigger killer than you. One no. day you will be. What? The devil's disciple will always kill the grasshopper or something. Is, is it going to be one of those things where she finally um, surpasses her teacher when, when she kills them? Because that would be kind of dark. Probably. I'm... No, I'm oh, never killing well. you. I'll ne never kill you. Well, I guess you'll never graduate then. I'll never graduate. I don't care. I can't do that. So sorry. It looks like you have a forever disciple, Zip. A forever dis devil's disciple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Good night. Good night. Yes. Oh, please. Thank you. Good night. I'll yeah. see you tomorrow. Just kidding. 12 more hours of Wait, what is, oh, blood. Sorry. I'm, I feel really rude, but can I get your name again? I think they were calling you something that I don't think is your actual name. Magnolia. Thank you. Well, it's nice meeting you, Magnolia. Honestly, dude. Oh, yes. I, I kind of am too, but... The Devil's Disciple kind of a is a one. fucking badass fucking name to go around saying. If we could break her and ruin her life and have her go... Eh. Going, going around calling herself the devil's disciple. It'll be fucking dope. Alright, who's live? We can raid a dark filly again. Alright, someone recommend. First name you pick, we're raiding. First name I see in chat, we're raiding. I need to fucking sleep. All right. Oh, Hoop's live? Uh, we raid Hoop all the fucking time. I think we raid Scarlet and Hoop the most out of anyone on Wild, just because they're the only ones around at this time. But, I hope you guys have a great night. I will see you guys. Send my love to Philly. I'm I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna just shut down my computer as soon as we raid. But uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I should take a break tomorrow, but I don't know. We'll see. But either way, love y'all. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for the follows, the bids, the 